joining. Hello, Ninja. <laughs> All right, we are starting some of these kits. I'm super excited. Um, so this one just released today, so I just got it. Take a second. I might have to turn the sound down. It feels very loud. Hello. Hey, Asia. I'm going to lurk. I'm also watching Like a Dragon 8 finale. Ooh. Dang, that's intense. Like a Dragon has so much to do. The fact that they're already at the end is fast. I'm taking this out of the cover just so we can look at it without it having glare. So this is the game case. Hi, Ray. Welcome on in. All right. So this is what the cover looks like. I'm trying to make it not be too glary. I knew it was going to be. We got the boys on the front and then the description on the back. Finally catch a stream. I'm one of your new viewers. I love your videos. Oh, thank you so much. I'm going to call you pretty. <laughs> All right, and then this is the inside jacket. It has, you can tell it's the inside jacket because it says back inlay over there, but it has the other cover characters. This one shows all the characters on the inside, but I like the outside cover more than the inside because I don't like how they're all separated on the inside one. All right. Hi, Jay. Hi, guys. Woohoo! <laughs> all right, I'm going to read the back of this just so I can... This is basically everything I know about this game. Get ready. Everything I know. All right. A year has passed since you started your job as a designer, as a Stario, a mobile app maker. After your yearly review, you're tasked with saving the company's new app, a Star C. This is going to get hilarious because I literally laughed when I read this. With the company app falling behind rival apps, you will join a new department to breathe new life into Astarsi and meet some passionate admirers along the way. When workplace romance meets slice of life drama, can you and your team succeed? Will you find true love or will the app shut down? It's not like, will the app fake it? Nay, nay. You'll either fall in love or the app will shut down. There is no other option. Fill the app with microtransactions and cosmetics. I think it would work. <laughs> Ooh. Also, this is the most business casual top I own. And honestly, it's a romance top. It, it looks more like I'm in a fantasy novel. I was trying to be as close to her as possible. I thought about getting a leopard print top, but I know I'll never wear it, so. Alrighty, look at our staff ID. We live in Abisu, Tokyo. Alright. I never worry with the last name, but we always change the first name. But you're excited? Have you looked into anything about this one yet? I try to avoid as much as I can. I know Jay and uh, Asia both said they were already seeing stuff about it. I'm getting some spoilers, if I recall. I saw you stream Alan's route. I wanted to be there, but I was so sleepy. I, I wasn't going to stream, and then I was like, you know what? I gotta finish Cupid Parasite. I'm gonna do this today. I'm gonna play Cupid tomorrow. I might as well get a head start on it. But yeah, I was like, I have my insomnia has been bad enough. Let's stay up a little late and play Alan. And honestly, I'm pretty excited. They instantly went to uh, showing off. Yes. They instantly went off to showing off that he's an incubus. They've already explained incubus is a little bit. We might have to make some modifications to sound in this. This says I'm on auto. Why am I on auto? I would never. I wake up. Classy. <laughs> Same. This is what I did today. Ooh. Oh, that didn't help me. Okay, so our room is la pink, which is accurate to our actual room. So I prepare a light breakfast. I love the UI. Head to the office, start my usual work. Once I clock out, I go straight home. After dinner and a bath, it's already time for bed. 
Oh gosh, is this another depression, the Atome game? Sometimes I stay up late, but I usually sleep at a specific time. Before I know it, it's morning and it all begins again. This is life right here. <laughs> oh no. You work for Astario Corpse and Ibusu. Ibisu. Ibisu? Yeah. Staria Corp is an IT company that makes new apps. News apps. Cute one room apartment. Yeah, I like it. It's pretty cute. But is she suffering from depression? I, Leah Amasawa, was hired as a designer for the company's design department. I've been here for almost a year now. I need to fix that. Oh, don't do this to me, game. Because I'm reading it being slow for the, uh... Show me text speed. Auto speed can... Alright, alright. She has no face. I'd be depressed too. <laughs> she has a face. It's just always in shadow. She's like... Totally goth. You just don't even know it. I've been here for almost a year now. As a designer, I mostly work on UI design for apps from other companies. We were just talking about UI designs. Although I've gotten used to the job, my work could basically be done by anyone. I wonder if someday I'll find a job that I'm meant for. Okay, okay. So she's a little, she feels a little stuck. I get it. Is my sound not working? What's happening? Does this not have sound? Hang on. Did I break something? We have sound? I don't. <laughs> this would not be the first time it's done this to me. In. You guys can hear me talk. That was my. Reminds me of Super Smash Bros. Oh no. Look, it's Seihun! Look, it, it's Anku! It's us, faceless individual! What have I done to my literally missing the opening just because I can't hear it. Is it copyright music? It shouldn't affect me though. Yeah. It was my headset. I had the sound all the way down. Oh good. I'm so good. They're so cute. They are. I really think whoever designed them really likes anime and uh, K-pop. Because so many of them are K-pop artists. There's the book cover. If that was the inside in inlay, I would have liked it more because I like that picture. I like when they're like interacting together. I literally just turned my sound all the way down to zero. That's what happened, by the way. <laughs> I'm like crazy. I can't hear anything. It was me. Oh man, that's so cute. Whoever designed this did a good job too. All right, it's time for the prologue, which Jay said it was two hours long, right? Who am I starting with again? <gasps> Maybe the bartender looking guy? He was not my favorite. <laughs> hang on, hang on, let me look at the back cover one time. I think the bartender guy, because even though, so the, the character design for Anku is not my favorite character design. I don't like that businessy boy, but it's Anku. I can't, I can't do him like early. I gotta save him. I gotta, I gotta enjoy that man. Um, and then, 
probably the blonde that looks like Taman from the Boa music video. I'm just going to summon to destroy people. The bartender's got a short route. Perfect. I know why. It's because he's not the cutest boy on the cover. <laughs> so Taman from Boa's uh, music video and then the other Taman I'm saving for Laster. I don't know who I would say the redhead looks like though. Honestly, is it three Taemans? Is it also Taemans? All right, there were memo meeting notes and reference materials scattered everywhere. Oh no, you think the bartender's locked? <gasps> oh, I can't play him the first route? Okay, okay. So then I guess we're gonna go for Taemin number one, which is Taemin wearing the tan jacket. I pick pink hair and purple hair. They are hot. Pink hair is number one. So he's the one I'm saving for last. Wait, wait, pink hair, am I wrong? No, no, no. Purple hair, purple hair is who I'm saving for last. He's, I'm actually, I have hair dye coming. Prince man. Should we just pull up the website for a second? Here, we'll do the website really quick. The redhead, okay. The redhead, I, I think he's really cute. Again, we're, we're gonna be a little, we're gonna go Impulse kiss. We'll just hear this chatter in the background. It's like POV, you work in an office. <laughs> Hang on, let me scratch this a little bit so it's better to see. Alright, alright, alright. Let's see. Browser properties. Alright, perfect. Okay. We're just gonna take one quick second to look at the characters. I heard the red hair is the worst red hair love interest ever. Oh boy. That's hard to beat because I really didn't like the redhead from uh, Lover Pretend. I hated him. <laughs> I hated him with so much of a passion. I probably hate him more than than I should. Some people love and some people dislike him. Okay. All right, so we're going to start with least favorite from appearances alone. It's nothing to do with him being the older character. I just don't like his face shape is the best way to describe it. I like his hair color. I like his 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 vibe. So he's he's bottom. Oh, Tommy Kitten didn't like the redhead. And then he was second. I heard there's secret. There's secret routes in this too, so I don't know who they are. So he was going to be second in my list. And it, again, has nothing to do with his character. He looks fine to me. Um, and then third is like a tie because I like Sehun and the redhead. Like, look how sassy Tate. Like, this is Sehun, by the way. This is so Sehun. I don't care for redhead and the trash hidden love interest. Everyone else I'm excited for. What does trash love interest mean? That's so scary. Don't say that. All right, and so then he's he's the middle, along with Sehun. Those two are tied in the middle. And like, he's just so cute. Like, I like his little hair like thing. That's so cute. And then we have to save Anku for the end. Personal space invader. Ooh, that's true. That's fair. Listen. Clumsy Sundere. Like, Anku. So yeah, I don't like his jacket, but I know this voice is gonna be like my favorite voice in this game. And then this guy, look at him. And it says he's a sweetheart. And he's got this little tattoo and I bought a hair color so I can match this. Eight love interest, oh God. <laughs> what is it gonna be this guy? This guy's a love interest. I'm going to assume. And then this guy, maybe. Are these the other love interests? That equals A. Nope. No. He's cute. Nori is cute. The voice actor was also Shelby. Birche ruined it for me. I keep seeing Anku when the Sundeti guy speaks. <laughs> Perfect. That's all you should picture. Just picture Anku. That's all that matters. He's the boy. So yes, that's the vibe I have. Connus. 
Wait. The voice actor was also... Which voice actor? Nori? Oh, Nori. Nori? Nori is the cute one. Wait, wait, wait. So that... Oh, that's right. Okay, so that's Shelby's voice actor and he did Connus's voice. That means he can go deep. That sounded wrong. He can go deep. Dude, I'm super excited. Also, look at my desk. Look at my little desk. That's so cute. Oh my god. This is what I want my desk to look like, but it's got so much stuff just sitting on it. I do have a drink. I actually made a joke that I could buy a cup and try to make it look like the cup everyone got in the special edition. That desk is not overflowing with paper. That's how you know it's not my actual desk. <laughs> My desk was overflowing with paper, even though most of my work is done di digitally. See, the thing is, she just keeps the part like in frame clean. Everything else is just piled to one side. Not speaking from personal experience. <laughs> if I didn't put things away after the end of a project, the papers on my desk would just keep piling. I killed, I feel called out by this statement. Thankfully, my most recent project has wrapped up the previous day, so it was the perfect time to clean up. Amazawa, could you come to the conference room for a moment? Ooh, no thank you. I would prefer never to be called out. Thank you. Leave me alone. <laughs> While I was quietly sorting my papers, the design director called out to me. We have terminology again! One of the departments at Astaria. Look at the little pencil. I got a desk. It'd be like MCs. I love to organize papers and stuff. I have a desk, and I'm gonna I'm gonna describe it to you. On this side, I have a Hunter Hunter Funko Pop, a couple Kirby's. There's a little Nightmare Before Christmas. Random papers. Not sure what they are. Um, and then I have an assortment of of things. I have Tylenol, <laughs> body spray. I have my hand lotion that you guys seen me use a few times. Um, more paper. Uh, a water bottle, because I always like to have some water on my desk. And I don't like cold water. I don't... Do you prefer cold water or, or, or what, room temperature? I prefer room temperature. And my sister has tried to take this water bottle from my room a couple times. Because she thought I just forgot it. But it's not... I don't like cold water. Um, I have a Reese's bear that I got for Valentine's Day. Um, I have this I also got for Valentine's Day, and it's full of kisses. So, like, delicious. Um, there is a strawberry-shaped cup that I... It's not really a cup. It is a cup, but, like, it's not a good shape of a Kura cup that has pen stuck in it. I have an infinity cube. Um, more random paper. In fact, on one of these pieces of paper is a note uh, my sister wrote that says, Da Hot Heart Nadia. Um, and that's because she didn't realize Dahat was a lot older than Nadia. And that their ages were not compatible for a relationship. Um, and then I have more Kirby's, my sympathy kiss game. Basically that picture I saw, it's still just sitting here. And by the way, I had to clean my table just to take that photo. You're welcome. <laughs> and that is my desk in a nutshell. It is not organized. It is not neat. But it has room for a coffee cup. And that's all one can ask for. All right, I stopped and told him I'd be right there. Ah, hello. Oh, thanks. I was thinking, so we're going to get my nails done this week. Um, and I was thinking of getting tulips since there's tulips in the designs on this a lot. Thanks. I remember that she was in the chat and said she ships Nadia and Dahat. Yeah, when she said that, I was like, don't do it. Don't, that's a crime. <laughs> it's like Nadia's 14. He's like 100. Please don't. Tulips are perfect for spring. That's also why I thought it, because it would match for the game, but it would also just look cute in general. And then I was thinking of maybe getting Peter Rabbit for Easter, since Easter's going to be at the end of the month. In my brain, it's already March, by the way. After thanking me, he went to the conference room. Go on. Tell me more. If he did it pencil-line-style, if I did it pencil line style, kind of like how it's drawn, it would give me a BTS vibes too, which I'm never down, I'm always down for BTS vibes, in fact. Oh no, you can't see it. Oh no, you can't. There, there, there's my babies, there's my babies. They're right here, these are all my BTS things. 
because it's my Chiyon Sam Jihee show. I just organize them by my favorite K-pop. Congratulations on wrapping up your project. Sorry to call you in like this, but HR wants your eval done ASAP. I don't want HR involved. Dude, these terminologies are actually things I'd hear at work. Please stop. <laughs> Last month, my evaluation interview had been postponed. At our company, we have a quarterly evaluation for everyone. But the design director postponed my evaluation because he knew I was swamped with work. Triggering terms. <laughs> my com company has no HR department. Yeah, but you have a small company, right? If I recall. I, I'm from a corporation. <laughs> It's been about a year since you joined us, Amasawa. How's it been going? Honestly, I apparently have depression. Um, I'm a little sad on the inside and out. Uh, all I feel like I do is I get up and come to work and then I go home. And then I repeat that cycle every day uh, for the last 365-ish days. How about you, design director? <laughs> It's been about a year since you joined. How are things going? I told them that at first I struggled to keep up with the pace of the app industry. I'm head of HR. Come to me, my dears. You're head of HR? Are you for real? Ooh, that's a good position, but like, oh, scary. However, lately I felt more confident handling sudden changes and client requests without panicking. Look at me. <laughs> Spec changes used in systems to program manage program management to indicate a change in the design of a program spe specifications, Ooh. which meant I didn't need to ask for help and could instead help others. Despite not having any outstanding talents, I felt like I was a solid and stable asset to the company. I love that because it sounds like, despite not being great, I felt solid. Mm, hmm, you're right. My boss used to do this when we had to do like the reviews. He'd be like, how would you evaluate yourself? How do you think you're doing? And it was the scariest sentence someone could ask me. I'm like, don't do this to me. I actually, in fact, had not my boss, my boss's boss's boss had came to my my place and he was in there for a little bit and I because I have just mouth I just I just say the first thing that comes into my mouth and I was he's like oh you're doing really good here I'm like great because I hate being evaluated and he's like you hate being evaluated and I'm like why did I say that out loud <laughs> this evaluation is making me feel targeted yeah yeah, that was a real conversation I had with my boss's boss's boss. Mm. He didn't say anything. He just kind of laughed it off. But I was like, oh my god. Mm, you're right. Yeah. Amasawa, I think your self-assessment is accurate. You。were you an accomplished intern last summer, so I was excited to hire you. This music is also giving me happy elevator music. Like, <laughs> you've done a great job. Your work is consistent, and I think you've got a real talent for design. The thing is, even though the design director agreed with my self-evaluation, he res his response made me feel like I had made a mistake somewhere. You're, you're the youngest person in the company and still a new hire, but if she's the youngest, that means there's going to be no uh, little baby, uh, baby boys in the story. Is that intentional? You're the youngest person in the company and still a new hire, but... I feel that you could take on a more ambitious role. There's nothing wrong with a little adventure sometimes. 
こういった案件に関わりたいとか新しい企画を立ち上げたいとか so、Honestly, I, I've heard some different things from other places like I like the concept of actually giving people time off. Um, and I feel like you have to pull, pull teeth to get time off, at least in America. Like for my friends and me, like it's sometimes like I had a friend who took time off and then her job forgot to put in that she was getting paid to not be there because she had PTO. And then they told her, oh well. And they didn't fix it. Like she, she was gone for a week and she didn't get paid for the week, even though she had. The hours to get paid to be gone for the week. Yeah, yeah, definitely. What the fuck? I was like, what? And like, it was crazy because she was really upset, and I, I'd be upset too, especially if I thought I was going to be paid. Like, I, like, what the heck? But yeah, they were just like, we forgot to put it in. And that was like the end of the story. I just don't show up to work and just have to leave a note on our time app sometimes before the next week. That's nice. If I don't show up to work, I'll be fired. <laughs> I actually had to put requests in for time off recently, and they were like, we'll see. Was the response I got? I like to put in my request for the entire year、um, because I just like to be prepared. Like, I later put, I'm taking a week off here. I have no plans yet. I just want to have it notated that I'm taking the week off. And they literally told me, we'll see. <laughs> I was like, oh, I hope I don't buy tickets or something. <laughs> Same for me. If I don't show up, I'll be fired. Yeah, I'm just like, oof. I can't just not be there. They'll get mad at me. They've also gotten like more strict recently at my job, too. <gasps> my only p l a n n time off is in a couple weeks for a wedding. Oh my God, that sounds exciting. Dude, take a vacation, though. You deserve it. <laughs> you work too hard. For example, if there's a project you'd like to work on or something you'd like to try on your own. She's getting free reign. Is there anything you want to do? Honestly, I'd like to sleep until noon, but my body won't let me anymore. I want to Tell me if you have something to mind, even if you're not sure about it. I mean, have you heard of hopscotch? I've been trying to double hopscotch since I was like five. I couldn't come up with anything. So instead of giving him an answer, I apologize. Yeah, oh, my apologies. You just finished a project. It's wrong of me to bring this question on you now. What if we made an app where、um, every time you clicked on it, it changed colors, and that would just be dopamine? My work is really lenient about absence. A guy in my department was just gone for three weeks. So you're saying you can take a vacation. Take a vacation. Go somewhere. Go look at the ocean. Have you seen that recently? I haven't. It's been a hot minute. Now that we have everything that we need to report to HR, let's wrap up the review. Never seen the ocean. Now is the time. Let's be careful. Sometimes. Water gets choppy. It's also freezing. Every time I've gone to the ocean, I've been freezing the whole time. So that's how my c o r d i evaluation went. It was swimming. I've never been asked what I wanted to do before, so why have I been asked now? This sounds like a, a child who's been like triggered. I've never been asked, what do I want to do? <laughs> Was it because it was my second year? Was I about to be transferred to a different department? I heard something the other day about transfers. Look at this little break room. Look at these coffee tables. Did you hear the rumor about how they're shutting down a star s e a Used to indicate. Okay, that's a shutting down. And this says end of service. Those two words are not the same. Used to indicate the shutdown of an online service or game. Like when they took Dr. Mario from me. <laughs> so sad. Ah, so then, eh? Sasgani gase desho? 
エスター氏ってうちで一番知名度のあるサービスだよ。でも、最近は同業他社のアプリに埋もれて、勢い落ちてるんでしょ。Hasn't it lost market share recently? 社内でも、新規の方が勢いあるみたいだし。But then our portfolio, portfolio, I can see it. I got this down. The newer apps are getting more engagement. そりゃあ新しいアプリのが勢いあるのは仕方なくない That doesn't make sense that the newer apps are more popular, doesn't it make sense? なんかね、社名の入ったサービスが落ち目ってどうなんだみたいな意見が上の方で増えてるらしくて。Management doesn't like an app with our company names attached to it losing ground. え私は手こ入れのために各部から精鋭を選んで人員入れ替えするって聞いたけど。Really? I heard they're planning to staff it up with the best and brightest from each department to revamp it. それも左周に向けてのパフォーマンスなんだって。That's just a performative gesture. どういうこと What do you mean by performative? Yeah, please, where's my definition? そうは言っても、社名を背負ってる手前、簡単に左周っていうのは聞こえも良くないだろうってことで。Having the app suddenly closed will look bad because it has the company's name on it. Hey, I'm a bit of a day day, Kaku Bukara, Bimio, Najin, or Ido Sasete, Teko Ireshta, Kedo, Dame, Deshta, Tekatajde. This game has many tropes and plot moves pretty quick, especially since there's seven routes total. Are there seven or eight? Because there's six boys, and I thought there was two secret routes. That's a lot of routes. Honestly, I appreciate tropes because I'm like, <laughs> I don't want to think too hard. Like, what's that? That's the cute boy that's actually nefarious. What's that? That's the guy who acts mean, but secretly he's in love with me. What's that? That's the guy who acts like he doesn't care, but he really cares a lot. <laughs> what a trope. Underperforming staff will be gathered up to try and make things better, but they'll quietly shut it down afterwards. I don't know how many main guys there are, but there are two secrets. Yeah, there's six boys. Because there's three t a m e n s one Sehun, Anku, <laughs> and the bartender. Is this working? Does everybody know who I'm talking about right now? In fact, let me see if I can find this. That is not the one I, I want the photo of him wearing the jacket. I know he wore a jacket. Come on. I know he wore a jacket. End sentence. End my definition of everything. Every single button but the button I want to hit. I know the scene I'm thinking of. I watched this music video a hundred times, and that's not even exaggeration. Well, I can't find it. Anyways, if you ever want to see this music video, here I'll put it. Browser. This music video is by、uh, Boa. And in the music video, she's dating t a m i n from Shiny. And this is, this is the jacket. This is the jacket I'm thinking of.、Um, they're breaking up in the music video, basically. That's the whole music video.、Um, but this is, this is the, what the t a m i n with the, with the long jacket and blonde hair reminds me of is this version of t a m i n And now I'm curious about the secret routes. Like, what? How many secret routes can you give me? Come on, tell me more. Shutting down a star sea and laying people off at the same time. Oh, wow, that's awful. So, in other words, if you're offered a transfer to a star sea by the end of the quarter. 
ってことになるね。You're on the chopping block. Okay, all right, let's not volunteer. Let's not volunteer. Be like, me, you know what? I just don't think I have it in me. A star sea. Look at that. It's so cute. A star sea is an app that curates news and information. The company opened the service when it was founded. A star sea. A star sea's first app that was launched two months after. The company was founded. Though it launched to, the, to great fanfare, its growth then has stagnated in recent years, and there are talks of shutting down the service. Curation app, a generic term for a software application that allows users to view various content from the web according to their preference and interest. The app was named after the company Astario, it's our signature application. Astario Corporation, the company you work for, initially founded seven years ago. The company quickly launched the popular Starsea app. Currently, the company operates three different apps, including a Starsea. Show me the other three. The application was well received when it first launched, and it was, and it's why the company exists today. But in the wake of the more competitive and popular Wayne's, Popularity waned. Also, this is a, a great example of what I meant when I said I want to get tulips on my nails. Like, this is the, how I want them, like sketch style. There's no denying that it's fallen behind compared to the other companies are offering now. App development is pretty competitive. I don't know if I want to make apps. <laughs> It just reminds me of. Have you ever watched the、uh, K drama Startup? It felt like everybody was making startups in that. And I'm just like, wow, so many people make apps now. <laughs> the design director asked me what I wanted to do. I had no answer. Perhaps he thought I was an unmotivated member of the department. I thought about the unreadable expression my boss had during the meeting. Then I wandered the halls in an unsteady gait, daze. <laughs> hey, watch out. All right. All right, I'm gonna guess this is the redhead since that's red. Ha ha! Luckily, someone caught me before I fell. Looking up, I saw him. Hopefully, MC has nerves of steel. I don't, so hopefully, she does. One of us needs it. It's been a while since I've seen someone fall without anything to trip over. Besides your heart, like, come on. Glad I caught you. The person who caught me was the ace of content to Mitsuki Satome. Known internally as both a hit maker and a genius, he has, the produ he has produced a number of successful projects. He is very intelligent and has a strong personality that tends to turn off those around him. Why? As I thanked him, Seotome's brow furrowed. You're strangely quiet today. Are we friends? Do we talk? Are you alright? You seem distracted before you fell. You feeling sick? Hmm. We don't seem to have a fever. Before I could answer, Satomi's face loomed over mine and our foreheads touched. What? Our foreheads? I was speechless. <laughs> Did he take that to a whole nother level? Instead of putting his hand on your forehead, he's all like, let me put my entire head on your forehead. You seem fine. What is it? You overworked or something? Sir, who are you? <laughs> ほどほどにって言ったところで、あんた真面目だから手を緩めらんないだろうけど。体調崩したら、その大事な仕事にも支障出るだろう。Sick, you know? あんま無理すんなよ。So don't push yourself, all right? Oh dear, oh dear, we have our first option. I appreciate your concern. I'm fine. Stop. It's embarrassing. Please don't tease me. 
Um, I don't know this guy's vibes. <sighs> He's not the first one we're trying to get anyways, but we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I guess I got a little handsy there. Your forehead touched my forehead. <laughs> You're bright red. Of course, I was embarrassed with his face so close to mine. It didn't seem to bother him, though. He just laughed the whole thing off. What? What? He's pedaling backwards so fast right now. Wait, are you mad at me? Why? Did I do something to upset you? Oh. Oh. Did you... Think you were going to get kissed? This is an HR. Do you want to go back into the room with me where HR is? Like, excuse you. I shook my head from side to side. Nanjate. Jodan date. Just kidding. It's a joke. It's a joke. Yeah, you know who says that? People who have a lot of, of complaints against them. I felt embarrassed that I fell for his teasing. We'd only worked together twice. I assisted him on projects he was running. It was no secret that he was, a f was friendly with everyone. Is this, but how does he check people's temperatures? That kind of behavior always flustered me. <laughs> so we know him a little. Mm, sus. <laughs> we barely know this man. We worked with him a couple times, and he's just like, let me press my forehead against your forehead. I feel like that should have been a CG, by the way. Don't tell me he pressed his forehead against mine and not give me a CG of that. I want to see it. Can you make it to the nurse's office by yourself, or do you need an escort? He still didn't get that I didn't have a cold. He seemed relieved when I told him I was fine. I thought he was playing around, but maybe he was actually worried. This is Taman number three. This is Taman from the replay era. Mitsuki Sotome was the popular polar opposite of me. He was always using his creativity at work. He was a genius when it came to thinking of new ideas and he brought them to life with his strong communication skills. He was so charismatic that he inspired people on his project to work harder than they usually would. As a matter of fact, I felt the same way when I worked with him. He was never, we were never very close, but he always made a point to say hello whenever he saw me. Oh, what a charmer. So oh, and by the way, You designed the website for that social network game that released last month, right? He was referring to the last project I worked on. Since it was a company completely different from the... It was completely different from the kind of design from the information informational websites I usually do. It took a lot of trial and error. Yeah, right. I knew it. The clean style of that website is so you. It was a good fit for their corporate style, but it lacked impact for a modern social network game. You should have been more playful with it. Don't tell, like, oh, it's so your style. It was boring? How dare you? Normally I'd try to explain myself, but Satome's words reminded me of what the design director had said. Well, you can always do better next time. Or can I? <laughs> right? The comforting smile he gave me a gentle pat on the head. Oh, oh no, I touched you again. Well, then we can't date him. <laughs> it's not appropriate. You're like a little sister to me. I feel like I gotta be protecting, be a protective big brother. 
When I heard Satome say big brother, I tilted my head doubtfully. But when you say I'm the dependable big brother type, まあでも俺にはよくできた弟しかいないしな。No, huh? Well, I guess I've only got one well-behaved little brother. あんたとは大違いかも。Nothing like you, am I right? With that, Satome's phone alarm went off. やっべ、今日のミーティング準備俺が担当だった。Ah, crap! I was in charge of the meeting prep for today. じゃあな。あ、で。See you later. Oh, and. マジで体調悪いなら、早退しろよ。Leave early if you're sick. You're not my boss, are you? <laughs> Satome ran into the conference room while waving his hands goodbye. Why is he treating us like a little sister? We just met you. We've only worked on two projects together. Aww. What a cute place. Evergreen? That means there should be pine trees everywhere, bro. Throughout the afternoon, I kept remembering the design director's words. What did I want to do with my career? Was I going to be laid off? My heart sank deeper the more I thought about it. Tis now my lunchtime. Ooh hoo hoo, did you make your lunch today? I knew that if I went straight home, I, I'd only stew in these feelings, so I decided to go for a change. For a change, I said it wrong. I like that they're doing camera pants and stuff. They did this with the room too. As I looked around the area for a place to have dinner, the only place in sight was called Evergreen. I noticed a man standing in front of a bar with the word Evergreen on it. He's wearing an apron. He's got that strap on his arm. That's very. My husband is here. Is this your husband? Is this your favorite one, Asia? Konbanwa. Good evening. Estario no kata desu yo ne. Ima o kaeri desu ka. Is he here for corporate sabotage? Who are you? You work for Estario, yes? Are you here on your way home? When he approached me, I realized that the man was the manager of the bar. I'd been here a few times with the senior staff, but I didn't think he'd remember me. Evergreen is a casual bar located near the office. Evergreen, a bar with a great atmosphere and a favorite of Astario employees. Both the drinks and food are delicious. Astario employees have used this place for small events like mid-project dinners and birthday parties. Estar's の天気情報によると、あと10分くらいで通り雨が来るみたいです。The Astarsi weather report predicted a passing shower in about ten minutes. よろしければ、うちで一杯飲みながら雨宿りしていかれませんか。Honestly, I'm interested in him, the boss, and two other love interests. I just call all of them my husband. <laughs> you call them all your husband. I call them Taman. It's fine. We're doing. We're doing. We gotta do. Why don't you come in for a drink and take shelter from the rain? I wanted to accept his offer, but I. I worried I might run into someone from work. I imagine how awkward I would feel if I saw someone from the office. 今ならまだ空いていますし、エスタリオの方は誰も来ていませんよ。How does he know what I'm trying to avoid? Is he a mind reader? Is he a vampire? Does this game have one hell of a twist I didn't know about? It's not too busy, and there's not a soul from Estario here at the moment. お夕食がまだでしたら、食事も用意できますので。I feel like the boss will be my favorite, but who knows? Well, this one's the manager. Who's the boss? I can cook you something for dinner if you'd like. お腹が空いていると、思考も悪い方にばかり進みますから。As they say, hunger only makes a difficult problem worse. You know what? You got me. You got my soul, man. He smiled as though he was able to re to read my mind. He is able to read your mind. Anku's the boss. Anku's our boss. Like Anku, yes. Like he's above us. I don't know why that's exciting. As he spoke, thunder rumbled in the distance, so I made my decision and followed him into the bar. <laughs> Is he Thor? Did Peter follow us into the new game? Ooh, look at the bar. Oh, this is a jam right here. Look at that. 
like the manager said, there were no, there was no one else here. Maybe it was still too early. <laughs> Boss Anku, him in modern day Japan. Like it turns out, he really couldn't just shoot himself in the chest. Um, so he's actually still alive and well, uh, unable to die. And he decided to make a bar. Sorry, he started to work at a at an office as your boss. Um, and because the the chemicals that makes his body change, he's just changed to look how he looks in this game now. Um, and it explains a lot because his eyes went from yellow to red. So now they're black. I think that's the eye color of the guy. Hang on, let me double check. I still have some baby kiss open. No, no, they went back to yellow. His eyes are yellow again. Dude, he went back. No one else here. Maybe it was too early. This way, please. Look at those pins on his jacket. Couldn't see them because of my camera. As I was wondering where to sit, he suggested the counter. The counter seat in the back. My apologies for speaking to you so abruptly outside. My name is Master Usui, and I would like to thank you for coming today. Suya Usui, the owner of Evergreen, a bar near Astario with a pleasant atmosphere. He's a good listener who always listens to you with a gentle smile on his face. My goodness. Has he had a crush on us this whole time? Is he our stalker? <gasps> Is there a stalker in this game? Don't tell me, but like, tell me. Okay. I believe you are the design department, yes. You had a party here last year, if I recall correctly. Imagine knowing someone from a different field this well. Are you looking for somewhere to have dinner? When I told him that I was, relief spread across his face. そうでしたか。どこかお店を探しているような気がしたので、思い切って声をかけてよかったです。I see. My instincts told me you were looking for somewhere to eat, so I'm glad I called out to you. Let's see. If you have work tomorrow. I don't mind discovering tropes, even better if they have a twist. <laughs> stalkers? I don't know if stalker. <laughs> Depends on the level of stalker. We've talked about this, right? There's cute stalking and then there's not cute stalking. And the not cute stalking puts me in a cage in a corner and tells me I'm beautiful and that they can't believe I'm finally theirs. That's the not cute stalker. The cute stalker is the one that shows up and like saves your ass from like getting attacked by somebody and then tells you to be more careful next time. And then you realize that's happened more than once. Like, how did he find you so fast? And that's the cute stalker. Respectfully stalking. Yes, exactly. Respectful stalkers. There's, there's a fine line. It's very fine. <laughs> I, I don't mind if they are done well. If it's the mid, if it's mid, it's disappointing. It's true. There could be scary. There could be some scary tropes. I wouldn't be opposed to a dark romance Atome story where it's a little bit on the scary side. Better to eat something light before having a drink. Ooh, what do you have? I was handed a menu with everything from appetizers to main dishes. All of them presented with beautiful pictures. They all look delicious. I highly recommend the beef stew. We only serve five bowls of it per day. Beef stew wasn't something I ate often, so I was rather tempted. <laughs> I'll get it started right away. I didn't say yes yet. He's like, got it. No, no, actually, I hate coleslaw. Would you care for some coleslaw as an appetizer while I prepared your food? Or perhaps a drink? I actually have a sake shot in the fridge right now. It's peach flavored. I could drink it during his route. If I see a stocking essay yandere in Atomic Games, I'd be like, yeah, nope. 
I like Yandere's. It's not good. They do tend to murder people, but like, I prefer my Sundere's, but Yandere's can be cute. I studied the menu, wondering what to order. <laughs> no. <laughs> Asia's like, no. Again, stalking respectfully, it's, it's fine. Look, real life, don't stalk me. Don't. Just don't. No, remember, remember what? Who do you want me to remember? Go on, tell me. Say his name. If you're hungry, start with something light and then have something stronger to accompany the main course. I don't want to be uncomfortable in game, so no. <laughs> what flavor do you like? Perhaps I can offer a recommendation. We talked about what I liked until I finally decided on a drink. This could have been a perfect choice to give me an option. All the food was delicious. I was in a great mood with all the hot food and a little alcohol. I'm glad you enjoyed your meal and it appears the rain has passed. Is he a fortune dweller? Does he have eyes that see the future and the past when he looks at you? <laughs> at times like this, it's good to take a moment to yourself and relax. The manager probably wasn't just talking about getting away from the rain. As a matter of fact, I didn't think about work the whole time I was there. While I can't solve your troubles, perhaps some good food and drink will be enough to help you solve them on your own. My problems might not be solved yet, but he was right. I felt much better. After thanking the manager, I walked out of the bar feeling lighter than when I entered. He has a very cool voice, very relaxing. I could listen to him read a book. Three days had passed since my evaluation. Could we meet this afternoon to talk about what we discussed the other day and how we'll be moving forward? No. I sighed when I saw director meeting added to my calendar app. Also, I love the coffee vending machine that's just straight up a coffee cup. I'm sure there's some protective film over it in some way to stop the liquids from falling out, but the concept. As I stared blankly at the vending machine, I heard footsteps, a low, intimidating voice. <gasps> if you don't know what to get, let someone else go first. It's my boy. That was director Kobas. The director of content one. I bowed lightly and stepped aside. His suit was completely free of wrinkles and his shoes shined under the office light. <sighs> Blushing. Oh, hi. Like, hello. How are you? I've never worked directly with him before, but just standing next to him made me straighten my back. Best believe it. Director Kobas pressed the coffee button of the vending machine without looking at me. Then surprisingly, he pressed the fruit juice button. His black suit and colorful juice packet made for a cute mismatch sight. He must have sensed me watching him because he suddenly turned back to look at me. Something funny about me buying fruit juice. It was as though he could read my mind. Once again, we got a lot of mind readers in this game. I quickly shook my head in denial. When he held the juice out to me. <laughs> Here. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I don't know if you're just tired or unmotivated, but you look half dead. Get yourself back on track with one of these. It seemed like he actually bought it for me. After giving me the juice, Director Kobas walked away without saying another word. And that's our Sundere. 
He looks angry, but he cares. The way he spoke made him seem intimidating, but maybe he wasn't as scary as he seemed. Oh, my boy, my sweet, sweet boy. What a short interaction, my boy. Eventually it was time for the meeting. Oh no, wait, it wasn't a short interaction. He's still going. Upon arriving, I saw director Kobas sitting at sitting next to the design director. It seemed odd for the two of them to be here together. I gave a small bow. Sit down, I'll explain. <laughs> director Kobas stared at me as I sat across from the design director. This is Kobas, director of Content One. I don't believe you two have worked together yet, but I'm sure you've seen him. Eh, so de. Naze Tabusho no Kobase sanga, do sekish de iruka to yuto. Hanku reincarnated. We have Kobas here for. Koko Karasaki wa orega set me shio. I'll explain it from here. Oh, I'm so excited. And then we have Virgin Part 2 coming out this year. Like, I'm so excited for to see my boy again. Director Kobas interrupted the design director. To keep this short, I'll get straight to the point. Amasawa, I'm here to hire you. Starting in April, would you be interested in working for my new department? My eyes opened wide at Director Kobas's offer. All I knew was design. Did he really need my skills for his department? Well, as they continued to read my mind, seeing how confused I was, Director Kobas explained in greater detail. I was told I'd be transferred to the Astarsi planning department. Upon hearing the word Astarsi, my mind immediately went back to the rumors. To get fired. <laughs> Whether he noticed my concern or not, Director Kobas continued. Starting next term, I'll be the general director of the Astarsi planning department. Yoji Kobas, head of the Astarsi department and leader of the Astarsi renewal project, he is feared within the company for his strict demeanor and stern tone. I love that tone of his. Gotta be careful with office gossip, girl. It's not always true. It's also bad for your health. <laughs> Amasawa, I heard about your evaluation. Sounds to me like you don't have much of a vision of your future. That's, there's nothing wrong with that. From everything I've heard, it's clear that you're a hard worker. But is that enough for you? I froze at as Director Kobas' question struck me into the core. What makes you grow is doing what you want to do. That's the only way to find out what you're uniquely capable of. Wouldn't you like to see how far you can go? <laughs> he nodded. I always wondered if it would if I could do something special, something more than just follow orders. Join my department, Amasawa. As he spoke, Director Kobas's eyes met with mine. <laughs> okay, I'll do it. Say less. Let's go. <laughs> April. April arrived and I started working at the Astarsi planning department. I just, so I already said I was talking about getting my nails done. I could do my nails with that design on it. Wouldn't that be cute on one of the nails? That'd be funny. Anyways. <laughs> I 
After pulling my stuff out of the design department, I headed to the Astarsi planning department. Astarsi planning department, official name, Astarsi planning and editorial department, the department within Astario in charge of planning and supervising the articles to be released in Astarsi. There I found a woman and a man waiting for me. Hi. She's got a wedding ring, so I take it she's not a route. Yes, your new contact person will be in touch with you shortly. She noticed me and pointed to the seat next to her. Apparently, she, that was my due desk. Also, regarding what we discussed before... It looks like her call would take a while, so I bowed and went to greet the other person. <laughs> it's Sehud! <laughs> he didn't look familiar to me. Perhaps he was a senior staff member that I'd never worked with. He barely seemed to notice me, but since we'd been working together, I decided to say hello. When I addressed him, he merely glanced at me without responding. Sounds sounds like what I would expect, honestly. Alright, let's see. Mm. Good morning. Um I heard you the first time. He kept his eyes on the computer screen as he spoke. Don't you think we'll introduce ourselves when everyone else is here, so there's no need to talk now. Am I wrong? It's called Pleasantries. Wait, what did they say this one was? I've got the list here. He is the... Cynic. He's a cynic. What an interesting D&D &D class. His voice dripped with irritation. All I did was greet him. I wasn't sure why he was so bothered. I stopped trying to figure him out and began arranging my stuff on my desk instead. I'm sorry for leaving you hanging. The woman from earlier approached me as I finished unpacking. Compared to the man to my right, she was much more friendly and fashionable. In fact, I look very, I got this. I got the stripey stripes. We're doing it. I'm doing it. I don't look at the MC. I look like the MC's female best friend who's married, I think. Could be wrong. Hang on, I got distracted. Boom. Alright, perfect. Am I Little Lamb? Welcome to Astarsi Planning Department, Little Lamb number three. Little Lambs, a nickname given by Oe to the junior members of Astarsi team. Lamb one is Satome, Lamb two is Minato, and you are Lamb number three. Director Kobas snagged you with his aggressive recruiting, didn't he? Yeah, they're grabbing, <laughs> gathering little lambs to sacrifice for the rebuilding of Astarsi. The last of the three to arrive is you. That's terrifying. You're from the design department, right? Have we ever worked together? My name is Nanami Oi, and I am a member of the original project team. By the way, the guy over there is Little Lamb number two. His name is Kohi Minato, and he was previously part of Content One. Content One, one of the many departments within Astario, both Kobas and Minato previously belonged to this department. Kohi Minato. He was recruited to Astarsi a sh short time ago to help revamp the department. 
He is curt and cold. He does his job extremely well, but does not have a lot of drive. I wondered if he transferred along with director Kobas as a former member of Content One. Little Lamb Number Two, aka Minato, stayed at his computer and didn't look it up at us. Minato, yeah. Oi, Minato. Hello. Oh, look, he's got bracelets on. That's how you know he's cool. He's edgy. In spite of his apparent reluctance to talk, he seemed to respond if he was pushed. I assumed he was an he was antisocial. Same. You already know Director Kobas, right? He's with a client right now. Oh, there's one more person. He was the first one to join the department. <laughs> He's never around when you need him. So the Astarsi planning department had five members, including Myself. All the other team members transferred before you, so they've been on the job for a couple days now. Minato's been here for a cup for a week. The other guy started two days ago. So you're the last one. Director Kobas said we'd have a team meeting once everybody was here. Let's set up your PC while we're waiting for the other for the director. Once your email is set up, could you send a message to Stop a contact. Haven't contacted this person and this person. Okay, would you mind sending our programmer an email about the reorganization? His name is YOFY. He mainly helps us with system development. Is that a secret route? She showed me YOFY's business card and I told her I worked with him in the past. You worked with him in a previous apartment, that makes things easier. Does she not actually speak? I know she's faceless, but I've yet to see like my name say things. Legend of Zelda, if Legend of Zelda had a dating feature in it for Link, because Link wouldn't talk, he would just be like... And then people would just know. He used to do a lot of small jobs for us, but he's been trying taking on bigger projects recently. New contract has been signed for... Increase work, but we have, still have to decide who will be our point of I didn't check because there's not an option to check. Just kidding. <laughs> there may be significant system modifications to the app depending on the direction we go in. Please tell him we would appreciate his help now more than ever. I had been it had been more than six months since I last worked with YFMO F Y O F Y. A freelance programmer who works regularly with Astario. All communication with him is conducted via email or Insta messenger. Nobody in the company has heard his voice, let alone see his face. All right, you got me. I'm interested. We used to outsource work to him from every department, but 
It seems that now he would be focused on a star season renewal. I opened the email app so I could write a message about the transfer. I'm back. Is everyone here? Yes, Anku. After sending the email, I went through some old documents. That was when Director Kobas returned. Looks like we're still missing someone. Where is he? Uh, he was here this morning, but I haven't seen him since. <laughs> Hold on. Look at this intimidating glare. Does that just beckon people? As the director muttered, he pulled out his phone and began to die. It's me. Get back here now. He ended the call before the person on the other end could respond. Seeing him act like that sent a chill down my spine. Our boy! <laughs> Hi, cutie. Minato, I'd like to have an individual meeting with the new staff, so... <laughs> I arrived at a good time. You did! Perfect timing. Could you reserve a meeting room for an hour from now? Yes, of course. These two stony boys. Suddenly the door flung open. Sorry, thought it'd be faster. Was everyone waiting for me? Quiet down and don't run in the hallway. For just a second, the ridge of his glasses looked like a piercing, but then I was like, that's not his eyebrow. Jeez, I'm not a kid, you know. Where have you been wasting your time? Is this how the picture's broken up? Actually, wait, that's them. That's all the boys on the cover. It's all three of them right there. Okay, okay. Oh, also on the back, they're broken up by that. So this might be, there might be two CGs. So the other one will have the other three boys. Question mark. I might have just got distracted. I don't even know if I screenshot it. We might have two screenshots. That's fine. Where have you been wasting your time? I was over at Content 2. One of the many departments with Thin Astario Sa Saitomo previously belonged to this department. trying to cross my legs, but I'm not doing a good good job of it. Alright. New item came to me for a project I left behind. I wanted to share it with enough. You belong to a Star Sea project now. They won't like it if you keep butting in. Come on, it'd be a waste not to share one of my ideas, right? We're still in the same company. We gotta be able to bounce ideas back and forth. I just love his, his like flowers around him. He's just so in his own world. He's the worst person in this group. Like, I'm bubbly. <laughs> as long as they use my ideas, I don't care if they like me or not, right, Minato? Whatever. You're so cold, such a funny guy. Stop talking, Satomi. Oi. Okie dokie. Offensive side eye of the brown hair guy. <laughs> We're calling him Sehun. That's not his name, though. 
Of all people, I couldn't believe I was stuck working with Satome. Satome. I'm doing this right. It was true that he was more communicative than Minato, but I wondered if I'd be able to survive here. Other members are still talking to each other, but all of them are going to be able to survive. Amasawa, it's the only one I haven't spoken to yet, but now we're all together. Once again, I would like to welcome everyone. I'm Kobas, newly appointed head of the Starsea Planning Department. It's no secret that a Starsea hasn't been. Formed well these past few years. There's no point hiding anything, so I'll just tell you now. Right now, the only way to make a profit is to make a profit. A star C is the only unprofitable app in the company's portfolio. Before the launch of the service, the growth of the app is slow. I'm going to melt. Is he too mean to us, or is he just a bit serious? He's our our sundere, so like he came up and said, "Get out of the way if you don't know what you want to order." And then he ordered us a drink and then gave it to us. He's our he's our sweet little sundere. He sounds angry. He makes eye contact that's angry, and then he's super nice on the inside because he's he loves us because he actually loves us. I'm projecting that part, by the way. All the apps we've launched after a star see are doing quite well. Sarani. Development, design, and planning are all generating profits by taking on projects from other companies. So, in that case, even if the name is not recognized, it's not a bad thing. I like listening to him talk. <laughs> Many believe it's time. It's time to move on from Astarsi and shut the app down, despite it having the company's name attached to it. My instinct was right. Don't worry, he'll love us. <laughs> Small evil laugh. It's like, ooh, he's gonna be, he's gonna be like Snuggle Bear soon enough. So you can get the rumor is true. That's what people in management are saying. However, this company has been with Astarsi and has been a part of the company. A star C has been a major part of this company from the beginning. So, the chairman also said that the company has been with Astarsea from the beginning. So, the chairman also said that the company has been with Astarsea from the beginning. So, the chairman also said that the company has been with Astarsea from the beginning. So, the chairman also said that the company has been with Astarsea from the beginning. So, the chairman also said that the company has been with Astarsea from the beginning. So, the chairman also said that the company has been with Astarsea from the beginning. So, the chairman also said that the company has been with Astarsea from the beginning. It's for this reason that we are in the process of relaunching it. But the service completion possibility of a place is not very high. Hi, Kitty. Kobe isn't mean at all. He's like a teddy bear. He's gonna be our teddy bear. He's gonna be our teddy bear. We're gonna. That's why he's wearing a red tie. However, we can't devote too many resources to a division of the company that may be shut. So it's that way, Kara. Which is why I have selected all of you, a small number of top performers, to help me. This time, the hit of the hit was a bit unexpected. It was a bit unexpected. His red tie is the red bow of a teddy. Yeah, that's it. He's so cute, and he's got glasses. And they're like mine, where they're. Oh no, wait, these aren't like mine. These are the opposite of like mine, right? Hang on, did I change my frames and forget how my glasses look? I did. My glasses used to be like that, where one half didn't have a, a frame on it. Some of you may not love that you've been transferred. Which, by the way, I will be getting new glasses soon, which is exciting. I might get a couple of frame designs. That way, I can switch between them just for streaming. No. <laughs> ここにいるということは腹を決めてくれたものだと思って接することにする
Regardless, since you're here, I assume you agreed to join. Gotta return to work. You guys have fun. All right, bye, Ray. Have a good day at work. Good job being the HR department. I think that's what you said. <laughs> okay, I didn't mean to hit the button. Regardless, since you're here, I assume you agreed to join. <laughs> salute, salute, Ray. I ask that you do your best and help us revive a star seed. That is all. After that, each member of the team did a quick self introduction. So, I'd like to talk individually with everyone about future business, so Amasawa, come to the conference room in 40 minutes. After I replied, he left. See, we don't have the MC saying anything. Just as I was about to take my seat and start working, Satome approached me. I'm surprised to see you accepted the transfer offer. I'm looking forward to working with everyone, especially since we're a small team. We're peers now, so I'm sure we'll all get along. Before I could reply, Satome glanced at Minato. Doesn't he kind of have the sound like the guy from uh, Jack and Jean? Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm probably wrong. I'm probably wrong. Is each boy a dere? Ooh, that's a great question. Um, the only one they straight up called a sundere was uh, Anku's voice actor's role. He's Cafe Enchante, he's Akira. He's Akira and, oh, he is in Jack and Jean, but He's Mitsuki's voice actor, um, not the one it sounded like to me. I'm sure we can make everybody a dede if we want to. Him specifically, he's called Personal Space Invader. That's his, that's his one personality trait. This one seems more something, the more innocent one is the more dangerous. Honestly, yes. I think we've all been traumatized. There's no such thing as just a sweet, innocent boy these days. He's got his hair spiky in a couple areas. That's the sign that you're evil. <laughs> Speaking of which, Minato sounds kind of stiff. I'm going to call you Ko, short for Kohei. Oh. What? Ko-chan,俺らと年近いよね。入社と年齢プラスマイナスで、ためみたいなもんか。And the pink hair. Is it pink? To me, it's red. Someone else called it pink hair too, and I called it red, and I was like, wait, who has pink hair in this game? We're close in age, aren't we? Actually, if we subtract the year you joined the company, we're the same age. Come on, let's go, buddy. That's the craziest logic I've ever heard. I love him because he has a bracelet on one arm and he pulled the sleeve up just so you can see his bracelet so you know that he's actually in a metal band. He also has a very pretty voice. Let's see, let's see if we recognize this voice actor. Yuichi Chori Umahara. Oh, that does sound familiar, actually. He's also in Jack and Jean. He's Rokero. He's the, the head of our 
class. He's Connus. Okay, I think we already said that earlier. Who else is he? He's in the Calligraphy effect. I have to play that. He's in Believer as Yo Inami. And he's in Grand Blue Fantasy. All right, so Sehun is the voice of Connus. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> you remind me of Connus, but it was like, maybe it's just because it's deeper. Nope, it's because it is the voice actor of Connus. So you can hear him saying like, I'm Connus Espinata. I think it's better to let friendships happen naturally. If you spoke to me that way as my senior, it's basically, it'd basically be power abuse. anti-communication <laughs> Uh, you're so cold. Are you antisocial? Maybe it's a Satari generation thing. Hope they don't do it dirty. <laughs> Hope he doesn't get the least amount of CGs in the shortest story in the entire game. At least we can already see his face. I wanted to be in his arms. Whoever drew him knew. They knew that without a face, they had to give him the best arms and hands of the family, and they did a great job. <laughs> Refers to those born between 1987 and 2004. I'm a Satori generation. Used to describe people from this generation who lack drive to desire to achieve large amounts of success. Very huggable. <laughs> I'm not gonna pressure you, but this is my style, so give up or get used to it. Is that is that our sign that he's gonna be bad? Is that ooh, is that a good thing? Is this the bad boy? Is this I know there's one. I was warned in advance that one of these guys is not like the other. One of these guys force hugs you, I think. How, somehow my desk looks exactly the same even though I've changed location. I left Minato with Satome. Satome. And returned to my seat while I was occupied and received a reply from YOFY. From Yofi. My thanks for taking the time to inform me about your new position. I appreciate your continued support. Our freelance partner usually spoke casually with us, but YOFY was also so formal. I figured he was a polite person. What if he's the bartender? What's the bartender's name? Is that the bartender? Did I just figure this out? Hang on. Mm, there's only one Y in his name, so maybe not. I enjoy his description as handsome older man. <laughs> That's what I thought about as I entered the meeting with Director Kobas. Hey, Anku, how you doing, boy? So, you're not going to be able to do it. I don't know. The one you said you liked as a co worker? Which one did I say I liked? I feel like I like a lot of them. I don't know which one. Amasawa, regard, regarding your future duties. I don't know which one. As I told you before, a star sea is in need of an immediate reorganization and content reboot. It was Akito, Red Hair, Boy, and Kanis. Yes, 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 yes. Akari, Akita, oh yes, Akita is from Unchante. Yes, the one who had uh, Rue, the little girl, the little girl, the coo, the little box, plushy. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait a second, he's Epilogue in Cafe Enchante. Is this just a recast about Cafe Enchante? 
Hang on, who's next? Who's next? I think he showed us the card that, oh. The too loud guy. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not the one. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, this is the one I, I, this is my favorite one right here, Nori. They have similar hairstyles. So that might be why, because it's it's the colorful hair. This is the one I'm also going to dye my hair. Yeah, so far we have three people from Cafe Enchante in this game. Yeah, Nori's the one I'm looking forward to because he's so pretty. And I want him to have a cool, chill voice. That or like the deepest voice you've ever heard. I want to be deeper than Anku's. Imagine a voice deeper than Anku. I'm like, hello, Satan. As I told you before, Starcy is in need of immediate reorganization and content reboot. Before each individual was responsible for everything from planning to implementation, but I'll be changing that. Especially since you're going to be doing something completely different from your previous job. My eyes widen when he explained that I would be doing something completely different. To be honest, the You don't know much outside of design, correct? I feel attacked. <laughs> If that's the case, I'm going to ask you to shadow the other members of the team. I was relieved to hear that, but my work would change based on who I teamed up with, so I had to think carefully. Oh, wait, 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 wait. In general, I'm going to be able to get back to the schedule for a month. We're planning to complete the renewal for the next six months. The plan is to get back to the original design and get back to it was involved in reorganization of existing sections and the additional additions of new content. But remember, we still have to run the existing Astarcy app during these six months as well. Additionally, we'll discuss a joint venture with Tempesty, with whom we have conducted business with in the past. One of the companies Astario worked with before was Tempesty, a large IT company that operates in a wide range of media and video games. Ooh. And co development with Tempesty meant a huge project. Our budget is limited, as you can see, by the size of our staff. That's why, in addition to Tempesty, we will seek out as many potential sponsors as possible. That's all I've got for now. I learned from the head of the design department that you still have revision work from an earlier project. This week, I want you to wrap that up while you learn about Astarcy and your duties here. Within a week, I'll decide what I'd like you to do in that time. Please consider what you'd like to do as well. I gave Director Kobas a nod and left the meeting room. All right, so that's for the love interest. We still have two to meet, which is... Taman from Disturbance. 
and uh, Taman from uh, Sherlock. <laughs> I finally finished my first day at my new department. The day felt longer than usual. Otsukare. Hey! In response to the voice, I turned to find Satome, who had promptly left his seat. It looked like he was still at work, even though he didn't have any overtime. I asked if he forgot something here. Hmm? <laughs> Forgot something? Yeah, I guess you could say that. Yeah, I was thinking back to the conversation we had this morning. About me being a content two member. At his prompting, I recall this morning conversation. ちょっと古、お気味上げ。あなたはもう、でも同じ。お、ああ、大江さんが言ってたこと、あんま気にしないかな。Are you worried about what Oi said? I don't care about that. 朝も言ったけど、いい企画があるのに、部署とか対面とか気にして動かないのはもったいないじゃん。It'd be wasteful not to help because we're only concerned about our department. それでもし。it's fine if they don't like me. As long as I, my idea is useful, I'll be happy. I don't need the credit. I was impressed that he could be so happy with working without any rewards or recognition. Perhaps that was one of the reasons why his projects were always successful. Oi! Amasawa, what are you looking at? The elevator's here. I'm just looking at your hair. Like, I like your little pins in your hair. It's cute. And your eyes are so green. Actually, we, all three of them have also been in Jack and Jean because he's the voice of the singer in Jack and Jean. The other one was the teacher from Jack and Jean. And the last one is... Uh, Gabriel, I think that's his name. Uh, the other student that looks really creepy. That likes to flirt with girls and he likes to be surrounded by beautiful things. Usually there'd be a few people in the elevator coming from the other floors, but not today. Double check who the old man might voice. Let's see. Yuya Uchido. We talked about this. I think they spelled this wrong. Yuma Uchido. I don't know if that's right or not. I don't know if that's right. Wait, it says it's Megumi. If that's Megumi's voice actor, then he is in Jack and Jean, because that is Uz Suzu. Is that possible? Oh my god. Is this right? Is this the right person? That can't be right. That can't be right. No, I got that's gotta be wrong. his full Wikipedia page. Thank you. <laughs> is he really old or is he like in his 30s? Which one? The, although the bartender guy here, let me show you what he looks like. His name is quite, so this has like a description of them and it literally says handsome older man. That's his description. Like we have 
sweetheart. <laughs> Handsome older man. Personal space invader. All of it says his actual age on here. It doesn't. It just says handsome older man. So he's older. How old? I don't know. Uh, Okay, that's not the right person. All right, we'll figure that one out later. When the silence began to feel awkward, he started talking. So, by the way, you didn't tell me why you transferred. What made you move to Astarsi? You don't seem like the type to want to do project planning. I think you should know I'm highly passionate about project planning. Thank you. Also, it doesn't seem to me seem like you had problems with your old apartment either. I found myself wondering why Satomi transferred to you. I couldn't imagine how Content 2 would want to give up such a valuable staff member. But considering what director Kobas said about choosing an elite group, I guess it was understandable that he'd be picked. I was also curious about gossip. Was everyone else aware of the rumor about the layoff? When director Kobas explained it to me, I thought it sounded fun. Oh, I know why you joined. How did you know? Like, oh my god, I bet it's because you're into Kobasa. You better believe it. A smile spread across his face as he spoke. His comments shocked me into silence. Taking the offer because Kobas persuaded you sounds more like you, though. With the look on your face, I guess I was right. Wondering how I looked, I touched my face. It's true that Director Kobasa's recruitment was the main reason I made my decision, but I also wanted to challenge myself into a new field by joining the Astarsi planning department. Mm -hmm. It was then that the elevator reached the first floor. As Satomi walked off, he waved his hands goodbye. Yeah, dude, we're already in love with him. <laughs> like, is that why you also joined the apartment? Are you also in love with him? Do you like like him? The next day, just as I was about to leave for lunch, a call came in from the reception desk. Hi. Hi. Tempesty no Yoshioka-sama. Kobase desu ne. Shoshou o matchi kudasai. Hello. Yes. Yoshi uh, of Tempesty, Kobas, please wait one moment. She glanced at the director's desk where director Kobas was on the phone. He didn't even look in our direction, so his call would probably take a while longer. He is currently unavailable. Considering the situation, I thought it would be better to greet the client first. I offered to bring him to the meeting room. Ah, Oh, would you? Thank you. I'll let the director Kobas know. Who are we about to meet? Who works at Tempesty? Oh, there he is. It's Taman in his jacket. At the office entrance, a man was waiting. There was something about his dazzling eyes and shiny hair that made him look like a prince. As I approached him, he noticed me too. Are you from the Astarsi team? His belt's like... Looking cute, this blondie. <laughs> like N.E. for his belt. Sounds like you're a 
it's nice to meet you. I'm Yoshiaka from Tempesty. I have an appointment with Director Kobas at 2. Rokuro Yoshika, heir to the Tempesty Corporation and a business partner with Astario. Though you're technically an outsider, he is very kind to you. What does that mean? His voice was soft and he moved gracefully. Let's see who his voice actor is. Sechiro Yamashita. Good news is we did look this up not too long ago, so it gives me. Oh, it's Yoichi from Winter's Wish. That's it. That's his only other Atomic game that I've seen in his history. His voice was soft and he moved gracefully. Just looking at him made me carry myself more decorously. Yoshiko was relieved when I told him I was taking him to the conference room first since Director Kobas was on the phone. Honestly, I was worried I wouldn't make it on time because my previous meeting got pushed back. He ran his hand through his disheveled hair. It looked as if he had rushed over. Huh? Oh, no, do I still have hair sticking out? Why? Can you also read my mind? Over here? I pointed to it and he smoothed it over, his face flushed with embarrassment. Is that better? Oh, good. Thank you for your help. Kobase-san,能力で選んだら、癖が強いやつの集まりになった。Kobase told me he put together quite the team of outstanding individuals.そう伺っていたので、少し身構えていたんですが、all the fuss made me a little nervous. Why? But I suppose there was no need to worry. Anyways, I'm pleased to have someone like you around to help. We just met my guy. You don't even know me. I'm sure we'll be seeing each other more often from here on out. I look forward to working with you. Thanks. I guided Yoshi Yoshioka to the meeting room after hearing his kind words. Also, I could have sworn they said this one was rated M, but it's rated T and it says it's T for sexual themes, language, and use of alcohol. The day after Yoshioka's visit, Kobas and I visited Tempesty. Regarding why we're meeting with Tempesty today, I'm considering creating their own news app, which would completely challenge our news app, and we gotta murder them all, so get your knife ready. That shocked me. I asked if that meant a Starcy would have to compete with another app. It's certainly not something we on the Astarcy team would welcome. However, Tempesty has been very helpful to us. Their needs cannot be ignored. They do not plan to release anything immediately. Their first step is to get a better understanding of the market. That's why why they contacted us. However, there is another app project that we're working on with them as well. Then, 
思い切って名乗りを上げたわけだ。So we jumped in and proposed that they join our project to help us revitalize the star scene. The response was better than we initially expected. As someone who spent my whole life going to doing the job I was told to do, this proactive way of thinking blew my mind. So, this was the mindset of people in management and administration. They think outside the box. They don't just do what they're told. They, they bounce ideas off each other.、Hmm? No, this way. Suddenly, the director grabbed my arm. Where are you wandering off to? I told him I was so lost and thought that I didn't realize where I was going. You need to get a grip. There may be times when you have to come here alone, so pay attention to where we're going. Yes, sir. Originally, I thought he was angry with me for zoning out, but maybe he was, try- he was truly concerned about how I'd fare in the future. I told him I'd be more careful, and we headed off to Tempesty. Sir, I'm gonna get lost. Please give me your hand. Yeah, let me hold onto the hem of your shirt, please. Yoshinari's department number is. This must be it. 17時に吉岡様とお約束をしておりますエスタリオのコバセと申します Hello, I'm Kobas from Estario and I have an appointment at 5 p.m. with Mr. Yoshioka Who has an appointment at 5 p.m.? People leave for the day at 5 p.m. What are you talking about? はい、よろしくお願いいたします Thank you very much お待たせいたしましたお世話になっております Welcome and thank you for waiting After a moment a friendly man approached us ああ、日賀さんですよねお久しぶりです It's 日賀、right? Ah,、uh, it's been a while はい、お久しぶりですではご案内しますねどうぞ Yes, it's been a minute Let me show you to the conference room 半年ぶりぐらいですかねなかなか合わないものですね。I believe it's been about half a year since we last met, is that right? Director Kobas chatted with the staff member who was guiding us. Is he a secret love interest? Apparently they knew each other already. んああ、日賀さんはご相談の段階で窓口を担当されていたからな。前に一度ご挨拶をしている。It would be funny if we could romance our competitors. Technically, the blonde、uh, with the long jacket is romanceable. So we can. Right, Hugo was our main contact here at Tempesty. We've met once before. Higa Tsukihiko to Yimas. Joksetsu Kakawar Koto a s k u n a i t m o i m a s g よろしくお願いします。My name is Tsukihiko Higa. Not sure how much direct, com- direct contact I'll have with you, but I'm looking forward to working with you. Terminology. A man who works in the sales department at Tempesty. That's all you need to know. I introduce myself right away. They don't give someone a face for no reason, right? If he's just some random dude, he wouldn't have a face. He was different from Yoshina, Yoshioka, but was similarly a quiet and kind person. Kobasa, san, o t s k a r a s a m a desu. Hey, Kobasa, Amasawa. We were greeted by Yoshihika as soon as we entered the conference room. Ocha was in a mini, Uchino staff will show Kai Sasete Kudasai. Please allow me to introduce our staff before we begin the meeting. Kongo Nanikato, Goisho Sasete Itadakoto Ninaruto Mono. 
After all, we'll be working together from here on out. どうもよろしくお願いいたします。Hello, nice to meet you. 今後、私たちも御社にお伺いすることもあると思いますので、どうぞよろしくお願いします。We may visit your office in the future, so I'm glad we're meeting today. コバスです。こちらこそ、今後ともよろしくお願いします。It's、nice to meet you as well. My name is k o b a s Once the others had introduced themselves and left, the meeting began. Director Kobas and Yoshi Hika started talking about the project. As for me, I was busy taking notes and listening to their discussion. Again, I look forward to working with your team. エスター氏の回復には御社のお力添えが必須だと思っていますので頼りにしてますまだスタートラインにも立てていない私たちでどの程度お役に立てるのか未知数ですが We haven't began yet, so I don't know how much help we can provide, but. しっかりと勉強させていただきますので、ご指導のほどよろしくお願いします。We'll do our best to learn. Your guidance is greatly appreciated. After wrapping up, the two shook hands. あなたもよろしくお願いしますね。After, it was a pleasure working with you as well, Amasawa. じゃあ、自分たちはこのまま移動するつもりですが、吉岡さんも出られますか少し片付けたいものがあるので後で合流させていただきます店の場所はご存知ですかお邪魔でなければこいつを案内役として残していきますか Are you familiar with the location? We can have Amasawa take you there. いえ、待っていただくのは申し訳ないですから、ちゃんとたどり着くので大丈夫ですよ。I wouldn't want her to wait here on my account. I'm sure I'll be able to find it just fine. It's okay. Take me with you. あ,あ、でも、もし迷った時のために。But just in case I get lost, Amasawa. よければ連絡先交換してもらってもいいですか contact, contact not, Here, director, mind, so、ありがとうございます。Thank you very much. His phone seemed to, seemed to、like、an extension of his body as his fingers flew across the screen. 連絡先登録できました There was that right? To check, I sent him a message right away. <laughs> Bow. Why is he a horse? Thank you. Yoshioka had a horse as his ring icon. Oh no, I wanted, I wanted to screenshot it again. I didn't know if I got it. Application that allows users to engage in calls or exchange messages on a smartphone or tablet, the most popular communication app in circulation today. I doubted, I doubted it because of his gentle personality, but I asked if he rode horses. Icon, this guy? Huh? Oh, you noticed my icon? Shumi de Jova o Shosho Tashinande Mashte. Konoko a sono partner nan des. I quite enjoy horseback riding. That pretty girl is my partner. いい Isn't she cute? The horse really was cute. I couldn't help but think of Yoshi Oka's resembling a prince in both his hobbies and his appearance. I commented on it. <laughs> oh my god, you're like a prince. Huh? A prince? Wait, me? <laughs> それって褒めていただいたと思っていいんでしょうか Can I take that as a compliment? I realize it was unprofessional to say that to a business partner and apologized immediately. I tried to explain that it sincerely was a compliment and that I didn't mean any disrespect to him. じゃああなたは私のお姫様になってくれますか<笑>姫
Hime-sama. You can't call me that when Anku's right there. He's the only one who can call me Hime-sama. In any case, I suppose that would make you my princess, right, Amasawa? Yoshioka didn't seem offended and just took it in stride. Yoshioka-san, no need to play along, Yoshioka. She's the one who brought it up. <laughs> Sorry, just having a little fun. Uh, it was true that I had started it, but I didn't think Yoshioka is the type to play along with jokes like that. Or is he? As we go outside, the sun was setting. Alright, let's go. Sayotama will be annoyed if we're late, so let's hurry. I agreed with the director and we started walking towards Evergreen. Oh, our party's at Evergreen. We were greeted by Evergreen's manager as soon as I opened the door. Welcome. Welcome. We've been expecting you. Reservation for six days, is that right? Yes, I apologize in advance if things get a little rowdy tonight. No, that's okay. I hope you enjoy yourselves. Thank you. Hey, After being shown to our seats, we ordered a few drinks. Once everyone got their drink, Satome became restless. Can we get started already? What are you talking about? Yoshioka's not even here yet. Yeah, I know. Why didn't he come with the two of you? まだ少し仕事が残ってるってことで、先に追い止まさせてもらったんだ。吉岡さんも忙しい方だからな。We left before him since he still has work to do. Yoshioka is a very busy person. そういや、お前、連絡先交換してただろう。何かメッセージ来てないのか? Give his contact information correct as he messaged you. Yeah, why did you get my phone number? Why didn't why what about you, Kobas? Do you not have his contact? え?王子と連絡先交換したの? <gasps> Amasawa exchanged contact information with the prince? Oh good, I'm not the only one. Can you all stop with the prince stick, please? I was glad I wasn't the only one who thought he looked like a prince. I checked my ring. I kicked the desk. I, when I checked my phone, I saw that it had a ring message. Apologies for the wait. I'll be there in 10 minutes. Dore dore. Ato 10 de ka. Then call us a princess. He did call us pr uh, Hime sama, and I said, no, only Anku can call us princess. He says he'll be here in about 10 minutes. Peeking at someone's phone without permission is rude. He's also the one who said that you have to get used to his personality or get over it. Sorry about that. Hey, wait. Oh,いいジェリーベース。Why why don't we each have each other's contact information even though we work at the same department? Why does Yoshioka have it first? Am I the only one who doesn't have everyone's contact numbers? Why are you guys trying to shut me out? We've already shared our information, right, Leah? That's right, Oe. You and I, best friends for life. Oh, how about you? I don't see a point in exchanging contact information. Masawa, that's not fair. When did you get Yoshinari's contact info? Before we left his office, just in case he got lost. <gasps> 
Koba, you were there and you just let it happen. Yeah, why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I? Is he worried about my purity? What's happening here? Besides, she doesn't need my permission if I'm Masawa is fine with it. Yeah, that's true, but... Director Kobas leaned towards us with his brow drawn, seemingly unaware of what Satoma was getting at. Why is he so mad? Honestly, I had the same question, but Oi chimed in quickly. <laughs> Maybe he's jealous. Huh? Shitto? Jealous. Saotome kun wa minna nakayoshi type desu kara. Kanojo tomo nakayoku naritai to omotte mitai dashi. Saotome wanted to be friends with everyone, including Leah. Ato, nenlak saki koukan o wasurete ta jibun ni okotte no kamo. Plus, he's probably mad at himself for not asking for her number earlier. Naru hodo na. I see. As they talk, Satomi finally spoke up. Okay, let's exchange contact information now. Oh! Yeah! You too, Koba. Come on, Ko. Then me. Yeah. I don't think that's necessary. Come on, get your phones out. So we all exchanged contact information while we waited for Yoshi Oka. Yoshi Oka arrived just as we all finished exchanging our numbers. Sorry for keeping everyone waiting. No, not at all. Yoshi Oka san mo kotsu kite, nomimono tanonde kudasai. Come on over here, Yoshinari. Yoshinari? Yoshinari. I don't know who that is. Yoshioka, let's get you a drink. We're missing one Mina person now. Does everybody have a drink? Oi! Yes! So what's he drinking? Like, scotch on the rocks, we got a beer, it looks like a Long Island. Uh, champagne. Um, and a blue drink with a like an orange in it? I don't know what that is. Yes, where's my drink? I should have my hand on screen. Oi. Yes. Yes. Now for the toast, please, Dr. Kobas. Well, Are we the Golden Eye Girl as the CG in third person? Um, no, we are not the Golden Eye Girl. We are uh, the person everyone's looking at for that person. She doesn't have a face. Our character is faceless. She does have a face, but they don't show it. In fact, here, I can show you what our character looks like. This is what our character looks like on the main page. She is, she is just protagonist. Get her better on there, there she is. Protagonist, that's all she is. So she does not, she wears a, uh, a leopard print t-shirt over like a uh, pinafoil. Pinafore. Um, as the pictures uh they basically just show like they'll show her face but her face isn't like she has no eyes she has no eyes 
Um, so she has no eyes, and then they show her outfit typically. I literally just ruined my life just now. Sorry. She has like no eyes, so it's always like her face is kind of in shadow. Um, earlier, she actually was in the background. Hang on. She was in the background of an earlier scene. So that's her in the top corner. That's her, her jacket. And then she's got like a pinafoil on. That's it. I remember games where the MC doesn't have eyes, so we can self-insert. Yeah, this is a very, uh, we want you to self-insert. Pretend this is you, except her outfit is really bad. I don't like her outfit. I don't like the leopard print. I was joking earlier, like I was debating, I looked it up to see how much like a leopard print shirt would be just to buy one. And like, I'm like, ooh, I'm not spending $30 on a shirt I will never wear outside of this street. <laughs> All right, we got about half a year to revitalize Astari, Astarcy, but I don't want you all to push yourselves too hard. I look forward to working with you on this project. Cheer, cheer. Oh, they start looking at each other. Are those two dating now? Leave it to me. <laughs> Green hair is in his mid 40s. Okay. That's a good age. Job's a job. Yoshoka san mo. Team to stewa mizuku de moshiwake arimasen ga. Douka. Yoroshiku o negai shimasu. My apologies for my team's inexperience, but we look forward to your assistance, Yoshioka. Hi. It's a pleasure to be part of such a cheerful and vibrant team. So cheers. Kanpai! Kanpai! Chang! And so our modest little project kickoff party began. Oh, so that. Yoshioka san mo renlak saki kokan shite kudasai yo. Oh yeah, Yoshioka, can we exchange contact information to you? Tell him no. I want you to say no. Uh, hi. Yes, yo. It. Be like, sorry, I don't want everyone to have my information. I want to feel special. Sure, of course. Yeah, I was surprised to hear you already exchanged contact info with her. But it was good. It reminded me that we hadn't exchanged contact info yet. So this guy. Yeah, but he's at you talking in the sake of state it or then be this kind of I see. Well, you now have my number. If anything comes up, be sure to let me know. This is your name. This is a so it I took to go. He more more than much. The Hannah said he not the whole city took to go. I will like when I want to go out to eat or when I'm bored and want to chat. So not do the money. Go to the end. Looks to go to get this car. You're not planning to use my phone number for things like that, right? Of course I am. You'll be the first one I call. Look at these boys. Look how cute they are. Please don't. <laughs> Everyone's so friendly. I enjoyed talking with everyone. Eventually, my throat was sore from talking so much, so I got up to go to the restroom. But as I walked towards the restroom... Ah, yeah, uh, Now I've done it. I bumped into someone and a cold drink, and the cold drink he was holding spilled all over me. I looked up and saw a distraught person holding a now-empty glass. He pour it on me. Oh my god, look at his earrings. He's so beautiful. <laughs> there, that's how she looks in shot. There it is. Look. Look at my beautiful boy. Oh, he's so cute. Look at all his earrings. He's here. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's just staring at our chest. I know what he's staring at, but like, oh my. I forgot about him. How could you forget about him? He's the one. He is the one I've been waiting for. Hey, 
Asia. I can do that too. I'm sorry. I got your clothes wet. 本当にごめんね。ぶつかるなーって気はしたんだけど、両手にコップ持ってるから避けきれなくて。I'm really sorry. I was afraid I was going to bump into you, but this glass was so full and I couldn't move fast enough. Ah, でも両方ともチェイサーだから気にしないで Oh, but it's just a chaser, so don't worry. There was no alcohol in it. You're good. Chaser, a drink taken between alcoholic drinks, typically water, soda water, or some kind of low percentage alcoholic beverage. I'm watching your stream and like a dragon stream. Leave me be or. We all forget about something. We don't forget about cute little precious angels with purple hair. Although he told me not to worry, my clothes were still soaking wet. I was, it was, was just water, and I wasn't paying attention either, so I shouldn't have thought much of it, but. He's so happy. He's like using the cuff of his own shirt. He wiped the wet spot lightly. <sighs> what to do? What to do? Is he a spy? <laughs> Or is he YFTY? I don't know. Oh, I'll pay for your dry cleaning. But I don't have a lot of cash, but. ちょっとノーリー、何やってるのよ。ノーリー、what are you doing? カエデさん。カエデ。A woman walked towards us as the man called out. Does she have a face? Oh, she do. ごめん、ね、俺このお姉さんにお水かけちゃったんだ。I'm sorry, I spilled water on this lady. Look at her eyes. This girl has seen death before. <laughs> she serves you right for not paying attention. Is she talking to me? I'm the one who got spilled water on. I like her eyes and hair. I like her eyes a lot. Her hair, maybe it's too close to my hair. I don't know. I actually need to get a trim though. Mmm. Ah, so did. お姉さんにクリーニング代渡そうと思ったんだけど。でもさ、ほら、俺お金ないから、どうしようかなって。I don't have much money and I was wondering what to do. I recognize this voice. Oh, good gracious. We have to relook everyone up like four times when we play these games. It's Ken! It's Ken! I went to the wrong thing. It's a shh, shh. Yeah, Shelby Snell. That's not the voice he's doing right now. Then brother conflict. We can play that one sometime. Try to see if there's anything else I recognize. No, just Shelby. Just Shelby. Does he sound like Shelby though? Does that sound like Shelby Snell? Does that sound like S S? I don't have much money and I was wondering what to do. Oh, God. Well, I don't have much money and I was wondering what to do. You idiot. I suppose I was the one who asked you to get me water. I'm sorry about this. 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 I was dumbfounded as this odd couple's bantered. Before I knew it, the woman was trying to give me money. Since my clothes weren't worth, worth dry cleaning, I declined the offer. Oh, so? Are you sure? 
I'm dressed as trash. Oneesan, yasashine. Is it really okay? You're so kind. Nori, wa motto chanto ayamari nasai. Nori, you need to apologize more. Hi. Gomen nasai. Okay, I'm sorry. Oopsie. Motta kumo. Sreja, hoto ni gomen nasai ne. Good grief. Again, I'm so sorry about this. Ja ne. Oneesan. Bye bye. After that, they moved to a table at the back of the restaurant. Then. What are you doing? A voice called out to me from behind, so I turned around and saw Minato standing there. I was wondering who you were talking to, especially since you left me with Satome. I'm so sorry, I left you with him. Do you know them? It wasn't my intention to shove Satomi onto him, and I felt a little guilty. I apologized to Minato and explained the situation briefly. You should have made them pay for the cleaning, you're too kind. It might be best not to get involved with them anyway, says the man with a leather bracelet on. Seems like he was a little worried about me. Probably would have got us all wrapped up in it too. Excuse me? Then again, maybe not. After his comment, Minato held out his hand to me. When I outstretched my hand towards him, he handed me a handkerchief. Please use it. There's still water on you, you can catch a cold. <gasps> he cares. Since I didn't want to wet his handkerchief, I refused, but he wouldn't take it back. Don't worry about it, it's nothing expensive. In fact, you can keep it. Having said that matter of factly, Minato turned away. Going back to my seat, you should head back to Amasawa. I'm tired of dealing with Saitome by myself. Maybe Minato was just a blunt person, and so my impression of him changed a little. Just a little. Yoshioka spoke to me when I got back to the seat. Amasawa, you look like you were talking to someone. Something happened. It was clear he was worried, so I explained the situation to him. You gotta watch out where you're going when you're walking. Yeah, thanks, Tomei. Are you alright? Did your clothes get wet? Would you mind if I brought you a drag towel? Dude, this is way too much attention for water. It's the guy in the back, right? Do you want me to go confront him? Well, but it was good in the water, right? If it was just water, it's probably fine. If it was just water, it's probably fine. If it had been alcohol, the color and the smell would be awful. With Minato's help, I was able to convince the director that talking to them wasn't necessary. Okay. If you're fine, so it was the two of them. Those two, there seems there's something strange about them. Looks like a pet in its owner. Kept man. A man who does not live on his own and is supported by a woman. Everyone was avoiding saying that. Why do you have to be so straightforward? 
Although I hadn't thought deeply about them, it was true they didn't seem like a normal couple. I couldn't see myself dating a guy like that, but I guess different people have different types. Don't worry, I can see you dating that guy. Besides that, nothing else really happened that night. But as we were leaving the bar, I suddenly felt someone watching me and turned around. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye naughty. Goodbye naughty. Question mark. The man who bumped into me was waving at me. In response, I gave him a slight nod and left the restaurant. It was my first weekend since transferring. I had to finish up some work from the design department. In addition to that, I was leaning more, learning more about a star sea from Ori. So Tommy was put in charge of planning while Minato ran the actual platform. Even though Ori's assignment could change, she supported everyone and worked as Tempesty's primary point of contact. Director Kobas managed everyone in search for new sponsors. My next work was scheduled to begin next week, but I still hadn't decided the type of work I wanted to do. Despite being a little late, I finished the rest of my work in the design department. Since there were plenty of time before the last train, I headed to Evergreen instead of going straight to the station. Ooh, we're gonna meet him again. We're gonna see that boy. You're like, hi. Good evening. Feel free to take a seat anywhere you like. Here for dinner, or seeing that it's Friday, are you mainly here for drinks? I was hungry, so I told him that I intended to have both dinner and drinks. And then. Would you like to try some mabo tofu that I've made? I didn't even say yes. <laughs> Wonderful, please wait a moment. I sipped on the drink he served me while I waited for the food. That's when my eye caught a familiar figure. Oh! Hey! You're the person I spilt water on, right? Sorry for that. The man who spoke to me was the one I met at dinner the other night. I remember the woman he was with calling him by his name, but I forgot what it was. Speaking of which, that woman was nowhere to be seen, and I wondered if he was alone. Then he sat next to me. Ne ne, kyo wa hitori. Hey, are you alone today? Ore mo nanda. Yokatara, isho ni o hana shinai. I'm alone too. Do you mind if I chat with you? Sir, please. As I tried to politely refuse, the manager chimed in. Ah, go me, go me. Nampa toka janai kara, anshin shite. Sorry, sorry, don't worry. I'm not hitting on her. Sumimasa. Ichio, sokoma de gayo anai to moimasu ga. Kippari kotobatte moratte daijoufu desu yo. I apologize. He doesn't mean any harm, but if you feel uncomfortable, please feel free to turn him down. The manager whispered to me apologetically with a shrug. If the manager was keeping an eye on us, I figured it would be okay to talk to him. Yatta. Eto, onesan no namae wa? All right. So then, what's your name? Ah, soka. Hito ni namae o kiku toki wa mazu jibun kara da yo ne. Ah, that's right. Before I ask, I should introduce myself. My name is Nori Tainaka, and I'm 22. A man you met at Evergreen apparently has no fixed address and is unemployed. Rumor has it he couch surfaced with various women. Oh, fun! He's just a fun guy. I only visit this bar occasionally, but... Would you mind telling me your name so I can talk to you if we meet again? Well, I've introduced myself. Let's talk about you. He insisted, so I told him my name. Hey, so 
下の名前は I see. And what's your first name? うんいい名前だね。That's a nice name. Thanks. んじゃあ、年齢。How old are you? Oof, I'm an age. ああ、バーで年の話をするのは不遂だって、カエデさん言ってたな。Wait, I've heard it's rude to ask someone age at a bar. As I had suspected, that lady from before must have given him guidance. Nevertheless, I told him my age since I had nothing to hide. Eh, I'm not sure if you're a good person. She's 23. Oh, you're a year older than me. Oh, wait, here's the baby. Okay, here's the baby. Considering your age, you really work hard. His comment led me to ask him if he was still in school. Oh, good person. Hmm. Student, no, I'm not. Kino Madewa Kaede san. Till yesterday, Kaede. Ah, Kono Mae, Anata to Butskata Toki ni Shodata Hitone. Bari Bari Hatarai Teru, Dekiru One san. The lady who was with me when we bumped into each other the other day, she's super hard working. Ano Hito no Tokoro de Senta Kustari, Soji Stari Suru Kawari ni Zuto Tomete Morate Tandakedo. In exchange for doing her laundry and cleaning, I lived at her place. Naka, more any act at the midday day. Kesa, mansion, oi da sarejata. Are you about to move this point to our house? What's happening? I think she got tired of me. I just got kicked out. Ne, ima wa, jushof de mushok te kotoni naru no kana. Nah, I'm basically out of a job and a place to live. お姉さまと紐男。It was exactly as everyone had imagined. Hanaka didn't seem stressed, but if he was kicked out, what would he do? I asked where he was going to go. 当てはないけど、多分大丈夫。今までもなんとかなってるし。I'm not sure, but I'll be fine. I always seem to land on my feet. From Shelby Snell to Nori Tainaka. <laughs> ああ、逆台はちゃんと持ってるよ。あなたにおごってもらおうとか全く考えてないから、そこは心配しないでね。Oh, but I've got some money. I wasn't gonna ask you to buy me drinks, Amasawa. マスター、同じのおかわり。マネージャー、I'll have more of this. かしこまりました。Yes, sir. はあ、じゃあ。俺はそろそろ帰るね。って言っても帰るお家ないんだけどね。I'll be heading out now even though I don't have I don't know where I'll go. Okay, my thoughts seeing his outfit closer. His shirt has holes. My boy is poor. I took it as he was an artist and that's like an artistic look apparent、uh, appearance. Like I thought he was like a painter or something, honestly. And he has that whatever will be will be tattoo. Like, he's a chill guy with a chill mood. Having chill times. <laughs> I'll be heading out now, even though I don't know where I'll go. Thank you. It's been great talking with you, Amasawa. Please chat with me if we meet again. またのご来店をお待ちしております。I look forward to serving you again. As though he didn't have a care in the world, Tanaka left with a smile. My mom seeing me with holes in my clothes tells me to throw it away. <laughs> I'm kind of like that with stains and holes, only because like, I can't not notice it. Like, if I get a certain stain on my a shirt and I can't get it out, no matter what I do, even if it's even if it's like a speck, I just get rid of it because I can't. I wonder where he was planning to go. So, no need for you to be concerned about him. He had my expression really been that obvious. He's been a bit of a regular for a while now. 数日後にはどこかしらに寝床を確保していますから僕も出会った当初は心配して相談にも乗っていましたが毎回23日したら新しい女性を連れて現れるので
今回も大丈夫だと思いますよ夜の街ではよくある話です You'll be back in here with someone new in a few days. You see this type of thing all the time in the nightlife district. Need to go classes. Have a good stream. Bye, y'all. Have a good day at classes. I hope you learn stuff and or pass. You don't have to learn, just pass. I wondered if he had any friends to help him, but a more concerning thought weighed on me. Why did he keep falling into this situation? Was there a reason? とはいえ、タイナカさんは女性からの評判はいいんですよね。Nevertheless, タイナカ has a good reputation with women. 巣立った後も、お相手が彼を悪く言っている話は聞いたことないですし。As far as I know, his partners have never spoken ill of him after he leaves. 彼のおかげで仕事に集中できて、大きなプロジェクトを任されることになった。なんて人もいましたから。Some ladies said they were able to concentrate on their projects while he handled things at home. Is he a muse? Oh, wait a second. He's a muse. Muses are free spirits. They travel around. They never really get tied down to one person. He's a muse. Housekeeper だと思えば。悪くない拾い物なのかもしれませんね。If you're looking for a housekeeper, he wouldn't be a bad person to have around. The situation seems slightly more serious to me than that, but in the end, I decided not to linger on it and continued eating. I wouldn't mind having him in my house. He seems chill enough. I departed Evergreen after finishing my last drink. Oh. As I walked to the station, I strolled by signs for local all night diners and manga cafes advertising sales. Silently, I wondered if Tanaka found a place to stay. And just as I pondered that, I found him sleeping on the street. He was lying on the edge of the street so he wouldn't be in the way of the pedestrians, but this was still a very busy area. There was no park benches to rest on, nor floors for protection from the weather. Although I wasn't sure if he planned on staying the night here, I worried that he wasn't feeling well. To make sure I decided to check on him and call his name. Nori! Nori! He mumbled indecipherably noises. He was fast asleep, and I was relieved that he was safe. Am I gonna have to start speaking for her? The shop door opened, and the clerk emerged. Ma'am, do you know him? He said his name earlier. You know him, right? Please take him home. I don't know him. Even though it was complete misunderstanding, I wasn't interested in causing trouble, so I decided to take him with me. Nori! I shook Tanaka to wake him up. I couldn't possibly carry him.、Mm. Hey. I tried to pull him to his feet as he slowly opened his eyes. What happened next might have been my fault for rousing him before he was fully awake. Mm. Did we fall? We fell over. Hanika's eyes snapped open. What? Amasawa, are you letting me stay the night? Although he said it with a smile, I didn't see what was funny. I told him all I could do was take him to the police station and explain what happened. <laughs> so, <ka. laughs> Thank you. Thank you. He u n d e r s t a n d what I said, I couldn't be sure. Taking Tanaka's hand, I walked towards the police station. I wish MC says no, we don't know each other like that, saying I don't want to cause trouble. Girl, please learn to speak your mind. Yeah, just say I don't actually know him. No, he was talking to me at a bar earlier tonight. I only know his name. He was still so tired that I had to help him walk, and then I ran into a police officer on patrol. I 
felt bad leaving him with an officer, but it was better than leaving him on the street. Sir, what's your name? It looks like you had a good time. Tainaka Nori des Tushua Nizu Nisai. I don't know why it's so annoying what, when MC do that. Because it's too compliant. You don't want them to just be compliant. You're like, oh, I don't want to cause a scene, so I might as well. I'm like, that's too convenient. So, like, don't do not do it. My name is Nori Tanika. I'm 22 years old. Could you please show some ID? A driver's license or an insurance card will do. All of my belongings except my money are in a locker, so I don't have any on me. Can you tell me your home address? My address is. Hey, what's your address? Are you two living together? I'm gonna stay with her starting tonight. Then Tanika hugged me. Seeing this, the officer became suspicious of him. As a precaution, I'm going to confirm with this young lady as well. I brought him to the station. I told the officer about the situation. MC, open your mouth! <laughs> Nori rubbed me the wrong way during the first impression because I felt he was a bit pushy, kind of making her feel bad to try and take him in. Hopefully I enjoy his route since he's my favorite character design. Yeah, he's my favorite character design, and if he is pushy, I'm not going to like it. I'm okay with... stupid characters? Is that the right word I'm going to go with? I'm going to go with that word. Like, you know, the when they're dumb and they make dumb decisions. But if it feels like they're being dumb in a way to manipulate the situation, I don't like it as much. Because, like, him constantly, like, we're going to stay together. I'm going to go stay with her. Like, no. Yeah, airheads. There we go. I like airheads. They can be fresh. You want to pet them. You want to protect them. But there's a difference between manipulation and being an airhead. <laughs> How we had only met twice and just recently found each other's names, I explained that Tanika was misinterpreting my intentions. I would not let him stay at my place. Someone naughty was my airhead boy. <laughs> Someone naughty had, yeah, he had a very airhead quality for, for most of the thing, like, huh. This is a feeling, like, yes. Yes? Amasawa, I'm so sorry. You sure are mad at me, aren't you? Demo, no wa, anata no uchi shika nai kara. But the only person I can stay with is you, Amasawa. After that, the officer squinted at us. It was clear that despite my explanation, he thought this was a lover's quarrel. Any further attempts to clarify the situation would have been pointless. I tried to figure out how to get out of the situation. Oof. My friend hates him. She doesn't like men who display a more feminine nature. She likes manly men. I like both. I like, uh, and you can combine them too. I like m muscular men with long hair and beautiful faces. All right. Uh, officer, I literally told you the situation. Why do you think this is a lover's fight? Because he's all like, I can't go home with anyone but you. Uh, I don't know. Should I ignore him and leave? It's not my it's not my 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 bag. I stressed that I wasn't involved with him and tried to walk away, but <laughs> it's 
Hanukkah kept following me like a kitten. <laughs> I want to ignore him. Asia's getting heated. Nordy would never be able to pull wool over her eyes. <laughs> Feeling bad, I thought of giving him money so he could stay somewhere. Oi, what are you doing? When I turned to face the familiar voice, I saw Director Kobas. I thought you left a while ago. What are you still doing here? <laughs> hey. Director Kobas looked at Tanika and shrank away, pressing his lips together. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realize you were with your boyfriend. Please, someone help her. Help this woman. She is being followed. I don't care if Nori's cute. We just met. Don't bring strangers home the first day you meet them. He's like a cat that saw a dog. Oh, God. So you did the director's huge misunderstanding. I had to explain everything to him. No, you don't understand. I was at the bar. So you could I see, so what are you gonna do? I'm trying to go home, sir. Hey, I'm talking to you. Are you listening to me? Oh, oh me? Who else is around? Don't tell me you were planning on staying at her place. それは何も考えてません。I wasn't thinking about anything. ごごめんなさい。I'm sorry. 住所不定でわかるのは名前と年齢のみ。I do feel bad for him, but no. Yeah, if you felt bad for every single person that doesn't have a house. It doesn't mean you have to take them into yours. It's just not a... Ugh. Especially since she doesn't know him. And I know he's adorable and he looks like a little cinnamon roll. But just because he looks like a cinnamon roll, if you let him into your house, what if something crazy happened? There was actually a story. I, uh, I can't remember if it was a TikTok video or what. But this girl had gone on a date with someone. She had met them like on Tinder. And the guy in the end of the date basically said he couldn't go home and asked if he could stay the night at her place and she said fine whatever why I will never know um, but she locked her bedroom door because she felt a little worried and then he started banging on her bedroom door and like demanding she open the door in the middle of the night and she was like no I'm not doing that so she ended up calling the police the police showed up came inside the house he fled and there was a tarp in her living room, like on the ground. What was he going to do if she had opened the door? You know what I mean? Like, ooh, scary. So yeah, don't don't let guys come over, especially if the only thing you know are two things. is Their name's Nori and they're 22. That's not enough information to bring someone home. Not to spend the night or stay for an extended period. You don't have a permanent address. In any case, Usi knows a little bit more about you and said you're harmless, but... Usui-san? Usui? Evergreen no master da. The master of Evergreen? Oh, master ga. <laughs> Mr. Manage... Master. <sighs> Director sighed at Tanaka's casual attitude. He seemed deep in thought before he spoke. Just a few days. Oh. My house has an extra room. You can stay for a few days. Really? Is it really okay? There was a horror story on Mr. Nightmare's channel. There was a woman holding her child. She was trying to open her door, but you can see someone following her and her child. Go on. Keep going.
There is no other option. There is no way I can let you stay at her place. Yatta! Arigatou gozaimasu! Yay! Thank you so much! The director smiled faintly and looked over at me. <laughs> it was your intention to help him, wasn't it? I was extremely grateful that the director had taken care of this for me, and I couldn't help but feel guilty for getting him involved. I started to apologize. Koba is a good man. He might end up being one of my faves, and he's voiced by the voice actor who does Anku's voice. What a hottie! You don't need to apologize. I'll take care of the rest. You should head home. After that, I left and headed back to my place. The lady looked at the security camera. She realized someone followed them, so she called the police. They said there were a serial who targets women and children. It was scary. So wait, they followed her home and she noticed them on the camera or this is someone else she was trying to get into someone else's house. He looks tough and mean, but he's actually carrying Gatmo. I mean, the thing is, I usually don't like the guys in suits. Like in uh, Amnesia, I didn't like the, the guy that you're dating, like straight up, like that's how the story starts is you're already in a relationship and he's like, you're being weird. I didn't like him. After that, I left and headed back to my place. I hope he has an alternate outfit, a sexy alternate outfit. I want him in a t-shirt, put him in a t-shirt. The next day, the moment of truth arrived. I was called to the conference room by the director. <laughs> You'll officially start working for a star seat this week, but they followed her, but she opened her door and locked her door. She looked at her security camera and saw the man followed her and her baby. Oh, okay. For a second, I thought you meant like it was someone else's house and they were trying to get into their house. Yeah, no. No. Oh, thank you. Home invasions, really scary. You'll officially start working for a star seed this week, but... I can't remember the, this one story. It was a... Uh, it definitely could turn into a horror nightmare story. But this woman, she worked at a gas station. Um, it was in Las Vegas, if I recall correctly. And she had like three kids. Um, and this guy just started like coming by all the time and hitting on her and he had asked her out and she thought he was cute and so she said okay sure why not um, and I think it was like something happened at work so she had to cancel the date and when she canceled the date he became a completely different person like it was just honest like hey sorry I can't come I gotta work tonight blah 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 and then he replied with, I can't believe I wasted so much time on you. I've been working so hard. I've been doing all of this stuff. And like, he was just a person that came by and would say hi sometimes. Um, and then this entire time she was getting prank calls and they were creepy phone calls. And it was like someone would be breathing on the phone or they'd say, hey, I liked your hair today, stuff like that. Um, and then after that incident where she turned him down for a date, she had just planned on rescheduling. She decided at that point because of how he reacted to not go on a date with him. He tried to hit her with his car. And then when the police got involved, they took her in and had her look at a lineup of pictures. And she's, she picked one of the pictures and it turns out they were all the same guy. And he was wanted for murder and he had murdered the previous person that worked at this place. And he was just like a known serial killer at this point. And so she was gonna be his next target. If she had gone on that date, she would have been dead. Yeah. 
There was a woman who needs help, but she pretends to be a victim who needs help. She wants to rob someone, so she was hoping someone opens the door to help her. Yeah, that's what I kind of thought the story was going to be, because you said that there was a person. I was like, oh, she's acting innocent. She has the kid. But the moment they open the door, they step aside and a man pops up, you know. It's crazy out there, guys. It's crazy out there. <laughs> After settling for the past week, what is your opinion of the new department? <laughs> I mean, I think Sehun could be a little nicer, but you know what? He he still doesn't know me very well.、Um, I think Taemin from Sherlock,、uh, he's okay. He's he's fine. He's a little talkative, though.、Um, the girl, not very fleshed out, but that's fine.、Um, you, you're great. You're very sweet, very friendly. Um, and then the guy from the other company, Taemin from the Boa music video,、uh, he's cute, he's nice, he's charming, he's got my phone number. I hate that so much. Like, what if we actually need help but we can't trust anyone? Dude, you can't trust anyone. I get so many people mad at me because if you try to talk to me on the street, I will ignore you. I do not care. What you want. And here's the thing, too. If someone tries to stop you on the street and you ignore them, sometimes they'll say this. They'll be like, I just want to know the time. They're lying. They just said that because they want you to feel bad because you are ignoring them. <laughs> like, I, how many times have I been like, no to someone on the street and they replied with, I just wanted to ask you the time? No, you didn't. You didn't want to ask me the time. I shut you down. So, you're trying to make it look like I'm a bad person because you weren't trying to ask me for money. You weren't trying to ask me for my phone number. You weren't trying to, to get something from me. You just wanted to ask what time it was. And I just shut you down. So, I look bad for that. And I don't, I'm like, I don't care. I don't care. I just keep walking. <laughs> I do it so much. Like, it's crazy the amount of people. And I will say no. If someone says, like, hey, hey, I'll just say no. And they're like, how can you say no to that? I'm like, because I can. She always ignores someone trying to talk to her. Do it. Honestly, do it. I don't care. There's all these new, like, one of the, my least favorite trends、uh, I hate seeing on TikTok is the person that walks up to persons and asks them questions on the street. Like, leave me alone. <laughs> leave me alone. Don't talk to me. I don't want to talk to you. Don't shove a camera in my face and ask me a question. You're just making it to where more people have a way to try to bug people on the street corner and it's going to look less harmful. I don't want it. I don't want it. Fun fact, I was homeless for a while. I never panhandled. So there, I, don't, you know, I don't need to bother people. You don't need to bother me. Oh, have you found something you'd like to do? Something you think you'd excel at? It was clear he was waiting for my decision. For anything else, I wanted to get a better understanding of the situation. What What is it? If you got something you want to say, just do it. Oh, actually, I didn't check what their logs look like. Okay. Very profesh. I was thinking about what I wanted to do. Director Kobasa's expression softened. Well, I guess this is a difficult decision. I don't think that's true. I don't think this should be so hard for her because she was already asked this once. And I feel she should have already started thinking about it. If someone asks you, hey, what do you want to do? And you go, I've never thought about that. You would start thinking about it. Do you want something to drink? How about I get you something? How about you pick it up for me? Fruit juice, perhaps? I nodded. I was reminded of when he bought me juice. Fruit juice before I transferred. When we were shopping for some shoes, my mom was looking for high heels, and a stranger said a joke. I don't remember the joke, but me and my mom laughed about it. I'm so concerned. Got it, one fruit juice coming up. This actually also gave me flashbacks because I work retail, I can't ignore people, if I, even if I want to sometimes. Um, I had someone who was asking me questions. I was answering all his questions. And then he asked me something and I searched it. And I'm like, yeah, nothing's popping up. He's like, maybe it's your nails. And I'm like, no, I can type just fine with these.、Um, 
when I search the words, nothing pops up. Like, uh, I don't think I like people sometimes. <laughs> I think it's me. Got it, one fruit juice coming right up. I was able to calm down with the drink Director Kobas bought me. I took the plunge and asked about layoffs. Restora? Layoffs? Restora te... What do you mean, layoffs? Huh? no renewal in Spaistara. Staff who's ain't destroyed at the. What? You think we're gonna lay everyone off if a Darcy fails? Only time I talk to strangers if we're talking about anime or games. That's kind of fair. Honestly, that's pretty accurate for me, too. Um. I feel like that's the only two things I really discuss. Sometimes I discuss music, but not very much. My music taste is very wide. And I'm also a firm believer in if someone worked really hard to make something, I'm not the person to be like, this is bad. It's just not my flavor. And some people have very, this is bad attitudes. And so I don't talk about music that much. I feel like a lot of people work hard on making music to create songs, to write lyrics, to put this stuff together. And I don't think it's my place to be like, this is bad. It's just not mine. It's just not what I want to listen to. I repeat over and over and over and over again. So I usually don't talk about music all that much, but anime all the time, almost weekly. Video games, almost daily, uh, probably daily. I love video games. That's why I'm sitting here. It's why I started streaming because I wanted to make myself play my games more because I kept going, oh, I haven't played anything in a while. And so I started streaming it. I'm not good talking to strangers, but if a stranger says something about anime or game, I'm ready to talk. <laughs> you're just in there like, blah, 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 Jujutsu Kaisen, blah, 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 spy family. And then you're like, <gasps> which speaking of, uh, we have a revolving sushi place here and starting in March, they're going to have spy family stuff. I'm so excited. Oh my God. All right. You think we're going to lay off everyone if a star C fell? <sighs> そもそも終了予定だったものを巻き返そうって話で始まったリニューアルだぞ。There's a higher chance of failure than success. Actually, it's going to be a flashback. I was at uh, Joanne's and they had uh, stuff. This is for Halloween. This is a long time ago. And they had a gravestone, it said for Ichabob Crane, and someone's like, who the hell is that? And I'm like, it's the Headless Horseman. <laughs> like, please, please no. There's a higher chance of failure that, than success. Have you been thinking about that ever since you got transferred here? That would be me too, Leah. <laughs> You're just like, please know these things. Interrupting a normal conversation that someone else is having just to be like, oh, oh, oh please. Horror stuff is my jam. Dude, it's my jam too. October is my my month. I buy so much stuff. I actually, um, I think it's next week. I have, I'm not, it's not exactly the week off, but I'm not gonna be going to work sounds weird but because I'm doing other stuff during the day and I just don't want to go do that stuff and then go to work um, so I'm going to be working on my bathroom before I stream um, and then I'll be streaming in the afternoons instead of the mornings because we're going to turn our bathroom into a little gothic witch bathroom uh, we got paint we got new decorations it's gonna have flowers it's gonna be gray it's gonna match my gothic corner which Honestly, it took two years to make. It took me a while to put my gothic corner together because I'm so slow. So we're hoping I can get the bathroom done in a week. Share the process on Discord. I want to take photos because I always forget to take pictures. What I'll probably do is I'm going to clear everything out. I'll take a photo of the room cleared out. And then we're treating this. So we're, we're in a rental. We're treating the walls ourselves. They have a lot of mold, but we got some stuff made for mold specifically. Um, it also is a sealant to help keep the stuff from spreading and then the paint we bought is specially made for like to be mold resistant so hopefully 
my bathroom won't look like a horror scene anymore. That's also part of why I wanted to do this because I'll take a shower and I'm just staring at the mold on the ceiling going, ugh, I hate it. And last time we complained, all they did was paint over it. That does not, just for the record, that doesn't get rid of the mold. So I just like complaining again is not going to fix it. They're just going to, they're just going to put more mold on my ceiling. But yes, I'm pretty excited about it. <laughs> That's what I'm going to be working on next week. So I'll be streaming in the afternoons. I might at some point have paint on me. We're doing gray, not black. The living room, we did black, but we're going to do gray for the bathroom because I didn't want it to be exactly black this time. But yes, I'm super excited. I'm so excited. Have you been thinking about that ever since you got transferred? Also, for Halloween every year, I do a, uh, a Halloween version of Bunny. Last year, she was a slasher, so she had an axe. And the year prior to that, she was Ghost Bunny, which was just Bunny wearing a sheet over her head. That was it. So I haven't picked out what Bunny I want to try to make this year for uh, for October, but I'm going to think of something cute. Have you been thinking that ever since you got transferred here? Absolutely. It wasn't that I was thinking about it constantly, but saying that it hadn't weighed, saying that it hadn't weighed on me wouldn't would be a lie. I told him that confirming that. Ooh, I just had the thought I could do vampire bunny. <gasps> to be clear, my full username used to be Psycho Vampire Bunny, so. Sometimes it would be abbreviated to Psycho Bunny, and then other times it would be abbreviated to Vampire Bunny because it's based off of a book I read when I was a kid called, like, oh gosh, Bunny Dracula. That's not the right word, but we'll figure it. Bun Bunny Cula. And so that's where Psycho Bunny comes from, just for the record. I don't know why. I just liked it a lot when I was a kid. I told him that confirming that it was just a rumor was a huge relief. It's not just you. Everybody loves gossip. Yeah, those gossiping bastards. Are you feeling a little better now? A little bit. Thank you. Okay, now you can tell me what you want to work on. You ready, Leah? Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Choose your destiny. Oh, wait. Did I actually get through the thing in only three hours? Oh, my God. Hang on. Let me save before this happens. Is this like... This is like Virtue, where he's all like, this was merely the prologue, and then we had to jump into the game. <laughs> now, can you tell me what you want to work on? It was time for me to tell Director Kobas what I really wanted to do. Ah, you, sir, I could, I can support Kobas, work with Minato. Work with Sayatome. There's only four options here. Wait a second. Does that also mean that the, the little sad boy is not an option right away? We said we're going to do him. It's not what I meant to say. Kobas is last. We saved Kobas for last. Well, actually, no. Actually, we were supposed to save red hair, Sehun, black hair, and blonde. All right, so your choices are Taman from Sherlock, Sehun, Black Hair is Anku. We just don't give them actual names. And then Blonde is Taman from Boa Music Video. So we were going to go with Blonde first because we couldn't do um, the old man first. You want to be Tempesty's liaison? I enjoy when they just give me a choice, like go which way. When it comes to planning, they are responsible. 
told you it was short, damn. I didn't have to get like thrown through a billion different cutscenes. Although I'm kind of sad we didn't have an introduction CG for every single one of the boys. It shouldn't be a problem as long as you update us from time to time. Gosh, wait, should I redo that? Should I do the redhead instead of him first? I liked the redhead, but then I kind of didn't like him as we started listening to him talk. Is that bad? It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Even when I was in the design department, my manager allowed me to work directly with clients. This was something I felt confident about handling. I'm taking Oe's job. Alright. Oe doesn't need to be here. This is an Atome game. We don't need an obligatory female friend right now, okay? It's just me. Contact with Tempest was originally going to be handled by Oe. So let Oe help you to start. What an interesting sentence. I can do whatever I want. He gave me full power. I had never worked with Tempest D before. I would have been lying if I said I wasn't nervous. Regardless, I had no co now committed to doing that work, so I couldn't back out. Feeling determined, I expressed my enthusiasm. So, Excellent. Try not to be too nervous. So, now then, Amasawa. I'm counting on you. Oh, let's change. We can change our title to uh we got a we're dating a prince, chasing a prince. <gasps> what a cute picture. Oh my god. We're gonna going after a prince. I volunteered to be the mediator with Tempest D before my meeting with Yoshioka. I wanted to be prepared. All right, do we have choices now? Status. We got a status. I don't know what our status is. Oh, I see high, low. We have a love work balance. It's not a. <laughs> Okay, okay. I volunteered to be the mediator with Tempest D before our meeting with Yoshioka. I wanted to be prepared. I searched up Tempest D on my computer. My research revealed that it was a big IT company that was involved with internet advertising, video games, and other media. What are you looking at? Tempest D's website? Is that the Tempesty website? Oh, right. You're the one that's going to be mediating with them, right? And you're just looking at their website now, cutting it a bit close, aren't you? Tempesty to Yeba, Tempesty Tempesty's got that one slogan. What was it? Tempesty, where we're your navigators. What is this, the jury? <laughs> I know, right? They're like, damn, you suck. I won't lie for a second. I thought Sehun meant like you're just now looking at their website. Like that's all she's going to do all day. Just sit here and stare at their website. Oh, I mediate. So Tome mused over Tempesty's tagline. It was well known to anybody who had seen their ads online. When the internet first took off, Tempesty exploded due to being the first company to launch an internet advertisement business. If it was Yoshi Oshioka's father, the current president of Tempesty, who took a leading role in that, the money they earned from that went into building their social media platform, which also became a huge hit. That was how Tempesty grew into the massive company it is today. At least that's what it said on their website. 
Classy. Tempest が運営しているサービスは SNS 含めどれも一定のユーザー数を獲得し、会社は安定期に入っている状態です。So sorry, Minato. Tempest's service includes including their social media app, have a solid use bar, user base, but now they've gotten stagnant. しかし、老舗である分、アプリ系がまだまだ弱く、さらなるサービスの拡充が求められる中。Because they've been around for a while, their apps are outdated, they're expected to expand on those apps when we can. 別件ですでにパートナーとして仕事をしていたエスタリオ内でエスター氏デコ入れの話が浮上こちらとしては差し馬際のコンテンツに出せる予算が限られているため新しいスポンサーが欲しい。The budget being as tight as it is and a star C on the chopping block, we had nowhere else to turn for a sponsor. Tempest T. To Steva, a star C. No renewal in Kyoryuk Shitsu, news site to Uba or Yo Ste. Tempest T. Plans to join forces with us to renew a star C while also gaining access to our news, news content. Jisha contents no sending him on Snage Tai. The Koto d e s u n e Likely that part of their plan is to promote their own content as well. Nanda, yo, Kocha, Tempest in the Constiva, Muni Joseph John. So, I'm gonna go, he's always so quiet, but when it comes to Tempest, he speaks right up. It's more soon, the Chibes Nago de Zatsdan, you are Mazari Tagara Nino, you saw. Seriously, you've always got this poker face and refuse to join the conversation. What's the deal? Poker face. Mainly refers to someone who shows a facial expression that is hard to read or shows very little emotion. Oh, I'm the high on the no cyborg. I hear me. Satewa Kocha, Yoshioka san no fanka. My brilliant brain just put it together. Ko, you're Yoshioka's fanboy. Baka d e s k o Are you stupid? Despite being the target of multiple stares. Sayotome wasn't phased at all. I was impressed that his sheer mental, by his sheer mental strength. Ma, Estasia no Sansen project wa Tempesty san mo kanarazu seiko sase dai hazda. I'm sure that Tempesty will work hard to make the co project with the Star Sea a success. Ara, do ste? Tempesty san no honga, kaisa no kibo wa do te kini o k i s h What makes you say that? Tempesty is so much is a much bigger company than us by a wide margin. The company is a much bigger company than us by a wide margin. The company is a much bigger company than us by a wide margin. The company is a much bigger company than us by a wide margin. To them, a star sea is just one of the many projects they'll be working on at once. しかも下手をしたら s a s h i になるかもしれないって分かってての参加なんだからそれほど力が入るとは思わないけど Honestly, they know it's on the chopping block, right? I can't see them putting a lot of effort into it. I agreed with Oi, but Saitome quickly rejected that idea. Yeah, yeah, Chikara got hired in the Kimatur. Nante Tate, Atosigi no Yoshioka san got project leader of Stomerkana. Now、nah, they're gonna put a ton of effort into it. Yoshinari's Yoshioka's. I don't keep so. Who's Yoshinari? Who's Yoshinari? Who is it? <laughs> the third time I've said Yoshinari. It's the guy from. from. Collar X Malice. That's evil. <laughs> I keep saying Yoshinari. Oh god. Which, by the way, I need to get the sequel to that. <sighs> They're gonna put a ton of effort into it. Yoshioka is leading the project, and he's the com- company heir. Jiki, the CEO, the project is a failure. The company is a failure. If a project managed by the future president tanks, it'll tarnish Tempest's reputation. So, you can get it. You can get it. You can get it. Anyways, good luck with the mediation, Amasawa. 
Samatoa gave me a light pat on the back to try and lighten the mood. I wondered if he really thought that that would help after that dubious conversation about Tempest. Don't put pressure on little lamb number three before things even get started. Either way, this is a big project for you, Amasawa. Do you think you can handle working with Yoshinari Yoshioka on this? My thoughts drifted back to Yoshioka. From our brief exchange, he seemed elegant and charming. I took him to be quite humble despite coming from a rich family, and I thought he was cute. And he called me princess. Oh, that We don't do flashbacks. Huh? Cute. You realize he's a client, right? Do you want to get fired? I only muttered my thoughts under my breath, but Minato heard it right away. Right on cue, Director Koba strolled in on his lunch break. So, yeah, uh, speaking of which, Amasawa also referred to Yoshinari Yoshioka as a prince. <laughs> so I can say he's cute if I want to. What are you gonna do? Call HR about it? What are you gonna do? <laughs> you can just call him Yoshi. Just call him Yoshi so I stop trying to call him Yoshinani. God. Are you serious? Right in front of him? Amasawa, you're something else. Yoshioka played along with at the time, so it turned out okay, but. Are you sure it's okay to have her as a mediator? I'm having flashbacks to the other game where she's just like sitting there going like, mm, he's cute. It's <laughs> just like, not appropriate at all. <laughs> like, excuse me, just because I call him cute doesn't mean, oh, I'm going to date him. I don't care if we're doing his route right now. That doesn't mean anything. You guys are very presumptuous in this group of guys. I'm the MC. I can call him whatever I want. At worst comes to worst, she could completely ruin Astario's reputation. I understood Minato's concern. This type of work was brand new to me, and I was feeling nervous about it. Like, what if they say that, oh, say, oh, that girl is cute. HR. Don't make comments about people's appearances, apparently. Don't call them princes. Tempest D help was crucial if we wanted to breathe light, new life into a star, star C. And the meeting with director Kobas and Yoshinari, I was more determined than ever to put my best foot forward. I'll finish what I started. Ooh, that sounds ominous. It's like, you better believe it. I'm gonna flirt with this boy. I guess if you're willing to give it your all, it should be okay. Now that I think about it, the director, Oi, and I are all tied up with our own tasks. And I don't like letting Sayotome run around the yard without a leash. By process of elimination, Amasawa is the only one who can do it. There's no other choice. 
He was being a little harsh, but he made some good points, so I couldn't argue against him. まあまあ、彼女が別の担当になってたら、私が担当する予定だったわけだし。Do we know how many chapters there are in a route? And so, if you worry, how about you do my job? Oh, wait, you can't because you got your own work to worry about. <laughs> there, there. If Leah couldn't do it, the task would have fallen on me. My eyeball is still itching.、ね、glasses off. And then it's like, a, what do you call it? Where, like, oh my god, she's turned her entire look around. She looks like a different person. It's usually a sign having to get my,、uh, my hair cut because it usually is, starts happening more when my hair gets to the point that it's falling into my literal eyes. I'll do my best to support you, so don't you worry. Also, are you married, OE? I just need to know. Did they give me a married best friend? You don't need to worry about us. Worry about your job, sir. Yeah, worry about your job. What with your bracelets and being a cool guy. Honestly, he'd probably be cooler if he had an earring.、Uh, one of those, what do you call them, industrial piercings. So, then, Yoshioka san will mind me stay, Omoaz, Oji Sama, the Ijao Kimotiva, but I'm not going to. But I totally get why you'd call Yoshinari a prince, especially when you're right in front of him. そういや、大江さんも前に王子って言ってましたね。いや、おい、you called him a prince last time too。そうよ。ほら、みなとくんも見てみなさい。かっこいいでしょ。Look at this guy, みなとくん、isn't he dreamy? How he pulled up Tempest's website on her phone and practically shoved a photo of Yoshinari in Minato's face. Look at him, look at him. かっこいいのはうんざりするほどわかりましたから。Yeah, yeah, we all know how handsome he is. Oh, look, Minato's not afraid to call a boy cute. So, you can't get a job. 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 Who, don't worry, Yoshioka is quite a businessman. Who was any old to Yoshioka san Jishinga, Chikochi Kaudas, the Jimmy Kutskutte, Toriki Sakio Kakudai Saseteru Toka. Word on the street is that Yoshioka is actually always networking to expand his client base. Based on how friendly he was at the Evergreen party, that didn't surprise me. He was probably a thriving social butterfly. Uchi no Toriki Sakitoka, Koryu Kai de Kita Hanashta Gedo. 運動神経も良くてゴルフにもよく顔を出してるらしいですよそういうとこでもコネクション作りまくってるって話は結構聞きますねテンプスティにも新卒では入社しないで他企業で実績を上げてから転職したらしいしな。I even heard he didn't join Tempesty right away. He joined another company first to get some experience on his own. Nande mo de kiru sgoi hito nan desu ne. So so ni sen ryuk gai tsukok uke nai yoni. Gambatte kudasai ne. Sounds like he can do anything. Good luck. Hopefully, you meet his standards and don't get kicked off the project right away. <gasps> Minato had another good point. A person who strived for perfection, but like. Yoshioka would likely expect the same from others. The more I heard about him, the more I realized I landed a very difficult role that I picked all on my own. I tensed up out of fear, but Oi patted me reassuringly on my shoulder. Like I said before, I'm here to help, so don't stress too much, okay? I was grateful for her support, but just as I was returning to my desk, A new email notification popped up on my monitor. I checked my inbox and apparently it appeared to be an email from YOFY. Suma, Sugino Kagini Motek Tameno Shirio, Korekara Tskutte Kureruka. Amrasawa, sorry, but could you prepare the presentation material for our next meeting? I mean, it's a worry about yourself, but at least he said good luck, me ignoring his last sentence. 
just when I was about to open the email, Director Kobas approached my desk. That meeting will be at the end of the week, so I'd like it finished by Thursday. After explaining the situation and goals of the meeting, the director returned to his seat. I soon received an email with heaps of data from him. I began preparing and organizing it all, but I wondered if I should check YOFY's email before getting too engrossed with the presentation. I'm going to be thirsty for Yoji during someone else's route. Who's Yoji? 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 Not Yoji. Oh, 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 oh. Your boss? Listen, that's Anku. Okay, we call him Anku in this house. You're going to be thirsting for, for a while. He's going to be second to last. <laughs> Check it, man. Concerning the email might be urgent. I opened it right away. You should be checking your emails. My Super Eats order never showed up. Bring something if you come over, Roku. I blinked. What did that even mean? This message clearly wasn't meant for me. I quickly composed a reply to YOFY, letting him know that he seems to have sent the email to the wrong person. You are correct. My apologies for failing to notice my mistake sooner. It was the first time I'd seen a casual message from him like that, and it piqued my interest in him. Ooh, call my interest piqued. You want food? Oh, wait, did I break something? Why am I on his route now? Wait, what just happened? Did I break it? Should I not have picked that? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> a few days Oi. later. Amasawa, do you have a moment? I jumped at the low voice and turned to see Director Kobas standing behind me. Actually, I have a favor to ask. He is the hidden love interest. I knew that, but I didn't know he was hidden where if I make one note towards him, I could... <laughs> Booted onto his route. I'm sorry to ask this when I just approved your decision to act as an inter intermediary with Tempesty, but. I was wondering if you could be our liaison with YOFY instead. This is a trash hidden route, so no. How long is this trash hidden route? I am Varum let out a small yelp confused by this unexpected request. YOFY was our freelance programmer to whom Astario occasionally outsourced various tasks. I don't know, but I'm not watching his route. Why is he trash? What do you mean you don't know? My head tilted to the side. I couldn't guess why the director had chosen me. As Oe may have told you, the amount of work we sent to YOFY hasn't increased since we started the Star C Revival project. We need to work closely with more closely with him than we have in the past. Therein lies the problem. Let's say his route's gonna be uncomfortable for me. Well, he's not the route I want to do first anyways. I'll save and we'll go back to the right route. Which is still funny. He doesn't even get like a picture screen, what the heck? This picture screen is just the regular screen. I'm 
imagine it being that simple to end up on a secret route. I just assumed it was something that unlocked later. Check YOFY's email later. I decided to open YOFY's message later and check Director Kobasa's first. While he explained, explanation was fresh to my eyes. We'll watch the un play the uncomfortable route later so Asia uh, doesn't have to watch. After I finished reading the director's email, I received another email from YOFY. It's crazy that they didn't give you the choice before you start someone else's route. That is kind of, in I mean, I, I guess if you just go back to your save data, you can go to the other route, but I wonder if that's, is it available in every single route? There's a moment where you get an email. Regarding the email sent earlier, I made a typo in the recipient field and accidentally sent the email to you, Amasawa. My apologies for my careless mistake. Please disregard the email. It would be very appreciated if you deleted it. I was relieved that it was a simple blunder and nothing urgent. I sent a response to YOFY telling him not to worry, then deleted the previous email. Did you read it, though? A few days later, Director Kobas and I visit Tempest D to meet with Yoshioka once more and confirm the details of the project. Thank you for so much for coming today. Not at all. I should apologize for taking so long to personally visit you. As previously noted, Amasawa will be the point of contact with Tempest D for this project. Koei will be the one assisting her, so please do not hesitate to reach out if anything comes up. Thank you very much. I'll be the official project leader from our side of this project. I won't lie. It almost sounded like it was going to be like, I got so distracted from his email and seeing that he was a normal human being that I stopped focusing on my work altogether. That's the vibe I was getting. Like when Cupid stopped being Cupid so that she could go travel the world to look up ancient ruins. That's way out of character for her. Miss Amasawa, I believe we'll be working closely together from now on. I'm looking forward to it. Me too. He flashed me a warm smile and I bowed my head in response. Thank you so much. The meeting itself was ran by Director Kobas. As mentioned before, Tempest D will be helping us revamp our app, A Star Seat. We're looking to improve the entertainment information column specifically. Begin, please take a look at these documents. Are these Starcy's access analytics reports? Yoshioki quietly scanned the materials. Director Kobas handed him, then sighed. Hmm. I see. The entertainment column isn't holding users' attention as well as other columns and has a high drop off rate. Which suggests that it's not providing the information that users are after. Hi. Yes, that's why we're looking for some insight from Tempest D since you're involved with the entertainment industry. So, let's see what we have to say about the entertainment industry. What if we link up with other companies' service to offer more exclusive information as an employee? Improvement strategy. 
What do you mean? 弊社では昨今アイドルや俳優といったタレントのファンビジネスに力を入れているんです。Our company is working on increasing business opportunities for idols and actors and giving fans a window into it. Yoshioka listed a few examples. There were voice actors who got involved in live action dramas, as well as former models that became popular actors. Every single person he mentioned was a household name. We could offer information about their appearances, behind the scenes footage. ファンが欲しいと思う情報をエスターシー独占という形で記事にすることが可能です。ファンシー could give fans exclusive access via articles posted on the site. There is no denying that if a star C could score exclusive content like that, it would be a real. It would reel in more users. 他にはこんな事例もあります。There are other options as well. Yoshioka put forward some additional ways to link Tempesty's entertainment service with a star I see. Go set me, Arigato Gosimus. The his solo hoko said, Ixka Kikako Gote and Itadaitemo, Yoroshi de Shoka. Thank you very much for your input. Would you be willing to draft some project proposals that? About that, this direction. So, the next day, I'll make sure to have some drafts for you by our next meeting. The meeting finally ended, and I breathed a deep sigh of relief. t o k o r o Kono s i r o a Donata got success at the Mono Deska. By the way, who put these presentation materials together? Yoshinari pointed to the analyst report I created. Along with the user data, it included comparisons between our entertainment columns and other competitors. I put it together myself. I swallowed down my nervous nerves and asked if there were was any errors. Did I, did I do something wrong? Fubi da nante tonde mo nai. Meikai de wakari yasu i shiryo da to omotte kanshin shitan des. Sometimes I'm gonna say things like she's actually being asked a question because apparently. Our MC isn't just faceless, she's a voiceless. She never actually says anything. Oh no, nothing like that. On the contrary, it's cl- very clear and easy to understand. I was really impressed. This is a former designer. I was a member of the design team in March. I was a member of the design team. Until March, Amasawa was a member of our design team. I was a member of the design team. I was a member of the design team. That's probably why the materials are so clear. So that done this, ne? Dory de Komayaka na Hosokumo at the Taihen Taskarimasta. That makes sense. The supplementary information was incredibly helpful, too. Yoshi Oka admiration rang clear, and his gaze was kind when it landed on me. Back when it was, I was on the design team, I was often asked to produce things like this and had to redo them several times. I wasn't used to such a direct compliment, to such direct compliments, so I was a little embarrassed. I know, this is a good thing. I have a request. Is there any chance we could borrow Amasawa for a bit? Borrow Amasawa. 弊社としてはあくまでエンタメ情報コーナーを担当するということで。デザイン面はエスター氏全体に揃えるつもりでしたので、特に手を入れない予定でしたが。Having someone who understands that design from the get go will make it easier to organize the column. Deciding how much text to use for readability, where to place pictures for the best tag, all, all those small changes that make reading on smartphone screens easier is where UI and X, UX designers shine. As Yoshioka said, there are 
benefits to having an Astario designer work closely with Temp. It would only strengthen the product and make for a smooth launch. ですから、御社でのデザイン知識を持っておられる彼女にお力を貸していただけないかなと。Since Amasawa has experience, expertise in this area, having her lend a hand would be extremely helpful. Do you mean having her dismiss your office? なかなか We're a bit short staffed, so this might be a little tough. いろいろ契約も必要になりますし If you need her on site, then we'll need a contact to hammer out the details. So, this is your name. Dewa, Shuni Futska, Okoshi Tadaku, you know, I can't get a shock. Right, how about, how about she come here twice a week then? So, I just thought, which I was at you, me, no, could I, Monday, Nikato. We could clarify her visits, our meetings. As meetings, that shouldn't be a problem, right? Provided it doesn't interfere with her responsibilities at Astario, of course. So, this is it. That may work. We plan on having her drop in at least once a week for meetings and progress, progress reports, anyway. Do you see? What do you think, Amasawa? Shugoto Nayo a Kawate Kurkura, Ima Suguni Kimesni Mochkaite Moiga. This would be a big change from what you originally signed up for, so don't feel the need to decide right away. I pondered the question and said, I don't want to cause trouble here. Would it look really be okay? I want to give Yoshioka my best. I could really grow this way. From the design department to a star seat, I felt a bit lost. But Yoshioka saw how hard I worked on the meeting man materials and specifically wanted my help. I was thrilled and wanted to do everything I could to meet Yoshiari's. Yoshioka's high expectations. But the fact remained that I couldn't have prepared those materials without Kobasa. Kobas. Okay, he loves me 10% now. I wasn't confident with how much I could accomplish by myself as Tempest, at Tempest D. I decided to express those feelings candidly. I decided to express those feelings candidly. The people who know their strengths and weaknesses are the ones to grow the most. I would truly like to have your help. Since he seemed sincere in wanting my help, I decided to accept Yoshioka's proposal. <laughs> Amasawa. Yoshioka approaches with a gentle smile on his face and then extends his hand to me. Thank you so much for accepting my request. I look forward to our partnership. I gave him a firm handshake. Although Yoshioka was a refined, had a, ref, a refined soft look about him, his hands were strong and masculine. Feeling nervous, my palms started to sweat and I released his hand to hide it. Ha! Ha! Can't know. Well, Did well today making a decision like that one. Like that on the spot shows an impressive level of decisiveness. Wait a second, was this for real? Hank, hola, hola, hola. 
will you find true love or will the app shut down? Is it one or the other? <laughs> You'll either find true love or the app will survive. Are those the only two options? Did I just realize something? I always hoped you'd gain experience from a variety of places, but working as a client site wasn't exactly what I had in mind. After leaving Tempesty, Koba spoke to me softly like I was a student who had grown up. Why are you staring at your hand? So right, you shook hands with Yoshioka, didn't you? Look at this guy. He's all like, listen, I don't want to meddle in your private life, but remember, this is work. Don't get swept off your feet. I wasn't entirely sure what Kobas meant by that, but it was clear that he was surprised surprised by my swift decision. No matter what, the handshake with Yoshioka made this new direction feel like it would truly turn out alright. Kobas's concerns about my potential romantic feelings were ridiculous, so I dismissed them. MC, why are you so focused on your hand? Why is Kobas so okay with you being focused on your hand? He's like, alright, she's love-struck. Yoshioka wasn't just out of my league. As far as I was concerned, we weren't even playing the same game. He was the heir to Tempesty, a perfect prince. In both looks and demeanor, it was it'd be silly to think that he would choose me. Moi. Why he thinks we got feelings for him, sir, calm down. We do, though. That's why. Because everybody in this game has uh, the ability to read minds. Kobas had another meeting to attend, so I headed back to Astario alone. Welcome back. How'd the meeting go? You can tell just by looking at you, guess it went well. You praised your work? You're gonna be working at Tempesty for two days a week? That's amazing. I know, right? I'm so excited. Always seemed genuinely happy for me, and I thanked her for her supporting me. Sure, I gave you a little guidance with the presentation, trying to take credit for my work, but you're the one that made it look so good. I hate when people think that someone's got feelings for someone else. Like, no, and plus, none of your business. <laughs> Everyone in this group wants to share their opinions, though, you see. It's remember work gossip. You know what they say, you can take a girl out of the design department, but you can't take the design department out of the girl. Ko said he was so super impressed too. Dude's been talking all morning about how he wants you to design all his stuff. Don't make things up. You're trying to make it sound weird, and she's not just a flunky. Flunky, a term used to poke fun at an employee who works hard for a company without complaining. I was reading a webtoon, and the main character, their co work their co-workers, was all in their business. They're not dating, and even they say, y'all, so nosy. I was so mad. Honestly, though, it's very believable. Gossip is just always happening. Was that Sehun a little louder, please? I can't hear you behind your hand. But it's true, the materials Amasawa prepared were top-notch. Minato mumbled quietly at himself. 
王子様とか言って浮かれてるからどうなることかと思いましたけど少しだけ安心しました I was half expecting you to spend the rest of the day gushing about that prince I'm really I'll save it for when I get home then Even though Minato's teasing got on my nerves, he at least seemed to appreciate my hard work. So, then, you still know, the kid of Gotonara, what does more Jia was any three day Kitakota? Wish I could have joined you for this meeting. Ah, another guy, Tayori Naito Kajanakte, eh? Yoshioka Sao, Ogami, Kitakte. Not that I don't trust you, I just never like missing the opportunity to see Yoshioka up close. Date, I'm not old, some of me, I'm not going to go to the house. I'm 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 going to go to the house. Every single time they make a comment, going like, oh, you two are dating. Yeah. Oh, does it, does it remind you of your boyfriend? Imagine working next to that prince every day. I wouldn't, wouldn't that be the morale boost? I'd feel way more motivated at work every day. Imagine saying that in front of these two guys. Like, these two guys are very gorgeous boys. Like, what do you mean? So, then, now, 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 ていうか、大江先輩。もしかして、吉岡さんのこと。But, Oli, are you into Yoshioka or something? え何言ってんの私にはこの世で一番最高の彼がいるんだから。But, no, I've got the best boyfriend in the world. That's why she's got that ring on. で、何言わせるのよ。Why do you want to say that? Two co-boys. Known together as Coco because they get you in the Coco Rose. Nobody made you say that. Yoshioka san wa gay no jin みたいなものじゃない I love how deep his voice is. 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 I love how deep Right, Leah? You're not a bad one. You're a pretty Yoshioka san me tie na type te, konomi datta li suru? I was just saying that, oh my god. Oh, wait, don't tell me. Is Yoshioka actually your type? Girl's been gushing for an hour straight. His, voice, his deep voice is so comforting and smooth. Like, yeah, it matches really well. I took a moment. I'm excited for his route. He's gonna be like. Well, I don't know, because I might do that secret route after this one just to do it. I have no clue what that boy looks like.、Um, but he was gonna be one of the higher ones. I like him more than the redhead now. The redhead has too much energy. Nanami, the bartender, Yoji, Minato is actually my type. Minato is. Cute. So I get that. Minato is, a sh Minato is me. He doesn't want to talk to people, but he'll do it. <laughs> I took a moment to consider that and reflected on my conversation with Yoshioka. Don't answer that. He complimented my work. He's excited to be a partner with me. Akira energy manifesting. Now I remember if it was Jerome, the very loud one. Oh, 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 yes, 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 Jerome. I have to think for a second. Like, there's too many names from Cafe Enchante. 
one of the other hidden love interests is also my top, but not the programmer. Not the programmer who accidentally said he meant to do a DoorDash order, but he messed up, and so he asked us to bring food to him. What do you think? Actually, my type. I feel like the carefree. So in real life, Asia. I feel like in real life, uh, Nori. Oh, the older or younger one. <laughs> I fucking hate him. The younger one she hates. We accidentally started to go on that route and she said, I'll stop watching. And I said, all right, let's not start with the secret route anyways. Interesting, interesting. The older one. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know. Have they have they meant it have they mentioned him yet in the game? Do we know who he is? Has he had a sequence? Is he the boy that takes us to the meeting room? But yes, no, he's got uh he's got major loud guy energy and I just uh, loud guy energy. You actually did saw him. I did saw him. That's because he is, he's the guy who was like, here, let me take you to your meeting room. I did it. The one we jokingly said, can this be a route? <laughs> he has a face. He didn't just recognize my hard work, he praised me for it. His shining smile, his warm hands, and how they firmly grasp mine. I don't remember his name, but the boss introduced him to you. Okay, yeah, so he's the guy, uh... Aww, he didn't look that cute to me. Wasn't a prince like that everybody's type? Still, he was the type of person that you wanted to observe from afar, not not have a relationship with. This is the stalker sentence right here. I used to be into loud, outgoing people, but then I started dating someone who was the opposite of my taste and it totally changed. We love will do that to you. Aw, that's cute though. I don't have experience to, to go off of right now. I, I, I dated a moody person and I dated someone who, who I didn't know I was dating until they said we're breaking up. Um, and then and then I just go on casual dates after that. Um, <laughs> and then I have all my tell me boyfriends. It's the type of person that you want to observe from afar. Yoshi Oka was too perfect. I finally inserted, insisted that we wouldn't be a good match. So what's your type then? She takes a full step forward. Was that a Gil moment? We were dating and I didn't know it. Uh, I, I guess sort of like they asked me out to a movie and to be clear, we're both girls, and she never gave me the vibe that she was into girls, just to be clear. Um, and then we went to a movie together, and then afterwards, like a week goes by, and she's like, you haven't talked to me in a while, and like we went on a date, and I can't believe we're acting like this. And I'm like, I didn't even realize that was a date. It didn't, it didn't give vibe, it didn't give date energy at all. We just, we went and watched a movie, and that was like it. Like at no point, there was no hand holding, there was no like flirting, there was no this is a date. Like it was just, it was just. Uh. I read two Otome reviews about the older guy, the one hidden love interest that said he's got the best route ever, and they were disappointed that his route was short. They want more. Well, maybe there'll be a fan disc, or maybe the MC can have a personality. So, what's your type then? Oh, so I want to know. I want to know. Amasawa, what do you think of me? The pair proceeded to hound me for more juicy detail about my preferences. I hope Asia is severely disappointed. 
like, that's so mean. What do you mean? Oh my gosh. Senpai gata. Okay. We get back to work. I like that you said senpai. Thank you. Minato's stern reminder brought an abrupt end to our gossip session, and we quickly got back to work. I got confused. She wants you to be disappointed with how short the older guy's route is. She just wants you to be heartbroken. Minato's stern reminder brought an abrupt end to the gossip. I'm already disappointed. She's like the Hulk. She's our, she's always disappointed. Tempesty. A few days passed since I accepted Yoshioka's offer. The contract details were all sorted out and it was my first day working at the Tempesty office. Yoshioka. <laughs> What do you mean always disappointed? You're disappointed in Lucas, you're disappointed in Adolf, even though you had the best ending. You're disappointed in let's think, let's think, let's think. How much Adolf disappointed Asia? She's a hard pleaser, guys. You better do your be on your toes. I believe that wraps up our tour and introductions. Thank you for skipping over it for me. Adpole is boring. Adpole loved her. <laughs> Upon my arrival, Yoshioka gave me a personal tour of the building. Considering his status and position in the company, I was shocked that he made time to be my tour guide. Any questions or concerns? Yeah, what does the hell does your belt mean? It's like an N and an backwards E. I just, I don't understand. Imagine having nothing better to do than wait hundreds of year for hundreds of years for someone. Yeah, imagine having nothing better to do than wait 500 years for someone and poison yourself every day and have to go through agonizing pain every single day because you want to prove that this person deserved to live. <laughs> and the whole brother stuff that should just made me uncomfortable and that's the hill she dies on. <laughs> The dedication, loyalty, turning into Anku day by day. But we don't we don't like the beginning, we only like the end. Honestly. <laughs> I told Yoshioka that I had none. So this ka. Kongo Nanika Toraburia Huanna Kotoga Areba. It's demo atashka. Maori no shine or tayot the kudasai. Excellent. Should you have any issues, please don't hesitate to let me or any of my staff know. Yoshioka assured me that everyone in the office was very friendly. We better get our first CG, by the way. I want one. I already got the impression that employees all welcomed me warmly, warmly, and they seemed very hardworking. It was a major IT firm, after all. The atmosphere was energetic, and the office buzzed with a hum of productivity. <laughs> I'm teasing. Was that a taco dog? うまくやっていけそうですか? So what do you think? I do hope you'll enjoy yourself. I really am glad you decided to come here. I've been worried about whether or not you'd like it. I thought after you left with Kobas, I immediately regretted how sudden my proposal was. In retrospect, his proposal seemingly came out of nowhere, but that didn't make me feel pressured at, to accept it. I was already bawling for him, and his deep blue eyes, and his golden locks, and the way he wears this jacket, even inside, even though it really feels like he should take it off, because that looks like a walking jacket. Perhaps that was thanks to Yoshioka's gentle, manly nature. Maybe it sounded rude, but I probably would have felt differently if Director Kobas was the one to propose it. Sate, kite mo ratte sasoku nan desu ga. Senjitsu Kobase san tomo hanashi shita kikaku an ga dekita n desu. 
I'm s now that I'm sorry to drive into this right away, but I've drafted a proposal about what we discussed with Kobas the other day. I'll email you a digital copy of the data, but I'm sorry to drive into this right away, but I've drafted a proposal about what we discussed with Kobas the other day. I'll email you a digital copy of I was struck by how promptly he put together a draft. I skimmed through the printout on the spot from there alone. I found plenty of intriguing ideas in the draft. I was struck by how promptly he put together a draft. I skimmed through the printout on the spot from there alone. I found plenty of intriguing ideas in the draft. I was struck by how promptly he put together a draft. I skimmed through the printout on the spot from there alone. I found plenty of intriguing ideas in the draft. I was struck by how promptly he put together a draft. I skimmed through the printout on the spot from there alone. I found plenty of intriguing ideas in the draft. I was struck by how promptly he put together a draft. I skimmed through the printout on the spot from there alone. I found plenty of intriguing ideas in the draft. I was struck by how promptly he put together a draft. I skimmed through the printout on the spot from there alone. I'm so happy to be here with you. 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 His response was immediate. Now, Esther is the entame jiohou corner. I'm going to make it a long-term strategy. Starcy Entertainment Column needs a mid to long-term plan. This initiative is not worth the cost. Esther is not going to be able to pass it on to Starcy. This project is way too expensive and totally unsuitable, sustainable. There's no way a Starcy could pull something like this off. 存続が危ぶまれてる中で、これやっても差し馬にでっかい花火打ち上げてるなぁとしか思われない。Look, we're on the brink of getting shut down. We do something like this, and people will think we just wanna go out, go out with a bang. ニュースアプリは毎日使われてこそ意味がある。News apps are useful because they're used daily, are they? だからコンテンツも。毎日確認しようと思えるものじゃないとダメだ。So the content's gotta be something that the users wanna check out every day. Tell me, shot me a stern look. デザイン室にいた頃のあんたのデザインは手堅くて好きだったけどさ。Your designs were always so solid back when you were in the design department. 自分たちが作ってるものの中身、今まで理解してなかったのか。But did you not get the meaning behind what you were designing? He's tearing me apart, and I don't like it. <laughs> As the Tommy pointed those things out one after another, I couldn't get a single word in. Nah, 仲介役ってのは伝書バトじゃない。I'm a saw. What being a mediator doesn't mean being a carrier pigeon. 両者の意図を汲み取り、もし明らかに考えの相違があるなら、あんたがチェックした時点で止めろ。You've got to understand the intention and the ideas of both sides. If there's an issue, you're the first line of defense. 明らかにダメなものの確認の手間を俺にもテンプスティにも取らせるな。わかった。If a proposal is obviously not going to work, don't waste our time or tempest. You got it? Oh my stars! He. なるほど。さすがにそう簡単にことは運びませんね。Okay, but like that was mean, right? That was mean. Am I wrong? I see. I suppose it was never going to be that easy. The day after Satomi's rejection, the rejected the proposal, the project proposal I submitted to Astarsi, I turned to Tempest and shared. The news with Yoshioka. I also apologize for not spotting the issue myself. <laughs> Satomi, I don't like you. Like my dude, how could you? Mr. Annoying Energy Guy. Dean <laughs> as. Stereo's employee. I should have known Yoshioka's proposal wasn't going to work. But she's just a designer, though, not a project coordinator. Well, she's becoming a project coordinator. Has she never read any of the things she designs? That's the question. 
I'm gonna accidentally turn it all the way down just again. So they know how in I know the Daijo with this, yo. Dakara, Shimpai Shinade could say. To be expected, there's no need to apologize. Wow, way to be so nice about it. Tashkani, Hesha no Shainga, Tamao Hinette, Skutta Kikaku de Arimasga. Itoni Sona in a Tsukri Nose. She got to the start of fight. Wasn't this? True, we put a lot of effort into these proposals, but if they don't align with your goals, we'll redo them. I'm gonna turn the music down a little bit. Voice enhancements. I'm good, we have individual voices so we can turn those babies down too. <laughs> I'm never going to be nice to him. Yes, red hair rubbed me the wrong way, hence I'm reading his first. Then bartender. Ah, yeah, that's fair. Honestly, as soon as I pick the yellow, yellow, yellow hair, you know what? That's how, what they call it in Sweeney Todd. Might as well. Um, I thought about it for a second. Oh, no, I shouldn't with the red hair first. <laughs> Is she? I might have missed... That. They kept calling her a designer. If that's the case, though, they should give constructive feedback to the teacher. So basically, um, she's a designer, so she does make the designs, but they're wanting her to branch out and grow. And that's what taking this part was meant. But she has to see the stuff she's designing because she's she's not just designing apps. She's designing uh, like powerpoints and stuff like that does that make sense so she's seen the data but we did establish if you choose red hair first i will be so mean to him well i already chose the blonde it's too late <laughs> um but she also was talking about how like it just felt like she was just living she was just living her life each day and uh so i feel like maybe that's another thing too i feel like she just got into the flow and they threw a wrench at her not into her stuff at her directly. No matter what, I'm gonna bully him. You can't bully him. He's just a baby. But I also don't like, actually, let me be clear, I don't really like him. <laughs> Red hair is my new ad poll. His name is Taman from Sherlock, by the way. Should I show, should I explain all these boys quick? Does anybody know Shiny here? I just wanna make sure we got this. All right, Taman. Sherlock. Images. How do I just, how do I just open this up? Hear me out, I know what I'm doing. Okay. That is, that is, that is Taman with red hair. That is the red hair. Okay, so that is, uh, that's Sherlock Taman. And that is, <laughs> that is the redhead. Now, I might have been wrong about calling him Boa Taman, honestly. Boa MD. Because, actually, I think it's Crystal. Crystal. I'm picturing. Okay, okay, okay. That's a movie. That's a movie. Okay, okay. Now, this is technically from around the same time. Everybody's taming, by the way. Everybody's taming in this. I'm just explaining myself. Okay, so this is the taming I'm picturing for this. This was a movie appearance he did uh, for the heirs. I think that's what it was called, and Crystal's one of the characters in that. So this one is Yoshioka. This is Yoshioka Taman. Trying to other people's review to influence my opinion on him, but he definitely got a few dings. Red hair has got a few dings. Same. A reviewer I know hates one of my favorite red hair love interests, but she's like, nah, 
So tell me his number one red hair love interest I hate ever. I was like, oh boy. But that's the thing, right? What rubs one person wrong might not rub the other person wrong. So I got my team. Claim him alive and then Leah gets to him. Like, we're gonna see. I think a Tommy kitten hates him. I don't think me and a Tommy kitten uh, match on a lot of our favorites though. So I don't think me and her have the same opinions on a lot. Here's the thing my least favorite character from Lover Pretend was Minio. Is that right? Is that his name? I hated him. I hated him. He did nothing wrong, really. Um, but I hated him. Be ready for it. I will roast him alive. But that's the whole thing, right? Everyone's gonna have like their own feelings and thoughts. Cause like, I didn't like Tomonati. And I think that's Ray's favorite. I didn't like him. I didn't like Tomonati. All right. Put a lot of effort into these proposals, but if they don't align with your goals, we'll redo them. Mushiro, hayai dankai de. Estario san to no nishiki no soi ga wakatte yokatta. In fact, I'm glad we discovered what doesn't work for Estario early in the planning stage. Oh, you said it's a guy wa. Ato ni nareva naru hodo. Tori kai shi ga tsukimasen kara ne. Had we waited too long, the changes would have been irreversible, and that could have led to a real problem. Although he was trying to uplift me, his reassurance only made me feel more guilty about my mistake. <laughs> what the hell is that? How do you rate your Uber? I hate yandere's and some sundere's. This is coming from a sundere lover. There is a lot of stuff I hate in Atomi games. That's fair. There are some things where I'm like, how did this get approved for a game? It felt like he was reassuring me out of pity and it made me want to cry. Not only did I fail as a mediator, but I also made Yoshi Oka, my boss, and client comfort me for my failing. You can't say that to my face? <laughs> you know, I noticed that your strong sense of responsibility le leads to you being quite hard on yourself. The boss told me that you've always been dependable ever since you were a designer. I admire your work ethics truly. <laughs> I believe that's the, why you're the person you are today. Yeah, but remember, it's okay to lean on me when things get tough. まだ新しい仕事に慣れていないのに、両者の間を取り持つなんて難しい役回りだと思います。Adapting to this new role has been challenging for me as well. Mediating between two companies is not an easy task. Asia, she's a toughie. はじめのうちはいくらでも失敗して学んでいってください。but remember, everyone makes mistakes in the beginning. The key is to learn from them. <laughs> it might be a bit odd for me to give you advice like this since we're from different companies, but it's true. Yoshioka's light-hearted smile lifted a weight off my chest. 
This experience made me determined not to make the same mistake again. I took a deep breath and was ready for the next challenge. 成長に失敗はつきものですから。私も未熟ものですし、一緒に頑張りましょう。Mistakes are part of the learning process. I'll make them. I'll make them too. So let's grow together. I feel like it should be I make them too, but he's just confident he's going to make more. Kept smiling warmly like he was trying to chase the last of my worries away. He was mature in both his professional life and as a person, nothing like me. I muttered about how perfect he seemed and whether I could ever be like him. Do you think I'm perfect? I'm perfect. I'm perfect. I'm perfect. I'm perfect. I'm perfect. I'm perfect. You know, the truth is, I owe a lot of who I am to a certain person. He looked away. Gaze unfocused as if he was lost in memory. Girl, stop muttering to herself. She can't help it. She can't actually speak out loud. The game doesn't let her. His dazzling eyes return to me. You and that person, you're quite similar, Amasawa. The way you express yourself, the way you're always honest with yourself. 一生懸命で誰に対してもまっすぐなところ。The way you work so diligently and with such an endearing sincerity。だからですかね。君から目が離せなくて、君に頼られたいって思ってしまう。That may be why I find myself so drawn to you. I want you to feel comfortable asking me for help. Got it? When I thought he'd give me my shoulder a squeeze, his hand brushed against my cheek. Dude, there's not, there's not a bunch of yandetis in this game, right? 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 I'm not gonna die, right? <laughs> If a game lets me self insert, then give me a, lots of choices so I can speak our minds. <laughs> You can, you can, like, are you sad by him touching your face? Are you happy by him touching your face? The sensation of his cool hand was comforting on my heating face. And strangely, I didn't want him to pull away. <gasps> Yoshi Oka gasped as if coming to his senses and quickly retracted his hand. I'm sorry, I don't know what came over me. I hope I didn't make you uncomfortable. See, this is where she needs to speak. My hand felt nice. I see. An awkward silence arose between us after a few seconds he spoke up. Glad I didn't upset you. I wouldn't be able to forgive myself if I put a rift between us. This is kind of hard to watch as someone in HR. <laughs> Ray's gonna have to like break this down. All right, don't touch people. Actually, this reminds me of another story、uh, where someone was like, oh, but I just touched them on the shoulders. And I'm like, no, don't put your hands on anybody anywhere without their permission. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Honestly, when it's like love in the workplace, I'm like, you do know that's like really not okay. Right? Right? His nervous reaction puzzled me for a co worker. He seemed pretty invested in what I thought about him. Yoshioka mentioned that his perfect image was thanks to a certain someone, and apparently I was similar to that person. Could that be why his words seemed infused with passion? <laughs> これから会議で企画の問題点をプロジェクトメンバーに共有しましょう。I'm sorry again. Anyways, let's schedule a meeting with my team to discuss the issues with the proposal. 準備の方は大丈夫ですか ?Shall we?I nodded, ready to overcome his op- this obstacle together.Thanks to this, that little snag, I learned a lot about the key aspect of project management from Saitomi, the director, Kobasa. ね、Kobasa, which Kobasa? Let's go. I'm adding letters. 
You look like you're feeling much better. Now let's go. Yoshioka prepared a space for us to meet with the team and drafted Test Tempesty's initial proposal. That didn't say he liked me more. So I don't know this was an event that could affect that. I don't know if I need to go back. I don't know if the, the happy, sad faces affect things. The mood turned understandably gloomy when I broke the news about the proposal rejection. Amasawa, we were counting on that proposal being re accepted at a stereo. We even built our schedule around it. Why would you do that? It was a proposal, not... That's like a draft. Drafts don't get a schedule built around it. We're not talking about minor tweaks here, are they in there? Why didn't you why didn't you anticipate this, Amasawa? Their words were harsh, but I held my ground. I pointed out the salvageable bits of the proposal and parts that Astario said had potential. I also went into greater detail about the proposal of the Astaric Fury Vamp. Yoshioka backed me up too, supplementing my explanation when I stumbled. Two hidden routes and the bartender got four episodes. Everyone else has got six chapters. Why is the bartender not a hidden route then if he's got only four chapters? Seems like he maybe should have been kept off of the cover. Just saying, just saying. Yoshioka backed me up to supplementing my explanation when I stumbled. As the meeting grew more intense, the day rapidly reached its end. Seems like she shouldn't be here. Hahaha. <laughs> Amasawa, thank you for your hard work. I apologize for keeping you so late today. But I believe we have a firmer understanding of the direction we should be moving in. Thank you. The whole reason we had this meeting was because I hadn't checked things properly. There was no need for him to apologize. If anything, I should have been the one thanking him. I began to lay out my the reasons. I wasn't thinking very clearly when he had me this proposal. I just assumed I was supposed to just hand it to them. I didn't think that my opinion on the matter would matter. Um, to be clear, I think you have very manly hands and I was honestly distracted thinking about how manly those hands were. Uh, and then um, the sun was in my eyes and I, it was actually your face. Oh God. When I found out he got a short route, I, I'm disappointed. Like what if his route is good? Give me more older love interest with longer routes. We'll play the bar game later, okay? Nothing about older guys. He navigated the meeting smoothly, providing additional information, suggesting short breaks. He also worked tirelessly to prevent the atmosphere from turning hostile. I hate it here. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Asia. Oh god. Oh please, I barely did anything. I just practiced some habits I picked up from time in cells. My eyebrows raised with interest. That was a chapter of his history I hadn't known. Sorry. I said I was sorry. Why why would she not believe me? Yeah, before being transferred to the third planning department, I worked in cells. Third planning department, one of the departments at Test Tempesty. Yoshioka works in that department. I don't believe you. Is it because my eyes didn't darken? Did I not say it with vigor? Did I not hold your hand when I said it? Yoshioka seemed to have picked up on my curiosity and began explaining. Yep. <laughs> He was so charismatic and ex excellent at communication that I was surprised he ever transferred. I frowned slightly. I really wish she spoke. I think the reason these stories are a bit shorter is because 
she doesn't speak. It's more like, oh, what's that? You want to know how I ended up running a marathon? Well, let me tell you. Instead of her going, why did you run a marathon? <laughs> like they just skipped that. Wondering why I moved from the sales department, are you? The truth is that I requested it. Shanai no bujo wa hito tori mite maawatte, shigoto o haaku shite, aru teedo konaseru yo ni naro to omoi mashite. I wanted to work in all the different departments of the company so I could better understand what they do. Engineer san o hajime, senmon tekina gino o hitsuyo to suru mono wa sasuga ni muzukashii desu kedo ne. Of course, some departments like engineering were a bit too specialized for me to work in. His dedication as the future president of Tempesty went far deeper than I would have guessed. I thought it would be rude to pry any further, so I nodded silently at his words. Ah, ところで、もしよければですが、車でご自宅までお送りしましょうか。Would you like me to drive you home today? Ah,、uh, yes, please. Drive me. Let's sit in a car together. もう夜も遅いですし、女性の一人歩きは危険ですから。It's getting late. I wouldn't want you to have to walk home alone. I was exhausted from the meeting and extremely grateful for his offer. But after all he had done for me today, I felt terrible asking him to drive me home to Passenger Hime. <laughs> I want that on a, like a bumper sticker. I hesitated as it seemed a bit too much to ask from a co worker or a client. That'd be cute on a shirt, too. Oh my god. At an anime convention, everyone would get it. Oh god. Sensing my hesitation, Yoshioka smiled at me. Kimi wa, ichiji teki ni oazukari shite ru, taisez na shine san desu kara. Yeah, but you and I both know. That you're a boy and I'm a girl, and you're asking me to get into a car with you, and you're gonna now know my home address at the end of all of this. Amasawa, you're a valuable member of our team. As a project lead, it's only my responsibility to only my r e s p o n s i b i l i to take care of you. It's only my responsibility, as if like she couldn't ask anyone else for help. Is that what I just implied? If Anything were to happen to you, it'd be on me. もし気を使っているだけなら、私のためにも乗っていただけませんか If you're worried about troubling me, please don't be. How about this? Would you grant me the pleasure of your company? <gasps> Monsieur! The words were too kind to refuse, and so I decided to accept his offer graciously. それでは車を回してきますから、少しここで待っていてください。Please don't hear while I bring the car around. We can go together. Let's go together. It's fine. Is it common for managers to know their employees' home location in Japan? I mean, it's on their application, so they would technically see it on their applications. But as far as is it common for a manager to give them, offer a coworker a ride home, and when it's just the two of them? Not really. However, in Japan, it is very common for groups of people at the end of the day to go out drinking together. I feel like they use this a lot in anime and games. Honestly, I think they use this a lot in general.、Um, I don't know. It's like flirting. It's a flirting trope. Shortly thereafter, a luxurious car came up to a halt in front of me. Show me the car. <gasps> He's gonna get an eye stare, and before I could wonder if it was Yoshioka, he hopped out of the driver's seat. Don't forget your Atomi review. I'm waiting for your love interest rating list. Oh my god, wait, should I do a giant love rating interest list? My review. Which again, I have not worked on in a minute. It's, it's for、uh, Verche Evermore. I don't know if I'm going to do one for Winter's Wish,、uh, only because Tylee, I borrowed that game from my friend and I don't want to keep it forever.、Uh, but she's going to let me borrow her. She has both Amnesias and she has the other PO4E, which I haven't played the first PO4E, so I need to work on that actually.、Um, oh gosh. You know what? I'll, I have an extra time next week 
I don't plan on making work on, on the bathroom the entire time in the midst of the stuff I'm doing, so I could start working on filming that next week. That's a good point. That's a good bring up. Thank you, Jay. Thank you for keeping me, keeping me on my toes. I stared and before I could wonder, he hopped out. Thank you for waiting. Come on in. Do you know how awkward I feel waiting for someone to bring a car around, by the way? I, that's another reason why I like, let's just go together. I don't want to sit here and stand here waiting. I feel like every single car that comes by, if I'm waiting for someone to come bring a car around, is staring at me like, what's this loser doing on the side of the road? What does this person want? Why? Like, are they here to, are they here to steal from us? I just, it makes me nervous. I hesitated, but he opened the passenger door for me and I couldn't back out now. Don't say you couldn't. You can. He shuts the door behind me before getting back in and walking me to his car. He was no stranger to this, it seemed. I'll be sure to drive safely, but please do wear your seatbelt. Put my seatbelt on me. I nodded, but my nerves had me fumbling with getting the seatbelt to lock. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, this car is Oh, are you having trouble? Sorry, there's a bit of a trick to it. Excuse me. Yoshi. Yoshi Oka leaned over and grasped my seatbelt. Look at that. Look at this girl with no eyes. They have the same muted color palette. Look at them, they're perfect together. He's so <laughs> pretty. Yes, I agree. I was like, it could go any way. She could say anything after this. I feel like I need to understand everything. All right, that's how he's holding the seatbelt. The distance between us vanished and a refreshing scent wrapped around me. When I realized the soothing fragrance was from Yoshioka, my ears burned and I felt the urge to pull away. But there was nowhere to go. He spoke unaware of my embarrassment. The seatbelt's always difficult. I need to get a bit closer. I'm sorry. Also, it's an American car. Interesting. Technically, that's considered like a luxury, like getting an imported car. Wait, is this actually just America? They do this sometimes. <laughs> His face drew nearer to my body to get a better view of the seatbelt. I knew he was just trying to help, but having his soft blonde hair only inches from my mouth made my heart race. Bite his hair, just do it. <laughs> I held my breath and stiffened, hoping he wouldn't notice my escalating nervousness. That should do it. Does it feel too tight? His clear blues, blue gaze searched mine. I bit back a panicked reaction and reassured him that I was comfortable. I'm glad I give rides occasionally, with, but my passengers always complain that the seatbelt is too tight. If someone had the guts to complain to Yoshioka, then they must have been close. In fact, it was impossible for someone as kind as him to be single, wasn't it? If he drove somebody else around, he must have been referring to his partner. Got it. I've developed a misunderstanding. It is too tight after all. You look uncomfortable. He was too observant for me to hide it. I felt guilty for making him worry and decided to tell him what I was thinking. You're worried about my partner? Roberto's partner. She said it! <laughs> I suppose she might get jealous if she saw you in a car like this. <laughs> But lucky for both of us, she doesn't exist, so you have no reason to fret. I'm not in a relationship. Ah, 
もしかして誤解させちゃいました車によく乗せる人っていうのは弟のことです Was I misleading? The person I give rights to is my brother. I swear he treats me like his personal chauffeur sometimes. Does he? Better than normal? I don't know if that's right. Yoshioka said that with a weary smile, he wasn't completely. さてそれでは行きましょうかご自宅はああい,いえ住所までは言わなくて大丈夫ですよ you... oh, actually, address, さすがに出会って間もない仕事の知り合いに教えるのは怖いでしょひとまず最寄りの駅だけでも Are you giving me a ride home? Oh, you're just gonna drop me off at the nearest station. Got it. Well, that's polite. That's nice. I understand you might not want to share that with a co worker, especially not one you just met. What's the nearest station? He would be the best. Turn out evil. He's so considerate. He's so kind. And I'm like, oh, it's okay, Yoshi Oka. Let me give you my home address. It's fine. I'm not scared of you at all. And then you start like finding things on your patio door every morning. I trusted Yoshioka, but it was never a bad idea to exercise caution, so I gave him the station name. Back to when MC says his partner girl, why you assume he got a girl? Because, because he's so cute, and he's a prince, and he's gorgeous. And he was talking about other people complaining about sitting in the car seat. Look at him. Why are you assuming he's not, not taken? She said partner. Partner is ambiguous. That could be boy or girl. What do you mean? That's how partners use. It can be a boy or a girl. Ah, ano atari desu ne. Wakarimashita. Yeah, she was, he was the one who said she. I was just saying. <laughs> Uh, she was being very polite. She said maybe he has a partner. Oh, I know where that is. Got it. Now he can triangulate where I live. The engine revved as he pressed the gas. How often are you in a car, my girl? Yoshioka fell silent, focusing on the road, sneakily glancing at his profile. I slowly processed what he admitted. He didn't have a partner. I was certain that Yoshioka had no reason to lie to me. Unless he wants to get it. Like, what do you mean? But it was difficult to believe what somebody as wonderful as him could possibly be sequel. He was friendly, thoughtful, and great at his job, yet he wasn't in a relationship. What's wrong with him? What's his ick? What's his ick? Come on. I tried to wrap my head around it. Maybe he just wasn't interested in dating. I didn't expect that. Oji sama. Prince. Yoshi Oka smiled playfully as he spoke up, snapping me back to reality. Kao <laughs> jitto mitsumerare tara. So you are takoto, we dash must. I was gonna say, I can't blame her. He's pretty, so he might got a partner. Yeah. When you stare at me like that, it reminded I'm reminded when you called me that. 趣味で乗馬をし可愛いでしょ。え、私がですか。Wait, he didn't blush last time. Wait, 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 wait. That didn't happen. It said he blushed, but it didn't show blushes on his face that time. <laughs> What the heck? The game glitched. The memory came rushing back to me as soon as he mentioned it. Since he brought it up, I worried it had bothered him after all, and I apologized again. There's no need to apologize. It was a compliment, wasn't it? Do you still see me that way? As a prince? 
Actually, now that I knew more about his dedication to his job and his aff affability, IDK, I always get mixed feelings when MC assumes someone's got a partner. Why are you going around assuming everybody's single? <laughs> Yoshioka seemed more like a fairy tale prince than ever, and I told him that. So, I see. He's like, you just don't know I kill people on weekends. His expression smoothed over like he was deeply considering my answer. I'm just saying, shaking my head, never mind. What do you mean? What do you mean, never mind? What are you worried about? Do you think that's it's scarier for them to think they have a partner than assume they're single all the time? Uh, is it hard to keep up with? It must be exhausting, right? <gasps> Asia. Asia, you can't say never mind to me. I have ADHD. It's a shutdown term. You can't use it. It must be exhausting. Ooh, he doesn't look happy. I muse that maintaining such a such admirable behavior must take a lot out of him. It's he's sucked in a breath. His handsome face froze up, all of his gentleness gone in an instant. My stomach dropped. Had I said something wrong? I opened and closed my mouth, searching for the right word. Do I look tired or like I'm struggling to you? Ooh, that could come across so... I quickly said no. In a short time I'd known him, I never thought he appeared worn out. Then why did you ask that? My concern actually stemmed from the fact that he never showed signs of exhaustion. Sure, everyone's limits varied, but nobody was tireless, yet he never seemed tired. Yeah, your face is tired. <laughs> never seemed tired or exasperated at all. Seeing as he would replace his father as the head of the company, surely such a position came with an exhausting amount of work. Dude, we gotta see his dark side. Yet, Yoshioka always managed to maintain his princely charm while constantly attending to others, and I explained all that. You're more worried precisely because I don't look like I'm fatigued. What's snackies? <laughs> always. I always want snackies. Yes, please. Yes, snackies. That's very considerate of you, but I do my best to meet the expectations everybody has for me. Yoshinari, Yoshinari is not here. Yoshinari is not in this game. Ah, Yoshioka neither confirmed nor denied feeling any strain. Something about his response didn't sit right with me. Did I know him in my childhood? Where am I? What is this playground that's out of focus? I have to live up to mom and dad's expectations. And boys don't cry. So I can't. I remembered hearing something similar in the past. But who had who had said that I couldn't remember? Oh, the memory was so foggy from when I was five years old. Regardless, I insisted that even princes needed a break sometimes. Other overworking himself wouldn't do him any good. Also, can my snackies be from Sonic? Boys don't cry. You didn't know that? Silly. Oh, goodness. I was going to check something. I lost it. I lost it. If a prince needs a break, if he is he really a prince? True princes don't get tired. Dude, he's got high expectations even for princes. Oh my god. Agreed, I hate that concept and I wish it was ed advised to cry. Right? To be fair, it's there's no crime in having emotions. You shouldn't be sad. 
Should be sad to be sad. You have to be sad sometimes. I'm gonna sneeze, by the way. Excuse me. I felt that with my entire body. But also, princes can get tired. There's no such thing as a prince that can't get tired. What the heck? What do you mean? Everybody gets tired. Man, you called him a prince one time and he took it so seriously that now he's like, this is my prick, this is my character trait. They're supposed to be unwavering and strong enough to face anything. How else can princes take care of their princesses? Boys don't cry, so boys not allowed to cry, then they lose someone shaking my head. <laughs> Fairy tales were always told from the perspective of the princess, so that's impressive. Fresh and made sense. But I ventured that just an ordinary girl transformed into beautiful princesses with the aid of magic is cathartic and helps regulate emotions. <laughs> it helps. It helps regulate your emotions. Feel things. There must be... We have uh, Unis in the chat who who's going to school for medical. And we also have Ray in the chat who uh, is in the HR department. We have a lot of people that can speak to what's being said. <laughs> Princes do get tired. <laughs> Princes do. There must be moments where princes too took off their crown behind the scenes. So... He's suggesting that I take a break anyway. Yeah. Similar indeed. Yeah, who's this friend of yours? Is it me? Was it myself? Was I younger? Did I lie about my name? Was I wearing a hat so you don't recognize me? Yoshioka said something under his breath with a smile, but I couldn't quite make it out what he was saying. And yet anytime I speak under my breath, everyone hears it. Just because someone calls you a prince doesn't mean you are. That's also fair. Sorry, I was thinking out loud. Yeah, I do that too a lot. Um, I just want to be loved and accepted. Perhaps I need an example. What do you do to unwind Amasa Amasawa? Uh, as Yoshioka and I chatted about what we did to relax, time flew until we were already at the station. I felt a pang of disappointment at the prospect of parting, but I thanked Yoshioka for the ride. Also, being a prince is a real thing. We have royalty in this world. <laughs> we don't know if this world falls within our realm of reality. Maybe in this world there are no princes or kings. Don't mention it. I enjoyed spending time with you. Oh, thank you, Yoshioka. Despite the dark blanket of night above us, Yoshioka's smile shone as brightly as the midday sun. Oh, wow. Wait, have they shown the side of her house? I don't recall. The room itself in the back doesn't look that deep. It looks like a very flat bed. Pink, I love it. <laughs> They're like, no complaints. This is it. This is the room. The night as I was getting ready for bed, I got a notification on Ring. <gasps> Cheers! <laughs> I'm sorry for messaging you so late. I was wondering if you are free this weekend, Amasawa. <gasps> I've decided to take a proper day off as you suggested. If it's not any trouble, I would be glad to have you join me. Oh my god, are we gonna go horseback riding? Dude, let's go! He suddenly an invitation nearly made me drop my phone in surprise. After a brief moment of contemplation, I replied to say that I'd be happy to accompany him. I was the one who pushed him to make a take a breather after all, so it's only felt right to be there for him. Wonderful. I'll send you the time and place soon. Does she delete her messages instantly? <gasps> Bow.
trying to save every single sticker they use. Weekend arrived quickly. Time whizzed by as I contemplated what to wear, and before I knew it, it was nearly time to meet. Oh, yay, hello, welcome, thank you. I can't see because it's tiny right now, <laughs> but I recognize the sound. I contemplated what to wear, and before I knew it, it was nearly time to meet Yoshino Yoshioki Oka, even. That's his name. I know his name. I keep trying to say Nada, Nadi, the horse icon. Yeah, he has horses. That's his That's his horse in the picture. That's where she started calling him a prince. She's like, he is a prince. And he's like, what did you say? Jogging past the picket gate, I scanned the crowd for him. Yeah, boy stands out. I found him staring down at his phone. Do you see that guy? He's so handsome. Do you think he's a model? Who do you think he's waiting for? Should we go say hi? No way. I couldn't approach a guy like that. Yoshioka seemingly captured the attention of everyone at the station. Knowing I was about to spend my day with such a natural per people magnet made my breath hitch. She's like, run away. Oh. He smiled and waved the moment he saw me, radiating warmth as if greeting a long-awaited friend. Realizing that now wasn't the time to let anxiety get the best of me, I hurried over. Good morning, Amasawa. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? Smile could knock me off my feet. I nodded and apologized for being a little late. Yeah, yeah. I'm here right now. Not at all. <laughs> I just arrived myself. Besides, he says and then laughs. He chuckles, his eyes alight with amusement. Almost like we're on a date, ain't it? Aren't we? He whispered in my ear as though we were sharing a little secret. A date. Just hearing Yoshioka utter those words was absurd. I apologize, worried that I made him feel that way. <laughs> She's like, I'm so sorry. I am trash. I'm so sorry. You're right. People think we're on a date. You with a piece of garbage like me. That's terrible. I shouldn't even be here. Why are you sorry? I sputtered about how I was treating this like a date when we were supposed to be there to help him relax. I'm not interested in him yet, but like, listen, a date, I don't mind. I quickly reassured Yoshioka that my sole intention was to help him unwind today. Needing a break was only a part of the reason I invited you today. It was more of an excuse, really. Yoshioka laughed nervously, and I wondered what he was getting at. May I start over? Yoshioka held out his hand, and I hesitantly placed mine in his palm. The day is about setting work aside and allowing ourselves to take it easy, but... It's also about getting to know each other and spending time together. In other words, it's both a relaxing day off and a date. If you're alright with it being one, what do you think? I do appreciate his clarification. Yeah, right? How many times that the game has been called a Tomi game, miscommunication, where we don't say how we feel. That's all of Cupid Parasite, by the way. With the exception of Alan's route, he's been very forthcoming so far. His soft gaze seemed to glint with excitement and hope like a flickering flame. When he looked at me with such tentative affection, I doubted that anybody in the world could possibly resist. Alright, you can take this piece of trash out. 
but I won't say no. Alright, it's a date. Really? Really? I'm relieved. I was afraid I might scare you off. His interest made my heart skip a beat. But I asked why he chose to ask me out on a date in the first place. We only recently became colleagues due to the collaboration after all. And it's not like I'm cute even a little bit. I've only been human for a year. Previously, I was a salamander. Why did I ask you out? It's simple. I'm drawn to you, so I'd like to get to know you better. You called me a prince the first time we met. This straightforward remark rang with pure honesty, making my cheeks warm. Am I making all the wrong choices, by the way? I haven't, I haven't gotten better in love or work since the beginning. He wasn't the type of person to joke around about something like that. Still, I was at a loss for words. My mind totally scrambled. Check the chart. My chart hasn't changed. It's like 10% on the love only. My L, not my L, my E is filled in. That's it. I'm not doing good work love balance. すみません。ちょっと慣れ慣れしかったですね。直し I'm sorry, I didn't mean to come on so strong. I'll tone myself down. It was true that the usual composure he had at work faded away and his voice was even ever so shaky. I wonder if this was a was the real Yoshioka. If so, it was a pleasant surprise. This was both a date and a day off, so I reiterated that I want him to be himself. え? I don't have to tone it down. Alright, if you insist, then I'll loosen up around you. Despite his explanation, I still didn't understand why he asked me out. But I decided to roll with it and see where the day took us. Okay, I'm making all the wrong choices. We're gonna get the bad ending. Hugh Hay. Spain Bar Bueno. We started by doing some window shopping downtown. We were following a course Yoshioka had charted, visiting a few shops here and there that interested us. Oh, how about we sit down for a bit? That food truck over there looks delicious. Yoshioka pointed towards a food truck designated, designed like a quaint mobile cafe. I was thirsty from all the walking, so I agreed. We looked over the menu together. We both decided to order lemonade since it was their signature drink. Oh, <gasps> Wow, this is fantastic. The zesty tang of lemon paired with the sweetness of the shop's specialty honey made, made for a delightful, refreshing drink. You like it too? I'm glad our taste aligned. It's nice to find what we have in common. You like it too? I'm glad our taste aligned. It's nice this like princess in the popper or prince in the popper he's a rich man he's never bought lemonade from a food truck before whoa this is my first time buying something like this from a street vendor kids grab things like these on their way home from school right i always went straight home so i never had the chance it's a real treat to share this new experience with you. Yoshioka un unfamiliarity with this typical after-school tradition made me reflect on how different our childhoods were. I was glad that he enjoyed it, and I got to be the one to experience it all with him. 
Coffee House Alley. Nishijima Studios. Oh, wait, is that? No, this is Ideal Factory. No, Ideal, fac ideal Factory. When we resumed our stroll, we he led me down a side street. The bustling crowd of the main road was replaced by a peaceful calm. Now I want a cherry lime made from Sonic. Ooh. Oh my gosh, that's a good one. I usually just get a cherry diet Dr. Pepper from there, but they do have good limeades and lemonades. And I say it wrong every time. Hang on, Arnold Palmer's. Payment grew jagged and bumpy, and I nearly stumbled as I trudged along. <gasps> Watch your step here. The sidewalk is uneven here. Take my hand if you'd like. Yoshioka extended his free hand towards me. Yoshioka's offer wasn't patronizing or overbearing, but presented with gentle consideration that was impossible to refuse. Oh, look at that lemonade in a freezy cup. Look, the sleeves are close enough. Close enough. Close enough. I took Yoshioka's hand. He smiled. His smile grew radiant as if he had discovered a priceless treasure. Curiosity peaked. I asked him if he saw... He was always such a gentleman. So, Dono. Tascani, Tachibajo, Tene, Natayo, Kokorogate, Rikido. Well, due to my position, I'm always polite to everyone I meet. Yasashku Stiagetai, the Jibunkara Omota Josewa, Kimide, Futari Mekano Sirena. But you're only the second woman I've ever wanted to show special kindness to. Futari Mewa, Maini Hanasta Domo Kedo. Special. Ima, Orega Kampikini Mir, Kikakeo Skutte Greta, Onanoko no Koto Dayo. List of Asia's husbands so far: Yoichi, Kobas, Kohi, uh, Anku, uh, Sheen. 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 Sheen is Asia's husband. Um, I don't remember. Uh, oh, actually, Miss Year. Miss Year. Kinji. Kinji is everybody's husband. Kinji is the husband that gets passed around. I think I told you about the first. She's the one who inspired me to be princely, you could say. She was my first love, but I don't know where she is now. She's right here in front of you, because apparently it was us on a playground when we were kids. Casper. Grim Reaper from the date with death. Casper is pretty much the best, yes. I, I heard they're making a date with death part two. I have every intention of playing it. Okay, but what if she shows back up? Then what happens? So now it's only you. You're the only one I want to show this side of myself to. Is that too much? Attention from someone like Yoshioka could never be unwelcome. Oh man, I thought the first was his mom. You know what? It could. Oh, you're right. No, he said first. Well, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. You know what? It could be both. It could be his mom and his first love because a lot of people like to refer to like your first love is your parents because that's the first person who shows you love. Also, threads of you, guess what? Gene and Vince Polly routes. So you're saying if I don't date them, they'll date each other? Attention from someone can never be unwelcome. Yet something troubled me. It was clear that Yoshioka, Eugene and Vince. Oh! <gasps> my brain broke sorry uh i'm fine with that i accept 
two guys, one girl. That's actually the only polygamy I want. It was clear that Yoshioka's heart still held a special place for his first love and that I was not her. Wistfully mixed with my bubbling affection for Yoshioka. He's been so open with me, I began telling him more about my own life, but I'm going to keep it a secret from you guys. He listened attentively the whole time. There's going to be more poly routes in threads of you too with other voice of interest. I almost forgot to mention it. Interesting. Here's the thing, I did like Threads of You, but I felt like some of the voice acting I didn't like as much. Like, I almost feel like I would turn it off if I was playing it. Switching departments, working at a new location, it all must be challenging, especially if it's new to you. I'm trying to think who else could be in a poly route if those are all the love interests. Because the diner, uh, person lives with their sisters so they're by themselves I would assume the wannabe Lin-Manuel Miranda guy doesn't seem like he would have a roommate uh, the mechanic might have a roommate switching departments working at a new location it all must be challenging especially if it's new to you but such challenges were integral to corporate life. I said that being new to something wasn't an excuse for to stagnate. Voice acting in English can feel a little cheesy uh, to me. I don't know. Maybe since I'm not used to it, I feel like it was the voices themselves I were I wasn't into. I can. There's okay. Um, I'm sure we've all been on the internet before. There are quite a few people that pop up on my my threads when I'm scrolling through Instagram that have gorgeous voices. And if they were the voices on that, I'd be like, down. I'm so down. What's that? Take my clothes off in front of a camera? You got it. Whatever you say, random voice. Um, I just didn't get that vibe. It gave, it gave a little cringe for me. I wanted a Gene and Vince poly route, then I looked at Tumblr, the devs said that there's going to be a poly route. It makes sense for them because Gene is like very protective of Vince and Vince doesn't have a job. He's he's raising Vince, that person's being raised by him. Such challenges were integral to corporate life, we grow stagnant. <laughs> You're such a dedicated individual, your work is well executed, and you communicate quite effectively with our team. In Atomi games, there, there will always be cheesy stuff or cringe. Not just you. No, there, there, are, there is. There very much is. In fact, when I explain Atomi games to people, I, I cringe a little at myself. <laughs> Yeah, cringe. I got that too from the little teaser video. Oh, the teaser video for the threads of you? I didn't watch the teaser video. I guess I should have. But it was the phone call. It was the very first phone call I did with the mechanic when he's all like, all right, I'll talk to you soon. Like there was a way he had said it and I was like, mm, you sound like you know me too well. And I don't like that. I want some mystery in your voice. You don't come across as a novice at all. Rather than pride, his praise made me flush with embarrassment. Knowing he had seen me makes me makes my first mistake. As I tried to apologize, he cut me off. Eh. No more apologies. Nobody is perfect. Except for you, my right? Trying too hard vibes? Yes. Yes? Does that make sense? Misso Stato, Hanse Surkoto, a daiji da kedo. Onajikoto, Kurikai Sana Yoni, Dosurka, Kanga Erkoto no Hoga, Yuigi da Tomonai. Of 
course, we should reflect on our mistakes, but isn't it more constructive to strategize ways to prevent them from happening again? You're just starting this new role, uh, Masawa. This is your chance to find the find the approach that suits you best. 一緒に仕事をする人間として何か協力できることがあればいつでも力を貸すから。As your colleague, I will support you in any way that I can. So, in the case of the work, I will be able to do it in a way that I can. I've had plenty of times myself where a higher up turned a project on its head just as I'm about to complete it. But, in the case of the work, I will be able to do it in a way that I can. So, in the case of the work, I will be able to do it. They don't apologize, they only shrug and say things change before moving on. This actually reminded me of a conversation I had with my friend recently. Because she was all like, I don't know how to do that. I don't want to just tell people no, sorry. I'm like, don't say sorry, just say no. <laughs> I'm like, don't say sorry. You don't have to apologize. There's, there's a difference between apologizing when something that you did is wrong, and there's a difference between apologizing when you feel like you need to apologize because you feel like you're inconveniencing someone. And when it comes to work, it's not like that. It's like it wasn't my intentions to make it turn out this way. I'm not going to apologize for that. Things change. I was beginning to understand why Yoshioka was so popular at his company. His ability to connect with others was simply magnetic. Director Kobasa was a reliable boss, but Yoshioka was something entirely different. Don't you dare. Kobas is, is godly, okay? I meekly admitted that I felt guilty that he kept giving me so much while I had little to offer him in return. The fact that you're spending this relaxing day with me is more than enough. But, そこまで気にするなら今の若い女性が好きなものとか流行っているものを教えてくれるかな If you're concerned, perhaps you could let me know of what trends are popular among young women right now. 情報収集は一人では限界があるし仕事の役に立つかもしれないから There's only so much I can learn alone and it would be useful to know for work. I couldn't believe that Was all he wanted, but quickly began sharing about the popular cafes and products among young women today. Hey, Eki no Chikakuni Zakaya non te dictanda. Kuruma de Tukin Steiru kara Shirana Katana. There's a new general store near the station. I can mute my car so I wouldn't have noticed. Antique K no Komonoka. Oremo so you know, Miru no Askinanda. Kondo, Yotte Miru Kotoni Sirio. Dude, I would, if someone's like, you want to go antique, and I'm there. <laughs> They sell antique accessories. I enjoy looking at those. Perhaps I should visit there soon. My guilt and tension faded away as we delved into casual conversation topics, just like we have been with other workers. My apologies for interrupting, but we've arrived at our destination. I've been so engrossed in our conversation that I barely noticed our surroundings. Grr, hi, hi, Sleazy. Are we at his house? Masaka Estario ni Mukate iru to a omo na kata? Do you expect to end up at Estario? Otagai no kaisha o aratamete tsnagu imi mo komete ne. I took you this way so that we could reflect on the connection our two companies have. なかなかいい距離だったけど、実際に歩いて自分の目で見ると、いろいろな発見があるよね。It's quite a walk, but going on your own two feet lets you see things from another perspective. Indeed, our leisurely stroll allowed us to discover stories and experiences we hadn't had otherwise. I told him it was, I was grateful to have shared this walk with him. In my mind, Tempest D had always been the superior entity when it came to my. My company. I bought Witcher's Wish, going to relive my favorite moments in CGs. Oh, yeah! It was on sale, which we got、um, Radiant Tell. So now I own Radiant Tell. It's not here yet, but I've got it. I got it ordered. I also got other games. I don't know if I brought them in here. 
but I got My Time at Sandrock, which is the sequel to My Time at Portia, My Time on Frog Island, Unrelated. Um, what was the third one? Loop 8. I also got Loop 8. I miss Yoichi and Kinji. <sighs> Kinji's so great. I miss him too. Plays that always seemed out of reach for someone like me. A place I couldn't possibly step foot in. It seemed untouchable, yet walking side by side, Yoshioka made me feel like I was part of that world. Part of that world. あるいてみてよかった。そうか。君にそう言ってもらえて。俺のことを良かった。ありがとうございます。ああ。Accurate, not a curated. <laughs> but his thoughtfulness took me by surprise. I gained a newfound admiration for Yoshioka. He was truly a remarkable person. You seem to be in high spirits. Did something good happen? The moment I entered the office, Oi greeted me with a smirk. The only significant event that came to mind was my outing with Yoshioka over the weekend, but I was hesitant to tell Oi about it. As I searched for an excuse to tell her, my notification chimed on my phone and a message from Yoshioka appeared on my screen. Thank you for yesterday. We walked quite far, didn't we? Are you feeling sore? <laughs> <gasps> Sorry, I had a sneak peek. Is that a message from Yoshioka? He's thanking you for yesterday? You were together? He's asking, are you sore? Also, don't look at my messages. Yeah, that's the second time someone's done that. We don't have much time right now, but you're telling me everything at lunch. No excuses. Stop being loud. Right? We just talked about how I can't have an inappropriate relationship with somebody. Calm down. The moment we took lunch, Oi dragged me to the break room. She demanded the details about Yoshioka's message, and I ended up spilling the whole story. Nanami, it's none of your you had matching drinks? He held your hand just because the sidewalk was bumpy? That's a date, no question. Um, we also called it a date. Wait, we said it was a date. Me and him, together. When she says it like that, it sounds bad. How did that happen, huh? He said it's because you remind him of his first love? うわ、嘘っぽいな。モテ男の上等くって感じじゃん。Sounds like bull. Playboys use that line all the time. Satomi jumped into the conversation out of nowhere. 気をつけた方がいいんじゃね。それ、あんたを落とすための嘘かもよ。Dude, the girl was already been falling for him. It's okay. Be careful, Amasawa. The dude could be lying to get you to fall for him. Why would you say something like that? There's, you're just raining on her parade. There's no reason for Yoshi not, Yoshioka to lie. There's totally a possibility that Prince Face is chasing a bunch of women. Don't take him too seriously. I'm sorry, but I hate that shit so much. One, it's none of your business. Second, don't look at my messages and don't be so loud. People will listen and spread rumors. So stop being loud. I would say if you're going to look at my messages, at least don't say anything afterwards. 
that that'd be my go-to. You can accidentally glance because it's a habit, right? Sometimes you just glance over and you see something. But if you're gonna make a comment about it, we're gonna throw hands. Like, please don't. <laughs> Especially at work. Despite his warning, I laughed it off. Yoshioka was certainly hard to catch, but to be honest, I doubt that he was really interested in dating me. Remember, I am but a humble piece of trash. I returned from my break from the break room and sat at my chair. As I organized my desk, my thoughts kept drifting back to our conversation in the break room. The weekend outing with Yoshioka felt like a dream, a spell cast by a fairy godmother. When the clock struck midnight, the magic wore off and the prince, princess me had reverted back to an ordinary girl. And in the real world, the prince wouldn't come looking for the girl again. I figured I should forget everything about that date, but just as I was thinking so, he texted you, what do you mean? Okay. I'm saying there's dense, but like if a guy texts you after a date and said I had a good time, he wants to talk to you. That's how simple it is. That's a pretty simple, that's like 101. Like if he didn't want to talk to you after going on a date with you, he wouldn't have texted you. Another ring notification from Yoshioka popped up on my phone. Are you available Friday evening? I'd like to invite you out on a date. I almost dropped my phone in surprise. I'm almost concerned that I get to choose if I want to go on a date or not, like... Are you free? <laughs> fingertips twitched above my screen as I fretted over being too straightforward. That's the same sticker. I need you to click on the stickers. Show me your other sticker options. Also, is this a thing of beer? Like, what's up with this animal? I added a sticker after it, then realized I was trying to be cute for him. Was I already catching feelings? Excellent. I apologize for the sudden invitation. Do you have any food preferences or any allergies? If not, I'll make reservations at a restaurant I'm quite fond of. Yoshioka was so considerate that I didn't know how to respond. Tomo's words echoed in my mind. Don't let them. Just enjoy yourself. My god, what's wrong with just enjoying the fact that a cute boy is talking to you? A spin-off episode has been added. Would you like to view it now? Good morning, director. Good morning. His POV. Good morning. Good morning. <sighs> Why is he not in a special office? We spent the weekend with Amasawa, an employee from our partner company, Astario. <laughs> so refreshing. <laughs> yeah, I don't let opinions cloud your judgment, especially when they don't know that person. If they knew that person better, let's say he was best friends with him. And he said, dude, he does this all the time. Even then, he put like a little caution. You know that maybe protect yourself a little bit, but that doesn't mean you can't go and enjoy yourself. Like, what the heck? He doesn't even know the guy. I love what I do, but I'm not a morning person, especially after the weekend. Yet I didn't feel the. I didn't feel that way today. Could be all thanks to Amasawa. Initially,緊張していたみたいだけど、熱心にこちらの話に耳を傾けて驚いたり。how are we gonna redeem red hair from all of this i wonder he's just a jelly bear think of it that way I think he's just a jelly bear he's all like i bet he sucks i bet he doesn't actually like like you 
because he wants to be the center of attention because he usually is the center of attention. He's probably one of those boys that was a theater kid in school. He liked to scream in the middle of class and laugh at his own jokes, that kind of guy. But not terrible, but that's who he is. She was a little nervous at first, but she was such an attentive listener and smiled at my story. Red hair can stay trash. I want to roast him. Asia, you haven't even met the guy. She was so expressive and adorable. Good morning, director. Did you see something funny? This is the other route. あ、おはようございます。ひがさん。え、ごめん。ちょっと思い出し笑いよ。Good morning, Higa. Sorry. I was just thinking about something that happened earlier. 部長でも思い出し笑いなんてするんですね。I've never seen you laugh like that before. え、それはまあ、たまにはしますよ。私は何だと思ってるんですか? You can tell he's a route because he has his own font color and his little tulips uh which I'm covering right now are also orange. Well, I do laugh, I mean, all the time. What do you take me for? I already want to roast Satomi. You've been roasting him. Every time he shows up, you're like, look at this guy. Pardon me, I suppose it's just the first time I've seen it. Also to yourself in the middle of work. <laughs> I claim it happens all the time, but I can't recall the last time I laughed so genuinely. <laughs> Do I really enjoy spending time with Amasawa that much? Upon realizing that my heart skipped a beat. <gasps> He's catching the feels. Director, are you feeling okay? You look a little red. <laughs> What am I thinking? I don't know. is my colleague. I only invited her out because I was worried that she'd be anxious about her mistake. I don't know. I don't know. I I don't know. I don't I don't I don't I don't I don't I don't I do I wanted her to relax and feel more confident around me since we'll be working together. If she feels comfortable, the collaboration will be smoother for both of our teams. Supposed to was supposed to help boost our efficiency. That was the plan anyways. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm so fine. I'm so fine. Are you sure? Just make sure you're not pushing yourself too much. I know you can handle everything on your own, but you tend to keep things bottled up. It's okay to reach out sometimes. Thank you. I'll be sure to remember that. I'll try not to cause too much trouble for you and the others he got. That's not really what I meant. Did you say something? いいえ。部長にもたまには弱音を吐いたり、甘えられるような相手がいてくれたらいいんじゃないかと思っただけです。Two times I didn't roast Saitomo. <laughs> What were the two? I don't recall there ever being a time. 
it's nothing, but you know, it's not a bad thing to find someone you can confide in every once in a while, that's all. When he said that, I immediately thought of Amasawa's face. What is that? What do you mean by that? I have plenty of support in this department. If you say so. <laughs> I guess it's difficult to talk about private matters with someone. Eh? Oh. Yeah. Nothing, nothing at all. Second Banashi was a little bit of 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 As I listened to Higa's report, my mind started to go back to what he said earlier. When everyone was partying, and when he said, I didn't know you're gonna work with us, or something like that, I didn't say anything mean to him. <laughs> oh, I see. So when he finally showed up to the irregular thing, and when I'm surprised you didn't get him when he was partying, he's all like, I don't have everybody's numbers. Why does she have someone else's numbers? I should have somebody else's numbers too. I thought that would be your moment, honestly. Find someone you can confide in or complain to. Why did you say that to me? I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know Only because I was watching like a Dragon 8 stream. The true finale is tomorrow. Why did I think of Amasawa? Do I find her. Authenticity, comforting? Or perhaps. I couldn't formulate my thoughts past that point. But I knew I was already looking forward to seeing Amasawa at work tomorrow. <laughs> Hang on. I want to be nice to love interest, but I hate, but I can't. <laughs> Just like, it's a no for me, dog. Friday finally arrived. Let's see what snacks she got me. What snacks did she get me? It's a sandwich and fries. Not fries. It's tater tots. She would never get me fries. From Sonic, specifically. She knows me better than that. There's barbecue in here. What the heck? Honey barbecue. Whoa. All right, I was in the reception room at Tempesty, Tempesty with director Kobasa, Kobas even, and keep adding an A to the end of his name. That's not there. Please allow me to introduce you. This, this man works at the Kusil headquarters. A large global tech company that specializes in internet relation related products and services. I can't wait until you play Charade Maniacs just because there's one love interest that I hate so much. I want to roast him so much. What's his name? What's he look like? Let's see. Like, this is the one I'm excited for in Charade Maniacs. Can I even get that in focus? Can I do it? That's the one. That one with the long, long hair. Look him on the front. He looks like, he looks like a... Can I do it? Can I do it? Can I... 
Lurie. He's right here, though. He's here. Banjo Tomos. <laughs> I mean, Trash. His name is Trash. My boy. My love. Yes. What color's Banjo? Banjo? Am I going to picture Banjo Kazooie the whole time? But that's what I liked the most was the long haired, uh, silver haired boy. There's also the other guy. Uh, there's another one, actually. Why I pointed to is my love. Well, that's the one I think I'm gonna like the most. There's also this little emo boy with purple blue hair. He looks he looks like a sad boy. There's a sad boy right here. He's got blue hair. He's like focusing. Focus on the blue haired boy and not my camera light. He's next to him on the back of the box. He's right here. Ban just got black short hair. He is 12 years old. The blue haired boy. Ah! Never mind. <laughs> I don't like him anymore. I've changed my mind. How old is your character? Is she friggin' 13? That's what's happening. Oh, wait, did I read that? Large global tech company that specializes in internet related products and services. 16? She's 16? She should not date a 12 year old. I think that way for both of those ages. No, 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 no. Hajime Maste. Honjitsuwa Yoroshiko Onegaishimas. I open up, yes. I thought he was 14, but someone said he's actually 12. That's disturbing. What the heck? Why? Why would they do that? 14, I can... I can... Make sure I make this clear. If the main love interest is a 16 year old, I don't think she should date a 12 year old. Let me phrase this right. I'm not saying for me, as I am an adult woman, and I am not meaning me when I say this, 14 would be fine for a 16 year old, but a 12 year old, totally different games. They're playing totally different games. all about traitors, but the YouTuber thinks he might not be 12, but an alien. Well, if he's an alien, that's fine. Wait, is that possible? Now I'm confused. We'll see. We'll see what assumptions we get. I don't know when I'm going to play Shrade Maniacs, though, because we have Tengoku Struggle next month. In my brain, it's already March, by the way. Ancient aliens. Yes, maybe. Maybe ancient aliens. Maybe just frog people. What if he's a frog person? Wouldn't that be great? Wouldn't he be beautiful as a frog person? Hear me out. I'm disturbed. I think you told me that he was 12 before and I had a similar reaction. But at a glance, he's cute. Straight Maniacs only has one ending. Is it only good? Only a good ending? There's no bad ending. I'm pleased to make your acquaintance. It's very nice to meet you. Okay, Maniacs, it's gonna be intense. 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 It's just a character made up? What? What part of- I don't read the descriptions of these games, I just buy them. Have we just learned right now? I'm sorry, I'm like, it's all made up? What do you mean? With a name like Charade Maniacs? Everyone must act out dramas for a chance to escape, all while avoiding the trapping of a traitor. 
Buta, writer of Psychedelsia of the Black Butterfly, and Tieta, illustrator of Nord 9, team up to bring you a cast of romance and mystery. The purple haired one's non binary? Say less. Oh, that's gonna be the one. It was actually this funny TikTok. I don't know how it knows to find me, um, but it was like. Uh, transgender boys, and then it's like, and then it's like shows. It's just like he's like, like this, and then it's all like, and then it's like, pansexual girls, and then like they shake hands, and I'm like, ah, makes sense, makes sense. Pleased to meet you too. You seem to be acclimating well. Me? Do you think so? Do you really think so, Anku? Nihongo wa rokuro ya rokuro no kazoku kara. I owe it all to Rokuro and his family. They were excellent teachers. いえいえ、手ほどきなんて大層なことは彼の努力の賜物です。It's also like a corporate smile. It's like a little sly smile. It's just in the corner of his lips. Also, look at his pose. This is a Yoji moment. Let's just celebrate the Yoji for just a second. His tie confusing the hell out of me. It looks like it's been cut off. But his belt looks like a sword. I want him now. I need to calm down. That's why I save them for last, because otherwise I do the, my favorites first, and then I'm like, now what? It's all thanks to your hard work. This man was an executive at a major foreign IT forum, and for that reason, the director, Kobas, and I were meeting with him. Two days ago, I'm like preparing one bite at a time, I was working at Estero when I... Estereo, not Estero. That's a, that's a, that's a not, no. When I received an unexpected call from Yoshioka, Yoshioka, please try your best to steal my heart. Don't let me down. <laughs> I rushed to the break room to answer. Woohoo! <laughs> Hey, Amasawa, I'm sorry for calling you so suddenly. May I have a little bit of your time? Oh. Thank goodness, this is the only time I have to talk today. Trying to eat and not have to pause to eat, but as for now, he's okay. He's cute, but that's that is all. Do something to still my heart. He's not just cute though. He is cute. He's also considerate. He's considerate of her feelings, which is really nice. Some guys, not very considerate. <laughs> An executive from a foreign company who happens to be a close family friend unexpectedly arrived in Japan yesterday. You mentioned wanting to meet this Friday, so I'm afraid we may need to reschedule our dinner date. I said it was okay with him. He couldn't exactly turn down an important business client. Thank you, I knew you would understand. He turned me down, bro. Sort of. Yoroskereba, Sono Kaigoni, Kimimo Doseki Starado I won't lie, this phone interface looks really uh cheesy. <laughs> Actually, I was hoping you might be able to attend this meeting as well. I wasn't prepared for the invitation, and he quickly filled the silence. 
キュレーションアプリに興味があるようなんです。He's Japanese curation apps. エスタリオの仕事にもつなげられるかもしれません。I thought it might be a good opportunity for Estadio. When he mentioned the other company's name, anxiety pulsed through me. Normally, a person like me wouldn't be meeting someone so high. もちろん私も同席しますが、もし一人で気遅れするようなら、小林さんもお呼びしたらいかがでしょうか。わかりました。それでは後で私の方からメールを送らせていただきます。Perfect. I'll email you the details as soon as I can. As I thanked him, I thought I could hear a smile in his voice. ごめんね。本当なら二人で楽しくご飯に行くはずだったのに。Sorry for the schedule change. We're supposed to enjoy a nice dinner together. See, he's apologetic. He called. The way his tone softened caught me by surprise, making my heart skip a beat. It sounded like he was truly regretful, and the thought made me blush. Ah, to, so, 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 go now. I have to go now. Apologies for calling you during your work hours. I'll see you later. Later, Director Kobas and the President of Asterio, Aster, Estarios spent considerable time reviewing the meeting details. They didn't want to squander the invitation, so they agreed that I should participate in the meeting. Kobas is in love with me. He's in pre love with me, to be exact. Tell us what chapter we're on, too. This has been a very long episode. <laughs> Co op boss, I understand that you plan and manage Japanese news applications. May I hear a bit about that? Yes. <laughs> Husband, I love hearing his voice. Like, I don't have to look. I'm like, oh man. I'll marry him no matter what. He can, he's the only exception to the crazy psycho rule. He could try to murder my character, and I'd be like, it's okay. In fact, he does murder my character. In Verche, he does. He does. <laughs> oh no. Let me try saving. Maybe I am on episode two. I haven't saved since it said, hey, we have a cutscene. You saw this right? Did I do this wrong? Okay, yeah, round two. I brought some documents with me, so I'll walk through, walk through them with you. The director began explaining the technology utilized in Estero. Although we didn't have much time, Director Kobas carefully prepared it and all went smoothly. I have the hiccups now. <laughs> I assisted him by presenting the simplified data sets when necessary. However, along the way, the man seemed puzzled by something. Hobby? Um, hobby? I wanted to ask what this word meant in Japanese. It's a、um, hobby? The Japanese word could mean hobby, but in this case it was more nuanced. So, uh. Well. Director Kobas and I struggled to think of a similar word for it in English. ここでの意味は Crant this. About a niche, something like quaint. Naruhodo. 
ありがとうございます、ロクロ。I see. Thank you very much, ロクロ。中には専門的な用語もありますし、どれだけ日本語が堪能でも難しい部分はあるでしょうから。There are some industry specific terms here that even native speakers might not be familiar with. Consider me your interpreter for the day. We continue with the presentation aided by Yoshi Noka's prolif- proficient English skills. Having a front seat to Yoshi Oka's fluency in English only deepened my respect for him and made me. More excited to be alone with him again. I assume. I assume because she doesn't speak for herself. Once the meeting concluded, Director Kobas headed back to Astario to report on the day's proceedings. Although I offered my assistance, he declined, assuring me he could handle it alone, and I was left alone with Yoshi Oka. Now I'm just jealous of him. <laughs> Why? Because he can speak two languages, barely, maybe. He knows words. Great work today. We finished earlier than anticipated. I can speak English, but I can't say words. Honestly, that's how I feel all the time. And I speak English, and I can say words. <laughs> Do you have plans after this by any chance? <sighs> I shook my head. I left my Friday evening open due to our previous dinner plans. I bet he can say snow. <sighs> Why are you trying to trick e r me? So, I'm going to say, 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 ずっと楽しみにしていたから延期するのも嫌だなと思っていたんだ。Wonderful. I've been looking forward to it, so I didn't want to postpone it any longer. Despite being a grown man, Yoshioka was sometimes as openly expressive as a child. His face lit up with obvious joy when I agreed to have dinner with him. I triggered myself and you, sorry. I have to. <laughs> Asia, you wrong for that. <laughs> It's like flashbacks of Winter Wish and saying snow over and over again until I say it wrong. Oh, God. Let's see what's open at this hour. Let's get some ramen, bro. Or some hot dogs. I don't know what's open. <gasps> Have you been to this bar before? This is a bar? I nodded and handed Yoshioka the menu. I'm the one that's been here before, not him. Okay. I suggested that we eat at a more casual location after the nerve wracking meeting. Was it nerve wracking? Hey, menu got in the <gasps> so many choices are here. The food was fairly cheap. So I wasn't sure whether Yoshioka would enjoy it, but he seemed delighted by the menu. Ah, gome. Koyu omise wa shigoto no tsukiai de tama ni kuru kurai dakara. There were so much words, I thought I'd have a time to eat a big bite, my bad. I don't often get a chance to eat at bars unless my colleagues invite me out. Menu mo, mawari no hito ni makaseru koto ga wo katta kara, nanda ka kyomi bukakute. Usually others take care of the ordering, so this is exciting for me. How about I order for you then? Bets no mise no hoka yo katta ka? Zen zen son na koto nai yo. Shinsen de tanoshi na te o m o t e i r t o k o r You're worried I prefer to go somewhere else? Not at all. This is a great change of pace. Like right here. This could have her say, I'm sorry, I thought you'd prefer somewhere else. And he could say, Not at all. This is a great change of pace. Yo, 
Yoshioka smiled innocently. His warm assurance left me no doubt that he was happy to be here. Kono ama ebi no karaage tanonde miyo kana. Ebi suki nanda yo ne. Wanna try this fried sweet shrimp? Do you like shrimp as well? Kimi no osusume wa aru? Is there any. First off, any other recommendations? What did I recommend? Suggested a few dishes, including the rolled omelet. Nom 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 nom. Our food and drinks arrived shortly after we ordered them. So conscious that I'm wearing white right now. And she brought me tater tots that have barbecue sauce on top of them, so I'm like. One mistake, and I have to take a five minute break to change my clothes. Well, then, a toast to our efforts at the meeting. Cheers. <sighs> I heard tater tots. That's what I'm eating. From Sonic, I have tater tots. Nothing tastes better than a drink after work. I'm on edge all day today. I got some tater tots. I might eat them later. Dude, you have to put cheese on them. And that makes it better. This is like a new thing from uh from Sonic. It's shredded pork. <laughs> Sonic, y'all took my idea. I'd already said Sonic. My my sister asked me if I wanted snackies, and I said from Sonic, please. And then you mentioned Sonic too. I just I put the brain the thought in your brain already. I was already getting Sonic. I got it. Wrong hand, wrong hand. Watch me tilt this and drop it. There we go. I got a bag of tater tots. I got it from Brokers. That's the jam. <laughs> he said that, yet he kept his composure and smiled the whole day. I asked him if he had actually been nervous about meeting with a foreign. ケロ。家族ぐるみの進行があると言っても、俺自身は彼と一緒に仕事をした経験がないからね。I hand on my chest makes me think he's about to give a deep motivational switch. I don't know if this is intentional, but when he stands like this, it almost looks like he's holding his necklace. So I don't know if they did that intentionally, but that's the vibe I get. Our families are close, but this is my first time working with them. Oh, I thought he was holding it. See, that's what it looks like, right? I was worried that I might act too casual and offend him. Why is his eyes closed? Because he's having a tender thought. He's like, I can't read my eyes closed. Not to mention that I invited both you and Kobas to join us. I wanted to help you both look good, but I was afraid that I might ruin his impression of you too. そんなそぶりわからなかった。それなら俺のポーカーフェイスも捨てたものじゃないね。You really couldn't tell I was nervous. Perhaps my poker face is better than I thought. Ooh, he's winking. Yoshioka took another sip of his drink. His drink was already half gone. I raised a brow, wondering about his tolerance when I lowered when he lowered his mug and met my gaze. お酒はまあまあ強い方だと思うよ。君は？I can handle my liquor pretty well. How about you? Because we just read minds in this game. I responded by saying, "Uh." Now I'm I'm a person that looks on the plus side. I do not drink a lot. 
Um, but that just means that I don't have to drink as much to get drunk. Nori is the best in character design. He's so cute. I like his big eyes. I like his big eyes. I like his like bohemian kind of look as well. But then it turns out he is a bohemian. He lives on the streets of or whoever's house he can stay at. And uh, I guess I should have saw it coming. I enjoy alcohol, but I was a notorious lightweight. Oh, you know, I should have a little bit of 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 a little You to make yourself sick. It's just us, so we can drink in moderation. Nori gives Kimiwa pet vibes. It's basically a working older girl who takes care of a younger man. I watched the live action of that if I think it's the right thing. I think it's called You're My Pet. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on. I think it's a K drama. The, the, the live action movie for that. I think I've read the original too. Yes, yes. Japanese first. Yes, it was a uh, Japanese ma manga called Kimiwa Pet and then they made a Korean movie and it was called You Are My Pet. And that's what I remember watching. <laughs> Which honestly, you know what? If they want to turn that into a an Otomi character, I'll take it. I will take it. I wouldn't want you to make yourself sick. It's just us. We can drink in moderation. It was a relief that there was no pressure. Yoshioka's consideration of others was definitely one of the, his best features. But how long are we going to drink? Conversation flowed between us as we shared the food we ordered. I eventually asked about his family. Since the executive we met was a family friend of his, I was interested in how to know hear more about them. Orno Kazoku. So dana. Well Haha wa Odayaka Kamone. Chichiwa Kazoku ya Kaisha o Daiji ni stay rukedo kibishi hitodaya. My mother tends to be more reserved. My father's the one who manages both the family and the company. He's quite strict. At least he was with me. When I was in school, my father was a bit more difficult. I Okay, so he's got some resentment here. I can hear it. Is this where he met me? When he was staying with his cousin or his uncle? When I was in grade school, my younger brother got very sick, so I was sent to live with my uncle over the summer. My uncle was sent to live with my uncle over the summer. I was sent to live with my uncle over the summer. I was sent to live with my uncle over the summer. My father never said anything to me, but I assume I would have been too much of a burden when my brother needed them. I don't think I would have been able to say it, but I don't think I would have been able to explain it to him. Perhaps he thought he didn't need to explain, or maybe he was just too stressed to discuss it. But I still have a lot of fun for a young person. But for a child, it was terribly lonely. 
このまま家に呼び戻されなかったらどうしようなんて不安に思ったりしたよ I was afraid I might never return home. I would have felt the same. Being separated from my family would be enough to devastate any child. ただ、おじは優しかったし、ひと夏の友達もできた。It was me. He made friends with me as a child. You heard it here first. But my uncle was kind and I managed to make some new friends that summer. I noticed Yoshioka's voice softened as he thought back on those days. 親と離れ離れの寂しさや弟が心配な気持ちそういうので塞ぎがちだった俺を彼女は熱心に慰めてくれたんだ That girl he mentioned earlier, it was me. <laughs> I was overwhelmed with loneliness and anxiety, but that girl I mentioned helped me through those feelings. 彼女がそばにいてくれたからあの夏を楽しく過ごせたのかもしれないな。She was the only reason I was able to enjoy that summer. It was all because she was there by my side. What was her name? <laughs> Yoshioka treasured those memories dearly. It was a tell of a summer love that bloomed and flew away with the seasons. It was difficult to say goodbye to her. I was sure that girl felt the same way he did. He looks so sad. Is he crying? Yoshi Oka's first love. I found myself wondering what she might be doing now. 彼女の居場所は俺も探したんだ。もう一度会おうって約束していたから。I promised we'd meet again. I tried desperately to find her. でも引っ越してしまったみたいで、行方は分からずじまいだ。どこにいるかはわからないけれど、幸せに暮らしていることを願うよ。I just wish her all the best wherever she is. Something about his longing expression lit a spark of envy in me. もし今になって再会できたとしたら、それこそ運命だと思うけど。So what you're saying is this is fate. If we were to meet again now, I suppose that would be fate. そういえば。君は運命ってあると思う Curious, Amasawa, do you believe in fate? I pause before responding. Yeah, why not? I can respond with like deers in the headlight look. <laughs> with a smile, I said that I did. I love the idea that people could be bound together by some invisible force. I call it the red string theory. So, you do believe in it. Yoshioka flashed me a small smile. Perhaps it was the alcohol, but seeing him in such a vulnerable state made my heart flutter. What do you mean, a vulnerable state? Yes, I believe in fate. Instance, the chance of meeting you among countless others could be seen as a miracle, don't you think? It's true. I also believe in coincidences. I also think sometimes people get too caught up in the idea of fate. I do like the idea of the red string theory, but I also believe that some people get hung up on love because you can fall in love. And it can be a magical thing, and that could be the only time you ever fall in love. And that's great, and that's wonderful, and I'm proud of you. 
But there is such a thing as, as falling in love more than one time. And it doesn't devalue your previous love. It doesn't make the new love more important because it's new. So be mindful. <laughs> Just be mindful. We, as we converse, we continued ordering more food, including desserts. Time flew. Wow, how much food can you guys eat? Come on. Gochisoo-sama that was delightful. I've never had salted ice cream before, nor have I. It was both savory and refreshing. Yoshioka spotted a limited edition ice cream flavor on the dessert menu. I played Intertwine. It was about the fate and red string. It was so good. Ooh. I need to Google that now. I don't think I played that one. I love the red string theory. There is a few stories where I've seen them like include it really nicely. Salted caramel ice cream. I've had that, but I've never had just salted. I see it. Ichio. I got your hold for one second. I just found it. I did it. I did it myself. Okay, the boy's really cute in this. What the heck? Got a neck tattoo. That's cool. Here, I can share this for just a second. See, look at that. Look at the little red straight. Well, it's not red in this, but it's supposed to be red. <laughs> an anime that talked about it a lot also the symbol between intertwine you have to click on it for different lives with van it is so creative oh interesting Twenty-five thousand words two to three hours of gameplay 60 cheese all right i guess i could play it sometime Man is a love interest. I understood. I do apologize. <laughs> it's one love interest with 60 Gs and about six hours of gameplay. And Van is short for Vanessa or Vanny or uh, Vanson for Earth Vanson. Yoshioka spotted a limited edition ice cream flavor on the dessert menu. He considered ordering vanilla, like he said he usually did, but decided to take a chance on something new. Like with me! It turned out to be a great choice. The combination of salty and sweet was delicate. Thank you for introducing... I'll introduce you to a restaurant I frequent next time. <laughs> Apprehension bloomed in my chest. It was somewhere he went so too often. He would be, it would be formal and expensive. Are you not fond of formal restaurants? No, boy, I'm broke. It wasn't that I disliked formal settings, I just had no experience with them, and I struggled to maintain image imagine myself there. Since we'd been open with each other the whole night, I felt comfortable expressing my concern to Yoshioka. Well then, uh, that's all the more reason to take you. そう、すごいところでもないとわかると思うし。Hmm. 
Intertwine was part of the Otomi Jam 2023, but this year the dev decided to add more to the game. The update was in last month. Okay. <laughs> so what you're saying is... It's even better. Okay. Um... Oh wait, is this free? Name your price, okay. Once you try it, you'll see there's nothing to be worried about. Worried about table etiquettes, I'll be happy to teach you when we go. Being trained in table manners sounded embarrassing, but maybe it shouldn't be so bad if it was with Yoshioka. It was a kind offer, so I said that I would love to go when we had a chance. Yoshioka nodded with a smile. <laughs> If it weren't for all the drinks, I would have loved to drive you home. Why don't we walk to the station? Perhaps it'll help us both sober up. I should be more sober than you. I already said I'm a lightweight. I agreed we'd be on walking through the town together. I just put it in the door scourge. You're welcome. I'm gonna like this. <laughs> I agreed, and we began walking through this town together. The cool night breeze was soothing against my flushed cheeks. Oh, this road, could it be? Does he remember? Is it me? Am I right? I'm your first love and your new love, bro. Oh, sorry. It's one of my favorite visual novels. I even told the dev and they were so happy. Aww. My apologies. Do you remember the girl I told you about? The one I met during my summer vacation? The one I was just talking about five minutes ago? Oh, I remember that place. A park nearby that reminds me of where I used to play with her. When you say when you returned home, what do you mean? After I returned home, I'd go, I'd go to that park whenever I felt lonely and think about the memories I made with her. Since we were close to it, I suggested that we swing by the park on our way to the station. It's not like it's creepy for two adults to go to a park together. Thank you. I'd like that. Ichio's got the game jams. There's a vampire one. Another one where old love. Older love interest, another game. Jam, you have to create a game just in four days. The thing is, I'm not talented enough to draw, but I can make a story. So I could do a story, but I don't I couldn't animate it. It'd be stick figures, it would be hilarious. Just picture little stick figures going on dates, it'd be great. After breaking away from the bustling downtown area, we arrived at the park. An old feeling struck me despite it being my first time here. Something about this place felt familiar. It's not blurry anymore. Oh, 
老朽化で取り替えられてしまった遊具もあるみたいだけど懐かしいな。Promise me you'll live, visual novel. It was created in just four days. I know all the devs. I, I don't even know how you would break that down in four days. Like, would day one be con- conceptualizing? How do you draw? Promise me you'll live. Like one hour. I don't care if it's one hour. Do you know how hard it is to make things? <laughs> like, how does someone draw all this in four days? And <laughs> is it me? Am I the problem with all my unwritten stories that I have the concepts for? Oh my God. No, it's too much. I'm spiraling now. You did. <laughs> it looks like someone. Some of the playground equipment has been replaced, but it's still the same. I'm a s a w a Is t h e m e t h i n g wrong? You seem a bit out of it. It's just that this all looks so familiar. Like I was here once when I was a child. Are you feeling nostalgic as well? I explained that usually playgrounds all look the same to me, but this one brought me back to a play park I played at when I was at a time. As a kid, a nostalgic felt like a warm embrace. So, Nanda. Demo, so no kimochi, yoku wa karna. I see, I feel exactly the same. Oremo saikin wa zenzen kuruko to a nakata kedo. Yapari koyate kite mirito. Iroiro na koto o moidas yo. Bites left, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> I haven't visited this place in years, but now that I'm here, it brings back so many memories. I nodded, and then a memory of my own came back to me. I was waiting at the park for my friends like I always did. There, I noticed a boy sitting alone on a swing. He was a little older than me, but he wasn't from the neighborhood. He wasn't even swinging. He just stared at the ground dejectedly, worried I heard over to talk to him. <sighs> the boy looked at me surprised. He had a pretty face, and his beautiful eyes shone with unfallen tears. He wiped his eyes hastily and with his sleeve of his expensive looking shirt and sniffled as if trying to hide that he was crying. I asked if he was hurt. I'm fine. It doesn't hurt anywhere. The boy managed to grin. But I could tell he was just pretending. I asked if he was sure and he hesitated. My brother's in the hospital. I hope MC tells him about the boy so they can be kept two and two together. They'll never do that. It's too early. We're only in chapter two of six. If she doesn't literally put two and two together with this sentence alone, it's crazy. My dad's busy at work, and my mom is always at the hospital with my brother. Right now, so I'm staying at my uncle's house. This route would be shorter if she just uses her mouth. <laughs> my brother is fighting so hard, I don't want him to worry about it. I have to live up to my mom and dad's expectations. I have to live up to my mom and dad's expectations. 
泣いて困らせたりなんかしないでしょ Boys don't cry,、so、だから。I was just a kid, but I understood why this boy hid away at the park. All I wanted, to, all I wanted was to make him smile. So I invited him to play with me. Um, I'm fine. What Sure, what do you want to play? o h i m e s a m a g o k k o I'm fine. 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 それなら僕はえ王子様、Does that make me the prince? すぐ泣くような僕が王子様でいいの But I was crying. Do you, are you sure I can be the prince? I nodded enthusiastically to him. I told him that if something bad happened, it's okay to cry even if you're a prince. I struggled to express my perspective, but I did my best. Arigato. Thanks. A smile finally reached his eyes, so perhaps I got through to him. At the time, I was too young to fully understand my feelings, but I think that boy might have been my first love. It was strange that I forgot all about it before as I looked up at Yoshioka standing beside me. I couldn't shake the feeling that he. He resembled the boy from my childhood. Are you for real? He told you about his brother being in a hospital and saying he had to stay with his uncle. Are you for real? Oh my god. Say it. Say you want to play princess. Anyways, what kind of game do you like playing at the park? Say princess game. Princess, what kind of game is that? I explained how I'd played Princess with a boy at the park. It was only one summer, but we played together every day. As the days passed, the boy's smile grew brighter and brighter, which made me burst with joy. Yoshioka fell silent. Perhaps I bored him by talking about my childhood for too long. Uh, probably not, because it sounds like I have a little bit of amnesia if I'm being real. Amasawa, do you remember the promise? その男の子と別れ際にした約束 The promise you made to that little boy? I don't know, that I'd grow up big and strong and eat all my vegetables? Maybe. 弟の手術が終わって今日家に帰ることになったんだ。だから、お別れを言いに来たんだけど。Finish my food. Okay. My little brother is coming home from the hospital, so I'm going home today. I came to say goodbye. な、泣かないで。ああ、困ったな。Don't cry. It's okay. He wiped my tears and patted my back comfortingly. Not gonna lie, I wish I had childhood friends, but I changed my mind thanks to Tomos from Charade Maniacs. I have childhood friends. But I'm not sure about that. But it might change your mind if for love or pretend, because that's another childhood friend who assumed that because I was his friend,、um, he gets first claim, which is not how that works. It's not okay. <laughs> It's not right. You either are a friend or you're someone who just wants to date her. Those are the two different things. Being someone's friend does not mean you get a chance to date said person. Just, just put that out there. And I don't like that trope in anything. As the, the saying goes, it just acerbates the situation. I was scared I could never go home, even though I really wanted to. I was scared I could never go home, even though I really wanted to. I was scared I could never go home, even though I really wanted to. I was scared I could never go home, even though I really wanted to. I was scared I could never go home, even though I really wanted to. 
Cover from our life makes me wish I had childhood friends before I knew that about charade maniacs. Cove? Oh god. <laughs> I'm so sorry that charade maniacs tortured you so much. The boy held out his pinky finger and I wrapped mine around him. You were telling me it's okay to cry even for a prince. I was able to have fun here because of you. That's why when I grow up, I'm gonna come look for you. Or imagine this. What if we just became pen pals? We could write each other. You could give me your address. I could give you my address. We could write a letter once a week, once a month, once a decade. Um, and then we just know who each other is. In our life beginning and always cove, it's the best love interest ever, childhood friend to lover. It can be done right. It's just when you make the person needy. Or like, you needed to pick me. Like, you should have picked me. Why are you picking everybody but me? That's the one I don't like. I would say a great example of it being the opposite um, in Paradigm Paradox, the pink-haired guy that I'm in love with whose name just escapes me. Um, technically, he was always supportive of her no matter what she did, even if she didn't end up with him in any of the other routes. So. Tomas from Charade Maniacs. Be dat. <laughs> Same for Lover Pretend. He was that guy. I'm gonna come look for you. Hime. Can I see your smile again, Hime? At that moment, I tried to give him my best smile. Salty tears dripped into my mouth, and the boy kissed my forehead gently. That's right. I waited every day for him to come back. I was too young to fully understand what goodbye meant. No matter how long I waited, the boy never came back. I moved on eventually and forgot how devastated I'd been. But how did Yoshioka know about that promise? I asked him immediately because I suck at basic deduction skills. It's me. It's me, Golden Freddy. He's like, you only need me. And he was overbearing. And he kissed MC during the drama, but MC didn't enjoy it. Like, dude, you made her uncomfortable. Ugh. Well, we'll find out when I get there. Golden Freddy, I died. Uh, I didn't even watch his route. He was too annoying. Well, we're gonna find him when I get to Shreed Maniacs in the blood years. I'm the boy you made that promise with. Listen to this song, what a jam. I gasped and stared at Yoshioka wide-eyed. The moment our eyes met, he pulled me in and embraced me tightly in one smooth motion. I wanted, I wanted to see you again so badly. It's a great song told me it was okay to cry. I didn't know I was hearing this game, the game from the song for the music. Oh, the music from the game. Yeah, now this is a jam. It's an actual lyric-based song. You knew I was hurting, and you accepted me in spite of it. Because of you, I was able to get through my loneliness. I took too long? Okay. <laughs> then I realized that I was the girl who was Yoshioka's first love. I was jealous of myself. Wait, how old were they? I missed it. Um. Did they actually say how old it what he was? I think he said when he was in fifth grade. Is that what he said? See how far back we can get. No. It's 
too late, we'll never know. Not gonna lie, I don't like the music during this moment. It doesn't feel right. Probably just me. I mean, it's a jam. Definitely gonna have like some copyright note on my, my channel. <laughs> he kept me in his heart and mine felt like it was about to burst out of his chest, out of my chest and he held me so closely and gentle. It feels more like the ending song once you finish a route. Honestly, what it reminds me of, because this keeps reminding me of a K-drama, this is the moment before the the end of the episode. So it's that music that goes, <gasps> remember me? And then it's just this music starts playing. And then all the ads. <laughs> That's what this is. I want to be your princess. Nope, I want to be your prince, not princess. The music's good, but it should be at the end of the route. Maybe it is, and I'm taking it. After we parted, that feeling never changed. I strive to be the person you saw in me. You think I'm perfect? Has this prince done well? Yoshioka pulled away slightly, his eyes shimmering with anticipation. Are we at the end? Not if, only if there's two chapters. No, I don't think so. I nearly felt dizzy and I managed a small nod. A dazzling smile graced, graced his light red cheeks. She's 23 and he's 28. <sighs> So maybe he was 10 and she was 5. That still seems weird, but... Thank goodness. He was like 18 at this park. Looking at a 13-year-old. With the same beautiful smile I felt in love with as a child. But was he a child too? Just curious. Huh? Amasawa, hello, could you please check these documents? Hearing somebody call my name jolted me from my daydream. And that never happened, that was all just a daydream. <laughs> yeah, he was a child. Nah, he was, he was 18 and she was 13. I was doing my weekly work at Tess. Tempesty, but my mind was elsewhere. Could you please sign here? An employee from the General Affairs Department handed me some paperwork. Hi, okay, this. Great, thank you. I just signed my life away. They smiled at me before waking their exit. With that taken care of, my mind drifted back to Yoshioka. We discovered that we were not only friends as children, but we were also each other's first loves. I was overwhelmed with embarrassment at first, but we still walked to the station together before parties. Yoshioka apologized to me on ring for hugging me so suddenly and then invited me out for dinner again. Of course, I couldn't refuse, but I also wondered what our relationship would be like moving forward. Lost in that, these thoughts, it was difficult to concentrate on my work no matter how much I wanted to. There was actually something I wanted to ask you. The employee who left earlier returned to my desk. Is it true you're dating director Yoshioka? The question asked with an innocent smile nearly made me choke. I quickly denied it. Thank goodness, because Yoshioka is mine. What are you talking about? 
Just as the employee was about to say something, Yoshioka appeared. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? We're having a conversation. Hello, director. I heard a rumor that you and Amasawa were dating, so I was curious to know the truth. Girls, sit your butt down. You don't know. Maybe she she's engaged. I was shocked that they could speak so candid with Yoshioka. If he is dating someone, he can date if he wants to. But she just said Yoshioka is dot dot dot. What is he? Married? Maybe that's why he doesn't have a girlfriend, because he's already married. <laughs> Where did you hear that? On Friday night, someone said they saw you two strolling together. Yes, we went out for drinks on Friday. None of y'all business. Y'all stay out of my business. We had, a, we had a meeting with Kobas from Astario that ran into the evening. This game's gonna drive me crazy. その後、遅い時間だったので、一緒に食事をとるという話になりました。since it was quite late, we decided to have dinner afterwards. So it was just a casual meal on your way back from a work function. I nodded and confirmed Yoshioka's story. Of course, neither of us mentioned what happened at the park or on our way home. Or that we're planning to do it again. Amasawa may be working at our office, but she remains an employee of Estadio. Estadio san wa uchi to nagai aida sougo fujo no kankei ni aru taisetsu na torihiki saki. If a girl and a guy walk together doesn't mean they're dating, and if a girl and a girl walk together doesn't mean they're just friends. Just for the record. <laughs> Estadio is a valuable business partner with whom we hope to foster a long-term relationship. Building a strong relationship between our companies will benefit our work, wouldn't you agree? So remember that she's a member of an external team and act accordingly. He's basically saying get in line. Do not overstep boundaries by asking personal questions irrelevant to work. Yes, I understand. I'm sorry. Doesn't she sound like one of the fairies from Cafe Enchanté? Bowing her head, the general affairs employee walked away. Amasawa, allow me to apologize on behalf of my staff. I assured Yoshioka that an apology wasn't necessary. Thank you. If such an incident happens again, please inform me right away. With that said, Yoshioka left the room. Once he was gone, other Tempesty employees that I ha was acquainted with approached me. Yoshioka-san was a good person. Now, I'm not a person who is a person who is a person who is a Yoshioka knew what he was doing. His message wasn't for that employee. It was for everyone else, too. Nothing that they mentioned. Now that they mentioned it, Yoshioka even slightly raised his voice when he reprimanded that employee. It seems that he intended for everyone in the room to hear what he said. Her voice reminds me from Apothecary Diary anime. <gasps> I haven't had a chance to start watching it yet. It's on my list. It looks so cute. 
Rumors about you two were starting to circulate, but after that, I'm sure they'll dissipate quickly or they'll double. That was news to me. I wondered if I should be more mindful of my behavior. I'm relieved that nothing happened between you two. I was getting worried. You see, the thing is, Yoshioka is. So, I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I got the Winter's Wish first edition. <gasps> it has the character cards. Oh, wait, did you already get your Amazon order? Bird? What about my Radiant Tell? Sure, we have Amazon Prime, but it's my sister's account, so I don't know. Mm. Could we stop there by chance? We were just warned not to discuss personal matters. Is he engaged? Is he engaged? He's engaged, isn't he? He gives gentle warning, put an end to the conversation. What is up with him? Go on. It was a relief that the rumors would stop spreading, but I was desperate to know what she was going to say about Yoshioka. Although the question lingered in my mind, I refrained from asking and reforced my attention, refocused my attention to work. Married. Good work today. A stream of employees flowed out of the office building. I followed their lead. It does not want me to go to Amazon. It's literally acting like Amazon's not a real page right now. For some reason, both of them are. A stream of employees flowed. I followed their lead. You might get the character cards too. First run editions may be in stock and hasn't been sold out at other retailers. I won't be surprised if we have to deal with an arranged marriage. I can spell right now. That's what it feels like, right? That explains how this turns into six episodes. Type in these characters, okay. Gagan. The moment I stepped out into the evening cool air, I bumped into Yoshioka. I'll never know. I haven't checked the mail today, though. It is four in the afternoon, so I could. You seem to be in a hurry. Do you have plans? Characters like him always have to deal with that or quit their dreams and be leaders in a company or something. Yeah, that's true. That definitely would make sense. But like the fact that they kept cutting them off, cutting them off is see the thing is, Yoshioka is. Don't say it. Good evening. Do you have plans? He asked cordially as if he were addressing a coworker. There were eyes on us after all, but I froze and looked at him quizzically. Wasn't he attending the same thing I was? The work party with everyone at Asterio? I have that on my calendar for next week. I checked my email in a hurry and it turned out he was right. I sheepishly admitted that I mixed it up. It's better to be a week early than a week late. That sounds like we're talking about something else. 
Yoshioka laughed lightly and comforted me through my embarrassment. He was right at least. It was better that I found out sooner rather than later and ended up missing it entirely. But I hadn't been looking had been looking forward to the party, so I was left feeling disappointed. Since there's no party tonight, are you planning to head straight home? I thought about it, then told them that I'd probably go out for a drink before heading home. I mentioned stopping by Evergreen briefly. Then, to my surprise, Mind if I join you? I blinked at him. Of course, I'm no replacement for the whole Estario team, but. But I might be able to make up for some of your disappointment. Remember another love interest having to deal with arranged marriage? I hate arranged marriages so much. Unless. Gets another Atomi idea. Unless it's my arranged marriage. <laughs> and then in that story, there can be. Okay, we can do. Let's do four. We won't make it six. We'll do four. One is the arranged marriage itself. The second one is like the bodyguard that's like keeping you there because they have to keep an eye on you because you don't want to be there. Because this is more like a reverse Cinderella story. She doesn't want to be uh, married. Uh, we can have a childhood best friend. So that can be there. That can be an option. The person who doesn't know she is in fact a princess of some kind or some sort of thing. Um, and then the fourth one... I already have a bodyguard, which has a beef, biggie, buffy character. So maybe a frail character. It could be a girl. You know what? It could be like the chambermaid, like the person that attends to her that helps get her dressed every day. Childhood friends need to be needs to be a good route. Yes. Childhood friend is the one that's like, I will rescue you if you want to be rescued. And you're like, oh, sweetheart. Thank you. There we got four routes. Or we could even have a fifth route where you can marry the dad instead of the son. <laughs> and that's like the secret route. I might be able to make up for some of your disappointment. I was hesitant to accept this offer. Rumors about our relationship had only just been dispelled. Going out together could revitalize all of the speculation. The dad better be super hot. Do you know how many hot dads they have had in some of these Atomi games where I'm like, that's not a route? Love or pretend broke my heart multiple times. There was so many. God. Like better than his son. Honestly, I'm picturing, okay, I'm picturing a guy for the for the son specifically. Very buff, very, very big, but like with extremely long black hair, like looks like he could almost turn into an animal. And maybe he does. So I picture the dad being similar to that, but maybe with shorter hair, maybe even bigger. Maybe even more husky. You know what I mean? Uh, I get, I'm, not, I'm turning this into like she's a princess being sold off to a very, it's, oh my, my gosh. Is it Dothraki? Have I turned this into a Dothraki story? Anyways. <laughs> Rumors about our relationship. Picture like the Beauty and the Beast. This is where we're getting distracted. Picture like Beauty and the Beast. The prince in the story is basically a beast. You're being forced into this marriage, so it's going to have a beast aspect to it already. And he's trying to win you over, right? Because he also, he knows, like deep down, like on the outside, he's angry and mean. But on the inside, he's all like, this poor girl is being forced to be into this marriage just like me. She doesn't want to be here just like me. And so he'll be like mean, but then he'll like give her a slice of cake or something or like a new dress will be like on her bed when she gets to her room at night, stuff like that, you know, cute little things like here's a rose. And then in the best friend route, he can be the one that lets her leave the castle. And that's how you know he's actually not a bad guy because he's like, go, but if you get caught, gonna be hell <gasps> imagine anyways <laughs> all right rumor about our relationship had only just been dispelled going out together could revitalize all of the speculations 
but I wanted to spend the evening with Yoshi o- Yoshioka against my better judgment. But first, I have to submit a, a quick report, aka, I don't want to be seen walking the streets with you. How about I meet you there? It sounded like a good way to avoid being seen together, so I happily agreed. Thank you. I'll see you soon. Oh, you're such a snake in the grass, aren't you? Little sneaky snake. Shortly after I ordered my first drink and appetizer, I heard the bell ring at the entrance. Sorry to keep you waiting. He panted out the words with flushed cheeks. I'll have her whatever you recommend, Master, is what he says. Understood. I only meant to take care of the report, but I got held up by the managing director. It's been a while since I had to sprint. Is that why his cheeks were so red? I frowned, feeling a tinge of guilt, and he quickly shook his head at me. No need to worry. I rushed because I wanted to spend as much time with you as I could. His sweet words made my face burn as though I'd already had one drink too many. Somehow the way he spoke to me always made me flustered. Now then, cheers! Our drinks arrived with impeccable timing and we clinked our glasses together. By the way, I reviewed the materials you put together when I returned to the office. He was referring to the documents arranged to survey a survey we were going to conduct with a star sea. We were completely we were expecting a rush of new users when the content developed by both Tempest D and Atar- Astarsi rolled out, and we decided to include a survey to get a better understanding of those new users. As always, it's thorough and easy to understand. Thank you for that. I was surprised he'd read them already. I submitted those materials just before leaving that evening. What if we didn't even think about flipping this a different direction? What if he's actually a girl? And that's where they're like, Yoshioka is actually a girl. And, and only people who really know know. <laughs> what a plot twist. Instead of married. Let's try a, let's try an outside the box idea. We'll have a to consider the phrasing of the questions carefully. I nodded that aspect of surveys was particularly challenging to me. Detailed questions could overwhelm users, causing the response rate to drop off. Conversely, oversimplification might not yield the information we were hoping to get from the survey. I saw that survey participants will receive a digital coupon as an incentive. We still need a way to prevent them from quitting the survey halfway. Perhaps we could do a mix of multiple choice and open answer questions. We can begin the survey with simple multiple choice questions. And then we can have an open answered section to gather more detailed feedback. That structure sounded like a good way to retain users and respect their time. I apologize, we're not at work, so there's no need to continue discussing it. I told Yoshioka that I didn't mind and I was I valued that input. 
でもせっかく君と話せる機会だから、really? 仕事の話はこの辺りでやめておこう。Kind of you, you brought work up. You brought it here. 今日は俺と君が噂されていて驚いたね。あの後誰かに何か言われなかった I was quite surprised by today's rumor. Did anyone approach you about them afterwards? I shook my head. It seemed that Yoshioka reprimanded well the rumors. Yoshioka visibly relaxed. Sorry, I'm not sure. 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 I'm glad persistent rumors could easily make your time at Tempest D uncomfortable. Ma, so I'm not sure. 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 Yet here we are having drinks after all of that. My heart sank when I thought of how gossip would spread if we were to be seen alone together like this. Surely Yoshioka understood that. I asked why he would risk sparking the rumors further by inviting me out. So, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to do it. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to do it. I'm not sure if you're Is it so strange? I believe I told you on our first date that I'm attracted to you. その気持ちは今も変わらないよ。My feelings remain the same. Suddenly, Yoshioka's ringtone interrupted our conversation. ごめん、少し出るね。Apologies, I need to take this. Is it your fiance? I nodded and Yoshioka answered. はい、母さん。うん、さっき伝えたけど、夕飯はいらないよ。Hello, mom. Yes, I mentioned earlier that I wouldn't be home for dinner. え、来週の日曜日にその件は何度も怖ったよね。What? Next Sunday, I said that I'm not interested in that numerous time. そういう相手は自分で決めるから。父さんにも俺からはっきり話しておくよ。I'll choose. また。My own partner, I'll discuss it with you and dad later. Talk to you soon. Once he ended the call, Yoshioka pocketed his phone. ごめんね、話の途中で母親から夕飯の確認の電話だったんだ。Boy, that's not all she asked. You and I both know that much. Sorry about the interruption. My mom was asking if I'd be home for dinner. Curious, I asked if they still live together. I will throw a chair at his parents. うん。と言っても、俺が住んでいるのは敷地内の離れだけどね。We do, but I reside in a separate building in the same estate. 週末の夕食だけ、家族と母屋で食事をすることになっているから、顔を合わせるのはその時くらいかな。The only time I see them is when I join them for dinner at the main house on weekends. I found it surprising that Yoshioka still lived with his parents, even. Though that's fine. What? Why? I said that I envisioned him in a stylish bachelor pad. Ma, I made you do it. Soon in my mother, I was a little girl. Pretty good guess. I lived alone up until a few years ago. I was a little girl. 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 Why? I told you about my younger brother. Yes, as he moved out, my parents requested that I move back in. I want to throw a chair at his parents. I said it so many times when I read Webtoon. I'm going to say it right now. 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 I'm the heir of the company. My father likes to keep me close, or at least that's how I believe he sees it. I'm going to say it right now. I'm going to say it right now. I had no reason to decline, but it does feel restrictive at times. For real, very true. I'm just like, I. There's too many horror stories. I read them all the time. They're like, my mother in law is the worst. She did this. And my husband didn't. Like, what about、well, your husband? What did he do? And the answer is nothing. He did nothing to stop it. He didn't say a word to her. I'm like, ew. <laughs> <笑>なんだか愚痴っぽくなってごめんねこんなんじゃ君に呆れられてしまうな Sorry about my grumbling I don't want to subject you to that Have you played Parasocial from Chilia Art? It's a horror game No, but this is the people that have the Chinchilla Cafe one, right? 
There's like a couple of them. They're like a chinchilla Starbucks. Ch chilla bucks or whatever. Yep, yeah. I've seen... I've watched Markiplier. I think Iron Mouse. And maybe even Sea Dog VA play, play some of their stuff. I don't know if I did Parasocial. But personally, I haven't played it. Para social. The thing is, I have a chinchilla, so when I see their art, I'm like, it's a chinchilla, and I get so excited. A VTuber in that one? Oh, that sounds hilarious. Okay. What about it has has piqued your interest in terms of this? Sorry for my grumbling. I don't want to subject you to that. I want to tell you about Parasocial, but I won't say it. It's a spoiler about the true ending. It's okay. I'm not sure if I'm going to play it. But I've seen The Closing Shift and Night Security. I think I've even seen The Convenience Store, but I haven't seen Parasocial. Did that one come out recently? October of last year. Sorry about my grumbling. Yoshioka smiled meekly and I found myself even more drawn to him main character was dealing with a stalker. Guess what? Ah, oh, guess what? Guess who? Was it her? Was a... Oh, God. Well, it said it's a VTuber. Is it? Is it their boyfriend? Already on a route? Yeah, we got into a route about three hours in. It was pretty fast. Um, and technically, I actually got into two routes because I also accidentally opened one of the secret routes, but I didn't want to do it yet, so I went back. Yoshi, is it the parents? Wait, wait, was it their parents? I'm so lost now. I'm scared. Yoshioka smiled meekly, and I found myself even more drawn to him. Oh, so this is the first time it says work love. See what I'm saying? Complain all you want. You're not bothering me. Don't push yourself too hard. Secret, you have me curious. Um, let's see what's what's the person called. I think it's on this page. It's this one. So I, so here I was on a route, just minding my own business, and then this one is the YFY episode one. found out something do you want to know um it depends is it considered a spoiler like how spoily is it you're not bothering me it said i got a heart but it, oh oh no i don't see anything new on here it was her ex-boyfriend but his mom his uncle stranger who Willing to play as a stalker was part of it. Oh, I like it. I like it. Oh, the one that people say is the spiciest route. Is it my is it my sweet little angel uh Nori? I feel like it's gonna be Nori. I feel like it's gotta be Nori or 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 Yoji. <laughs> Spicy, you have my attention. Everyone woke up for that cutie. Come down. There was no way I'd be irritated by him if I needed somebody to listen. I was just glad he opened up to me. Thank you. You're very kind. Okay, let's double check our status. I don't know. It doesn't say anything changed. Where I saw they said it was the dude with glasses. Ooh, Anku! Anku's got the spicy route. That makes sense. I wanted to pull his tie, so that's perfect. It was an Instagram post. Alright. 
They try to set the stranger as the stalker so the ex-boyfriend can play as a hero in the MC's eyes. <gasps> That's messed up. Okay. I knew that he was going to be a spicier rat. I read a review and oh my god, he's so horny. Dude, I'm super excited about Anku's voice being horny. That's great. Yeah, just close your eyes and you get the missing spice missing missing from Birch. <laughs> just have like a picture of Anku to the side. I'm like, oh, Anku. Oh, God. Someone was like, who's the one with glasses? They said it's voiced by our sweet Anku. And then someone said, they said he is the spiciest. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. That's so beautiful. My eyes are watering. I don't, I didn't mean for that to happen. That just happened naturally. Our sweet angel. He deserves it. Hang on. I'm going to put on the BRB screen because my eyes are watering so bad right now. I'm going to blame everything for it. <laughs> It's probably the lights, honestly, since I've been on stream for a little while now. I probably should just start doing eye drops before stream. I want this right route now. Let me be patient. Oh, goodness. Someone. All right. And I was like, I must spread the gossip. I must spread the news. Be prepared. Anku. Horny. <laughs> You know what? I think he's... I don't know, actually. There's a lot of really good voice actors in this one. I was going to say, I think he's the most um, seasoned seasoned voice actor in this. I know he was the most seasoned in Verge, which explains why he was the special route in Verge, too. Dude, how horny can that guy be? I mean, he wears a suit and tie. Thank you. You're very kind. どうしてなのかな? Like this face right here he's making is like, I want to cry. This is the I want to cry face. <laughs> I wonder why I always strive to be that perfect prince in front of you. Gee, should I save Haku for dead last now? I'm so lost. Yet, I want to reveal everything to you, flaws and all, to be accepted fully by you. Yoshioka. Sorry that we talked about another man in front of you. <laughs> this is the face you should have been making the entire time we're talking about the Aku. Oh, gosh. It really looks like he has cheery eyes and how I can't unsee it. Oh. Yoshioka's fingers tips gently grazed my hand. Oh. Like keep wondering <laughs> how far your kindness can go and whether or you can whether you can embrace all of me. Perhaps that's childish. <laughs> I didn't realize I had this vexing side to me. It seems to have surf surfaced after I met you. Backed up. Yoshioka. Should I have a bowler tie? Yoshioka released my hand and playfully grin sliding across a playful grin sliding across his face. I'll take your word and complain a little bit more. その件は何度も断った。そういう相手は自分で決めるって。You heard me say that I wish to choose my own partner on the phone, didn't you? 実は両親からお見合いを勧められているんだ。The truth is my parents have been arranging blind dates for me. He's like Genjiro, closing his eyes frequently. I just remembered Wait, this one's Ganjiro? I thought I looked up this voice actor. I thought this voice actor was... No, okay. 
I was like, what voice did this guy do? I'm like picturing Jack and Jean and trying to remember who he is. Like so many were from Jack and Jean. Who is he? The truth is my parents have been arranging blind dates for me. Despite my continuous rejections, they keep persisting. What about your family? Do they ever hound you about anything? So they, there was arranging blind dates. I feel like there's more to it. How would they know? You know what I mean? I feel like there's gotta be one, like a prominent one. Did anyone ever watch the movie Starstruck? It's a terrible movie that I've watched way too many times. But in that movie, there is a girl who keeps calling herself the main main love interest's girl boyfriend the whole time. Even though anytime he talks about her, he says that's just his friend. So like, is he in a relationship that he just doesn't admit to being in? What about your family? Do they ever hound you about anything? Honestly, I don't even speak for myself, so how would I know? Our idle conversation carried late into the night. We kept the drinks coming, consumed by each other's company, and I continued sipping at my libra libation. Sounded sexy. As the clock ticked on, my collection of empty glasses grew. Why am I drinking so much? What's wrong with me? Amasawa, are you feeling all right? You've had quite a bit to drink. Said you don't hold your alcohol well, yes? You're, turn you're turning red. Why don't we take a break? He's Yoichi's voice actor. Okay, I thought so. I was like, nah, I didn't, I didn't think Genjiro was in this. The back of his hand brushed my cheek lightly, confirming my raising, rising temperature. Okay. His gentle encouragement had me nodding. Master, Bartender, can we have some water, please? Heard a mention of Jack and Jean. There's a lot of the boys in this that are in Jack and Jean. So the voice actor for Anku, he's in Jack and Jean. He plays a side character. Um, the voice actor for the the singer, the beautiful singer, the blue haired one, um, that's a voice in this. And then, uh, so I checked, there's another one. Oh, the uh, teacher, the teacher that knows that you're a girl. He's also a voice in this too. Yoshioka retracted his hand as he ordered water for me. I immediately missed the cool touch of his hand. Here you are. Thank you, monsieur. Thank you very much. Amasawa, here's some water. Please drink up. I hop. I obliged and gulped it down. The glass was chilled and the cold water tasted delicious. I knew I was a little drunk, but I didn't feel sick. It was a good kind of buzz. So, so. There you go, princess. You have to take care when you're tipsy. Being praised just for drinking water made me feel silly, and I felt an urge to, ev to earn even more compliments from him. But I was sober enough to know saying that out loud would raise eyebrows. <laughs> Praise me. <laughs> she didn't want to say it out loud. <laughs> I mustered up what little self-control I had left to swallow the whole words down. After finishing the water, my buzz started fading ever so lightly. Even so, I told Yoshioka it was probably a good idea for me to head home. I'm still a little worried about you, so please allow me to walk you to the station. Having him walk me back made me feel a little bit guilty. He left you. It's fine. The prospect of spending more time with Yoshioka filled me with delight. 
I want them to kiss and then I want her to find out what the secret was. I want, I want a little drama. We strolled out of the bar side by side and a relaxing breeze tickled my face. It's rather windy. Are you okay? The weather has been warming up, but night like nights like this still get chilly. Give me your jacket? Question <laughs> mark. I replied that the alcohol made the crisp night air perfectly refreshing. ならいいけど、もし寒く感じたら言ってね。風邪をひいたら大変だから。I hate it here for some reason. I got a headache again. I had a headache yesterday and right... Yesterday and right again. I'm sorry that Yoshioka is not on cube. You don't have to get a headache because of it. It's gonna be okay. If you start feeling cold, let me know. I don't want you to come down with anything. Hydrate yourself. <laughs> Yoshioka's concern warmed me up on its own and I was sure he'd offer his jacket without hesitation if I needed it. It's not him. Aw, hope you get better. Look, Asia, everyone cares. <laughs> However, if that led to him catching a cold, I would feel terrible. I glanced at his profile to check on him, then suddenly lost my balance. Oh, I'm like Watch out, I'm drunk. <laughs> Yoshi okay. Uh, shortly caught, caught my arm and saved me from tripping. My heel caught on a crack of the pavement and I didn't fall, but my shoe slipped free and landed a few feet away. <laughs> Thank goodness you didn't fall. Why? You could have piggyback rided me. I was leaning entirely on Yoshioka to catch my balance and our proximity sent my heart racing. I might lurk a little bit. It's okay. You can just hear me be like, oh god, in like probably an hour, who knows. I tried to pull away to retrieve my shoe, but he held me back. Or carried her like a princess, yeah, bridal style, come on. I'll get it for you, I don't want you to balance on one hill. If you leave her, she's still balancing on one hill. Stay here. It's a bit low, but why don't you have a seat over there? How low is it? How high is my skirt? Yoshioka gestured towards a small fence in front of a store. We're thinking too much, sir. Just bring me my shoe. <laughs> it might get your clothes dirty. <sighs> I have an idea here. Use my coat. You can lean on it. Your coat's probably worth more than my entire outfit, my guy. He shrugged off his coat and draped it over my shoulders. Before I could decline, he hurried off to fetch my shoe. Not wanting to cause him more trouble, I leaned as lightly as possible on the fence so his coat wouldn't get dirtier. don't know how I feel. He's gorgeous, but what's up with that shoe? After Yoshioka retrieved my shoe, he knelt down by my feet. Those are not heels. Those are Mary Janes. Those aren't even heels. What are we what are we talking about? Let's see. Good. And and it's got a latch. How did she lose that? Have you ever lost a Mary Jane that, like... We have small feet. We have really small feet. We have concerningly small feet. Like, how old is she? 23? That doesn't look like the foot of a 23-year-old. But also, I've had Mary Janes like that. Where they have, like, a latch around your ankle. And I'm going to tell you right now, if it, your foot ever comes out of the bottom, it's attached to your foot. And it is not fun. <laughs> Let's see. Good. It doesn't look like you're injured. He lifted my foot tenderly as if it were ready, already broken. And your shoe seems to be intact. 
どうぞお姫様 Where is his hand? Where is his hand cupping under my, my knee? Maybe it's a bit of a hill. Maybe max five centimeters, aka not a hill at all. It seems very stable. Allow me, princess. Look at her hair. I can see her hair better. His words were enchanting as he delicately slid my shoe back on. Baby feet. <laughs> She's got little baby feet. It looks very tiny. I think they try almost two inches. That is not two inches. 30 centimeters is 12 inches. 30 divided by two. Hang on, I gotta do math now. 30 inches. <laughs> Are we a doll? It might be why she doesn't have eyes. My feet suddenly feel huge. I feel like they do this a lot in Atomi games where they talk about how big their hands are and they talk about how much taller they are than you and how you're always having to look up. But this, yeah, that's a bit of a tiny foot. It doesn't feel right. It felt like a dream. I didn't know if it was the alcohol making me so light anymore. My foot fits in. Oh my gosh, hang on. I can do that. I can do this. Um, my foot. I would say if I lay my hand from my heel to, to. Like from my heel up, my hand almost reaches my entire foot. I don't know. Like if you flip that on his hand and the way I just. Let me. I don't even. Like. I don't know. And I don't even have man hands. Yeah, see, you don't even have the man hands. <laughs> I feel like they tried to make her foot just a little too small in this one. <laughs> Remember when I helped you with your shoes like this when we were kids? No, because we only had one flashback, and I don't have a flashback of that. There had been a time when I asked him to recreate the iconic Cinderella scene with the glass slipper. Yes, it's the same shoe! Oh my god. I would believe that in a heartbeat. God, it looks, it looks like the foot of a child. To insist that a boy kneel for me, even as part of a game, showed just how bold I used to be. What happened to me? Now I'm the pushover. After giving my ankle one last inspection, he rose to his feet and gingerly lifted his coat from my shoulders, put it back on with effortless grace, then, as if nothing happened, we resumed our walk to the station. <laughs> We used to play all sorts of games. Remember when we played Snow White? I had to play both the Queen and the Dwarves. Eh, There's no need to apologize. I never had more fun than that summer with you. I didn't apologize. I was never going to apologize. Yoshioka smiled as he reminisced. Suddenly, I was stuck with a pang of fear. What if I didn't invite, live up to that image he had of me in his mind? What if the older me was sullying the memories of the girl I was? What a dark sentence! Sullying the memories of what I was, the girl I was? No, Augusta. What's wrong? I just gave myself heart palpitations. My bad. Noticing my sudden silence, Yoshioka's expression was filled with concern. Are we shooting to finish this route? Maybe. I don't know. Actually, we're only on, I think, chapter two still? Are we on chapter three finally? <laughs> you were like eight, dude. Um, let's see. I was planning on playing a while today. My sister's doing stuff. 
and I'm off, and I don't have anywhere to be. So we're still on chapter two. There's six chapters, and we've been on his route. Let's see, this is 1600. We've been on his route since almost one. And it's almost five. I don't know, that's not too bad, all things considered. We're still in episode two, I think so. Yeah, because we made this was at the bar. There are some long chapters. The Red Haired Guys, Chapter 3, only took 23 minutes. It was really short. Interesting. But maybe they know that his voice is a little much at times. <laughs> and so they were kind. We're only on Chapter 2, so who knows? He could have a short chapter. He voiced my concern to him hesitantly. <laughs> Are you seriously worried about that? Apparently, yes. Yes, there's no way you could spoil those memories. Every moment I spent with you then and today is precious to me. And I want to keep spending time with you. This feels like the end of chapter two. Look at that. This is the end of chapter two. Now we're in shh, not chapter three because we have a spin off episode. Sign, signs were always there. Her indifference to my status, her acceptance of my weaknesses, her smile as beautiful as a blooming flower. Because Amasawa was so similar to my first love, I found myself falling for her. Who would have thought it was actually her? A day passed since discovering Amasawa was the girl from my childhood. After a meeting at Astario, I felt like drinking alone, so I ended up at Evergreen. Is this really happening? It feels like a dream. I had given up hope on ever seeing her again. It was unbelievable that we found each other, that I could hear her voice again. Something good happened? Question, how do you feel about Ruki? He was your favorite route so far in Cupid Parasite. Who was your favorite route in Cupid Parasite? <laughs> Uh, Ruki... Ruki's rat was fine. I don't know how to say it other than that. It didn't, like, alter my mind. I wasn't blown away by it. Um... I felt like they missed some opportunities in Ruki's route where they could have shown fashion a little more, uh, in well, is that the right word I'm looking for? Like, they showed that wedding dress and it was a boring wedding dress. Did you do the okay ending? No, I forgot to. Um, I was so excited to start Alan's route that I forgot to do his okay ending. I love fashion so much. I love fashion so much too, so I was actually really excited about his route. It's interesting to me because Cupid Parasite, I love their interface. I love their, their fonts. I love the fact that when you view the playback, it has pictures of people on there. All of that stuff, super cool. Um, my least favorite thing with Cupid Parasite is nobody gets, nobody that's not the MC, uh, related to the MC, quite literally, gets pictures for their family members. So his grandmother didn't have a picture, his sister didn't have a picture, um, and his, his literal, like, his, his Achilles heel, his, like, his, like, his thing that ruined his life was hearsay. His grandmother never said any of the stuff that he was like hung up on. He just heard it from somebody else. And so she didn't even know that he felt like he was trying to live up to her standards. 
And that was kind of that was kind of anticlimactic, you know what I mean? Because it turned into, oh, I never said that. No, I want you to be your own person. The reason I kept saying I didn't like your art was because I could see you were trying to copy the other art. That's all. I wanted you to be yourself. I wanted you to draw art you liked. And that that drove me crazy, honestly. The dress was a bit meh. But has his triangles, yeah. Sorry, I did you dirty. Don't remember the name. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. Oh, gosh. Melanie? Yeah, she deserves a face. And she has a face. She's in the art. She deserved a face. Like, I, I don't know why she doesn't have a face. She has so many parts in the game. And she dates. She dates the receptionist. I can't think of his name right now. She dates that guy. And that would have been way better to have them, like, a, a really nice photo of them together. She was partially in two CGs. And she has freckles. Owen. Yeah, she dates Owen. They should have gave her a face. Like, she deserved it. How do I feel about the one Alan CG? Oh my god, that one Alan CG was super hot. I liked it a lot. Um, I was hoping I'd get another CG before I stopped playing, but I didn't. So that had to be my thumbnail. That's <laughs> that's the thumbnail. I had no other choice. I'm glad they instantly showed his uh, Incubus side. I was not sure how long they were going to wait to show his Incubus side. So it was very nice. I very much liked it. Um, I do enjoy that they're... They're playing into the, the Cupid story on his route where she pricks herself and now she's in love with him. Still in the beginning. Yeah, I'm, I've am i done... So that one has like 10. 10 files before you get a deviation from the, the stuff. His other side is so sexy. Dude, I was in love with his long hair. Like, I am a sucker for long hair. You put long hair on a guy and I'm like, done. I can't wait till you continue this route tomorrow. Yeah, it's gonna be a little bit later in the day. Um, I have, not later, later, not like way late. Like five hours from this current time, I'll be starting. Uh, I'm gonna play until I finish Alan's, Alan's route tomorrow. Um, so I could be, it could be a long stream, but I have something I have to do in the morning and then when I get home, I'm gonna continue Cupid. And then I'll probably do Sympathy's Kiss on Thursday. And then Friday, I'll do um, Cupid Parasite again. Do you already know who the guy is in MC's dream? I'm pretty sure it's Alan. Um, I'm pretty sure it's Alan from a previous life. I could be wrong. I know who I think it is. I think, I think they're reincarnated. I think they're reincarnated lovers that loved each other in a previous life. That's what I think. But do I actually know? I don't know. But yeah, no, I'm really excited to continue Alan's story. I think Alan's is going to be my favorite. It can be something like that. I'm back. Welcome back, Sleazy. But yeah, I'm, I'm liking that route the best so far. I thought like Rookies kind of fell a little flat, but I feel like if they had faces for some of the characters, I probably would have enjoyed the story a little bit more. Specifically because he was surprised. That's why I thought it must have been him. I don't know. Honestly, for just a split split second, I thought maybe it was Peter. <laughs> she said he had wings, but I don't think Peter has wings. But he's Thor, so it's fine. Is it obvious? Yeah. <laughs> I did enjoy actually when he was like trying to convince her to date another person. He's like, what about Gil? She's like, no, we're just friends. What about da da da? I don't even have their contact anymore. What about Peter? Oh, you know, I don't, I don't have his phone number. That was her only like reason to not go after Peter. I just don't know how to get in contact with him. That's how you know. That's how you know. <laughs> she's like, no, 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 no. And then she's like, oh. I don't have his number. <laughs> I was like, why don't you go home and say hi to Chi for me? That's a smile. That's quite a smile you've got. 
偶然再会できたんです。I've been reunited with someone I've longed to see for quite some time now. She was my princess, a beacon of my heart. How I yearned to see her again and express my gratitude, yet despite searching endlessly, I could never find her. Apparently, he wasn't trying too hard. How did he not know her name? You would have imagined it was Amasawa. It was an incredible twist of fate. それは何よりですね。僕が言うまでもないと思いますが、せっかくのご縁、大切になさってください。Glad to hear it. You don't need me to tell you this, but I hope you cherish that bond you have. Cherish, you say. That reminded me of what happened last night. The moment I found out who she was, I hugged her without permission. She didn't say anything at all, but I knew she was not a friend at all. I didn't, she didn't say anything at the time, but I hope she didn't feel uncomfortable. She felt so petite and fragile in my b r a c e I agree with that statement given how small her feet were in the last picture. Her soft feminine body, her warmth, her quickening heartbeat. Truthfully, I didn't want to let her go. I wanted to hold her in my arms forever. Reunited with her, overwhelmed, my, overwhelmed me with joy. I longed to be with her. I wanted to keep her close and safe in my arms. I wondered if she knew anything of how intensely I coveted her closeness and company. Ooh, here's your Olympic. A cocktail made with brandy, orange. Kirakau and orange juice. Orange Kirakau. This is how you know I don't drink. What the heck was that word? Lucia gently placed the cocktail he recommended to me on the bar. Olympic no cocktail kotoba wa tashka machikogareta saikai desu yone. Kiraso? Kiraso! Is that how you say it? An Olympic. A cocktail symbolizing a long awaited reunion, quite fitting for the moment, if I do say so myself. <gasps> Are we gonna have say it with a cocktail again? Cocktail language, similar to the language of flowers, a series of meanings attached to various cocktails. Next time, you should bring her along. I'll give her a grasshopper because that's a sign of falling in love. Thanks, Sina. I miss you so much every day, in fact. In fact, actually, if I go through my phone, how long ago did I play that game? Oh, God. When did I play Lover Pretend? I go through and delete photos off my phone after I've played a game. And that one, I know for a fact. Yeah, yeah, that's the only one I didn't delete off my phone. Look at him. He's so beautiful. Look at this beautiful man. Just look at this man. I kept his photos. I deleted everybody else but him. This beautiful, beautiful man. <laughs> Makes me uncomfortable. All right. As I sipped on the cocktail, the citrus aroma wafted over me. <laughs> I haven't touched Love or Pretend. Yukito Sira, I'm so sorry. He's my favorite route in that entire thing. He's very, if you like Kinji, he's very much like Kinji. He's extremely like Kinji. They have very similar personas where they're very confident people, but they're also very genuine at the same time. They kind of have like a Playboy personality, but they're sincere when it comes to like expressing their feelings. Like, I loved him. He's my favorite. Oh, God. As I sipped on the cocktail, the citrus aroma wafted over me. He used to drink orange juice together in the park often. I love him for some reason. I need a break from certain games. Honestly, Lover Pretend was hard for me. I don't. 
think there was anybody else in Love or Pretend I really liked besides him. If I'm being honest, like they're fine. Like there were some fine routes, but like, eh. The one that I think they wanted everyone to like, do we even have that game right here? I might have let my friend borrow that one. I know she borrowed one of my games. Oh no, I have it, I have it. That's the sound of my games falling. Yeah, so, all right, starting with the redhead, I hated his route. Uh, loved the second route, middle one, he was fine. La second to end, he forced you into a pretend relationship so that he could blah, 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 blah. Last one, least favorite route I've ever had in a game. So, yeah, Cena is the only one I cared about. Just Cena. Is Lover Pretend the one with the guy who puts you in a cage? I I wish, I wish he put me in a cage. Um, he didn't put me in a cage. Nobody puts you in a cage in Lover Pretend. No one puts baby in a corner in Lover Pretend. Um, in Lover Pretend, you are a girl who uh, is in school to become a writer. She's going to write scripts. And your mom wrote one movie ever. Didn't Leah mention in Verge about other boy in a cage? That one's from Amnesia. The other boy in a cage is a blonde from Amnesia. Oh, no, 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 no. It wasn't from Lover Pretend. It's Amnesia, which is funny because it made me want to have Amnesia. Um, in Amnesia, if he finds out you have Amnesia, which is the premise of Amnesia, he uh, puts you in a cage and keeps you there as a pet. Like as a literal pet. And it's the end of that chapter. It's over. You die You die in the cage? Question mark? I don't know. Uh, but this one, no one puts you in a cage. I swear there's no cages in this game. Um, you're just trying to find out who your dad is. That's it. Because your mom uh, gave birth to you after she wrote a movie. And that movie came out. And then she quit writing stories altogether. Um, and she said she met your dad when she made that movie. And that's it. Virtue and Amnesia, two blondes put her in a cage. Yeah, if they're both blonde, and they're both very feminine blondes. I'll give them that too. <sighs> but Virtue, uh, Lucas is way more attractive than the one from Amnesia, which is why it hurt me more because I really wanted Lucas's route. I wanted Lucas's route. I wanted a really hot, sexy bad guy. Like, give me a hot, sexy bad guy who can be a murderer, but he doesn't put me in a cage and force kisses me. <laughs> That's too far. I can accept murder, but not force kissing. Ridiculous. Give me a good murderer. Exactly. I want a murderer who will kill everybody but me. And maybe even me in one of the endings. But don't put me in a cage. <laughs> But yeah, that one, no cages. Lover Pretend doesn't have any cages. Lover Pretend just has one character that I liked. That's it. Out of the five routes, only one of them I liked. And I give the director kid a, a break. He's okay. He just wasn't my vibe. We used to drink orange juice together in the park often. Hear this sentence of a person reminiscing about when he was like five. Reminiscing of those childhood days reminds me all the more, made me all the more excited to create new memories with her. I don't think I have any, like, I had a childhood crush, actually. I, <laughs> I had a, a friend when I was a kid. So he used to be friends with my sister. He'd come over and ask my sister if she wanted to hang out. My sister didn't want to go out. And so I one time said, I'll go. And, and then the next time he came over, um, I was like, oh, she's still busy. And he's like, well, I came to play with you. And I had the biggest crush on him. And I remember hanging out with him almost every day for a very long time. And we were about the same age. So that's the only childhood crush I had. Right? It was pretty cute. Reminiscing wise, it's very cute. But I don't think I would, I would think about it and go like, we used to drink juice together. 
Like it was cute, but like I don't think I don't think it deserves this much attention. You know what I mean? He used to pull me around in a wagon, just around like on the sidewalk. We just hang out all day. Reminiscing of those childhood days made me all the more excited to create more new memories with her. Okay, now we're officially in chapter three. She said with a question mark at the end of her voice. Episode three. Sorry, this is a TV series. So let's get started. Minato, you're first. Okay, 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 Minato, you're first.
sleepy time. See ya. Continue being delighted in Anku and Kanas' voice actors. I will do my best. Have a lovely nap time. We will see you again later. So what you're saying is that Leah has a lot to do. It's so true. It's so true, besties. <laughs> I have a feeling we got such good results because Amasawa suggested we keep it simple. アンケートを何度かに分けて行い、報酬のクーポンも複数から選択できるようにという発想が良かったぞ。The idea to split the survey into parts and allow participants to choose from multiple coupons was the right call. I corrected him and informed everyone that Yoshioka suggested splitting the survey. なるほど。Yoshioka-san so it was Yoshioka's idea. そういうことなら in that case, could you visit Tempesty today to this afternoon and share the survey results with them? Yoshioka-san,気になっているだろうし、こういうのは早い方がいいだろう. I could probably just send an email. I'm not saying I don't want to go. I'm just saying an email would suffice. Yoshioka will probably want to hear about the results, so the sooner the better. Eager to fill them in, I quickly agreed. <laughs> Just so eager, let's go. After the meeting wrapped up, I finalized my reports for Yoshioka and got ready to take my lunch break. As usual, I spent my lunch break with Oi. You have been enjoying yourself at Tempesty recently, haven't you? I nearly choked on my food, unprepared for her insinuation. Oh, I'm so sorry, are you okay? Oi handed me a glass of water and I took a sip to clear my throat. But based on your reaction, I'm guessing something happened with Yoshioka? I don't know why, but it just flagged the word please. It like, <laughs> it was like, will you allow this word? Every time I look at Yoji, I want to be in his route, sir, please stop being sexy. I just like, Psycho Bunny added permitted the term please. <laughs> I think it meant to flag sexy, but it flagged please instead. <laughs> You can't say please anymore, not in this this chat. Based on your reaction, I'm guessing something happened with you and Yoshioka. As far as Oi knew, Yoshioka and I had are only gone on a single date. I mulled over how to respond. I confess that Yoshioka and I discovered our shared childhood and that we recently went out for dreams. <laughs> Seriously? You two were childhood sweethearts? That's like something out of a movie. How is that even possible? I'm testing Twitch. You're gonna find all the words. All the trigger words, at least. Oh my gosh. You guys should totally start dating. Wait, are you dating already? Sexy. It didn't even, didn't even try. Didn't even ask me to permit it. <laughs> I clarified that we are not dating. But the fact remained that Yoshioka admitted he was attracted to me and I told Oi that, but Twitch, I'm sorry, Twitch is not. Catch me up, is she first love? Yes, they officially announced that she is the first love. What was the point, Twitch? It just thought you were asked like begging. I guess it thought you sounded too desperate. I don't know if he's serious. I want to concentrate on work. It'll be def. Oh, oh gosh, it'd be a distraction. I don't know if he's serious. He he's serious. I want to concentrate on work. Sir, stop me. Please stop being sexy. It didn't trigger at that time. Maybe I've approved please so it won't trigger it anymore. Uh, it'd be a distraction. I'm laughing because Twitch senses, <laughs> censors 
Asia so much, and yet now it's not. Now that she's trying, it's not. I can't read your comments half the time? Really? Oh, that's curious. It's, it's censoring in a way I can't even see it. He's out of my league, bro. Did you know he lives in a wing of a house? I don't know which one I want to pick. None of these sound like something I would say. Out of my league. It's a distraction. I want to con Let's concentrate on work today. That was blue. Does that mean I did it? I got a little bit of work in my balance now. It shows as asterisks. Interesting. That's hilarious. You should screenshot that and post it on the Discord. I want to see what the heck it looks like. On mine, it's fine. A bunch of sir and for HLs. Oh, God. That's hilarious. It's like she's just swearing up a storm. <laughs> on my side, it's not censoring her at all, so that's funny. Uh, I love it. It just looks like you're swearing constantly. Instead, you're saying sexy. You're like, sir, please stop being sexy. And it's all like, sir, da -da 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 -da. stop. Da -da 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 -da. My entire job at the moment was to represent Astario as a mediator. Therefore, dating someone from Tempest Tempesty. Tempesty was out of the question. I told Oe that my primary focus needs to be my work. <laughs> Yoji is the is sexy boss ever. <laughs> oh gosh. Alright. Hmm. Work to it's admirable that you're putting your work first. But you're also not denying that there's something between you and Yoshi, Yoshi, not Yoshinari. Yoshinari is not in this game. Yoshioka. Why not have the best of both worlds? A rewarding job and a fulfilling love life. That's what I would do. Leah, well, yeah, you seem torn. Listen, if you're both in love, then who cares what anybody else has to say about it? I don't know, tell that to the next four chapters of this game. She made me picture dating Yoshi Oka for real and my face went red. He behaved like a gentleman, even escorting me to the station after I drank too much. He truly was a modern fairy tale prince. But she hasn't brought him home yet, so... You know, he could be better. In general, <laughs> Sorry, I did... Don't remember his name yet, I think, so... His other side is so... <laughs> it does look like you're just saying really inappropriate stuff. Push some censorship, guys. Every time I look at Yoji, I want to be in his route, sir. Blank, stop being blank. <laughs> it's hilarious. Oh my god. If you look at it, it literally looks like you're just swearing constantly. All right. It was like he walked out of a storybook. And the way that he could act so innocent was incredibly endearing to me. I hoped, no, I knew that any girl who dated Yoshioka would be more than happy to have him. And remember, you made him that way. If he's really serious about you, it would be a ways to push him away. Maybe it's time you let yourself say yes. That simple remark left a lasting impression. 
And now it cut it off. Can I marry this sexy ass boss? It highlighted sexy and ass. <laughs> that simple remark left a lasting impression. Ass. I've permitted it now. Maybe it does it every time we start a stream. <laughs> We got an impressive amount of response. This is quite the success. I had hurried over to Tempest D and submitted the survey results to Yoshinari. Yoshioka. I miss Yoshinari, apparently. He was my favorite yondere. Higa, come have a look at this. Careful, you might get banned. <laughs> Yoshioka waved Higa over. I'm pretty sure I have my thing set to I'm an adult and not a child, so it should be fine. But it's just the mod is making sure I'm okay with the phrases. I'm cussing up a storm right here. <laughs> You're cussing like Louise Belcher. You're like, ass. And then, then that's it. <laughs> Considering it's our first user survey, these results are quite promising. It's we have a lot of positive feedback, so we should be able to process proceed with part two of the survey plan. It's better safe than sorry, it's probably catches bots. That's probably true. Their conclusion mirrored what we determined back at Asterio. I was happy to know we all were on the same page. Let's share the results with the rest of the team. Higa, could you handle that? Understood. Now, if you'll excuse me. But that Higa dashed out of the conference room just as I was about to follow him. Amasawa, would you mind staying here for just a moment? I stopped at his behest and he walked out and promised to be back, be right back. And then she just starts sketching. I waited for several minutes wondering what this was about. Omatase. Thanks for waiting. Yoshioka returned to the conference room carrying a tray, balanced on top were two cups. Care to join me for a little break? This morning was a bit chaotic, and I could use a moment to catch my breath. Thank you, it's quite comforting to have you here. His comments stirred a flurry of emotions. Honestly, this feels almost right. So, like, I keep dogging the fact that she's not talking. Like, it says, and then I said something like this. This almost feels like she was rec reciting, like, a day. Because I don't think I've ever, like, quoted myself directly. So she's like, and then I said something like, you know, whatever. But then he said, you have a more vivid memory of what they were saying. Have some tea if you like. I was gifted some quality tea leaves recently, so I thought we could try some. Nom, 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 nom. He offered me a cup, which I accepted gratefully. The first sip surprised me with its deep, rich flavor. It's good. I'm glad. Seeing you enjoy it has already melted my fatigue away. The tea was a gift from a business associate. Their company owns a tea farm overseas where the, these leaves were harvested. The leaves were delicious, but I was certain that Yoshioka's brewing skills might skills, oh gosh, skills brought out their full flavor. Sure. Give him credit for it. You're just in love with them, that's all. 
As we enjoyed it, I mentioned that tea seemed to suit him more than coffee. Kocha no image ka. So na koto yuarata koto na katana. You think tea suits me better? That's a new one. Yoshioka laughed brightly. Demo, kimi no image wa atate ryo. Ie demo kocha no mukoto ga oin da. Suppose you're right. I drink black tea at home often. I do too. That's actually what we, pr- we make here. We make sweet tea and it's specifically black tea. That perfectly supplemented my vision of Yoshioka's gracefully savory in a cup of tea. Moshi yo kattara, nomi ni kure? Would you like to come over for tea sometime? Is that like saying you want to come over for some ramen? Is that like, is that like a, is that a new window window? I blinked in surprise. I let my guard down thanks to the hot drink and easygoing conversation. Nonetheless, I barely hesitated before saying I'd love to. So, 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 It took a moment before I processed that I just agreed to go to his house. The weekend finally arrived. He's so cute. He really is. They have some gorgeous guys in this game. I stood in front of the mirror, carefully applying my makeup. It was the day Yoshioka invited me over to his house. Truthfully, I was terribly nervous, recognizing reckoning with the full impact. Implications. Implications! <gasps> the implications. But since he had been so cheerful about it, I couldn't bring myself to go back. My hands hovered over my lip gloss color, a light pink one stuck out to me. I wonder if it was the right choice. I get to pick my lipstick. I think I'm a little bit more interested in him. I grabbed it. It was too cute to pass up. I think he's pretty interesting. I I don't know. I feel like between the guys' overall aesthetics, I feel like maybe the story itself also kind of follows along like a K drama kind of aspect, which perfect, nice little slice of life story. It was too cute to pass up. Sliding the wand across my lips, I found it paired perfectly with my outfit. Now, who's gonna say I look like a whore because I put on lipstick? I left my apartment as soon as I finished my makeup and got to the station in record time. Yoshioka insisted there were no need to get him anything, but I brought him a gift anyways. I clutched it as I waited for him. Gambate Roro, hope you steal Ashia's heart. Let's see, are we gonna have a new husbando? It wasn't long before a familiar car pulled up to the curb. I'm in Asia. <laughs> I was just like, who? <gasps> He's wearing casual clothes. I got a video to show you about Sympathy Kiss. It's got no spoilers. It was a funny little video. I'm going to put it on the Discord. Ooh, nice. There's another video on the Discord. I haven't had a chance to watch yet because I saw it after I'd start streaming and I went, oh no, that'd be weird. <laughs> good morning, Amasawa. It's like a Chinese style shirt. It looks good. Yeah, I like it. Called out to me with a warm smile. Is it because we're gonna drink tea? I hopped into the passenger seat quickly, not wanting to block traffic. Oh, my clip of Border- Boulder's Gate 3, La Mau. Yeah, I haven't watched it yet. Oh, also, I'm gonna see Asterion in two weeks. We're going to, uh, there's an event he's coming to that's local. And so we're gonna go uh, get his autograph. I don't know. I was debating trying to think of a cl- like something I could get him to say. It cost $80, to be clear. It's $80 for him to say something. And I'm like, what would I want him to say? He seems so sweet. He does. Every clip I've seen of him seems really adorable. 
but I thought about uh, explaining a tome to him for five seconds, and I was like, I don't know, man, that might be a really weird conversation. Look, I need you to say, like, something about being in love, like a line that Anku says, like, please recite this line however you feel it sounds right. Here's the original voice, you know what I mean? Like, I just wanna... I think he could prove that Atome could be translated into English and still be just as hot. It's a one minute video. <laughs> Twitch also, uh, Ray, it censored you saying Lamau. <laughs> I think that's that's yours, Jay. I think your Twitch is all like, all these words are too inappropriate for everybody. Not wanting to block traffic. Apologies for keeping you waiting. Well, shall we? I nodded and tried to buckle myself more smoothly than last time, reaching over my shoulder for my belt. But... Yoshioka steeled my hand, then reached over my body and grabbed the seatbelt. It clicked as it locked into place. Like, he's got her hand in his now. Like, look how big his hand is. How is it? Not too tight? He had buckled the seatbelt for me again. It was just like my first time in his car. Back then, my nerves <laughs> to have to approve kiss him. Hang on. <laughs> I put him. I think I really like him. Not gonna lie, I want to kiss him. Honestly, they should have kissed by now, right? Doesn't it, this? Isn't this a lot of sexual tension between these two? It was like the first time in his car. Back then, my nerves, coupled with my dark night, prevented me from doing it myself. This time. He had reached over as if it were completely natural. We had grown closer since then, so I felt even more flustered. Even so, I nodded, and Yoshioka flashed me a smile. Good, off we go then. This does not count as a new CG game. This does not count. I need another CG, thank you. I need at least 20. Yoshioka settled back into the driver's seat and the car glided forward. Do you mind if we take the scenic route? It's a beautiful day. My day was open, so I said it wasn't a problem. He requested his request prompted me to ask if he was fond of driving. Whenever I have a chance, but my commute to work is so brief that I typically just walk. On sunny days like today, I like to take some detours to fully appreciate it and unwind. A soft smile played at his lips as the air conditioning gently teased his hair. I, I remarked that he seemed relaxed. <laughs> Of course I am. You're in the car with me. His upbeat mood was infectious, but my heart fluttered thinking about what the day could bring. What could the day bring? Tacos? After a 30-minute drive, we arrived at Yoshioka's house. I stepped out of the car. I expected some grandiose, yet I was still blown away. Said it wasn't as grandiose as he pictured. Is that his house, the little one to the side? The little off property house? Everything was polished to look brand new, and the bright green garden was clearly tended by a professional. It was just like something you'd see in a magazine or a movie. I felt out of my depth. <laughs> Here we are. Don't be too surprised. It only looks big on the outside. He quickly returned from parking in the garage. I was certain he was just being humble 
about the house. 両親は海外での取引があって留守にしてるから、今日家にいるのはお手伝いさんくらいだよ。楽にしていいからね。He has a maid, guys. My parents are currently overseas on business, so only the maid is home right now. Feel free to make yourself at home. Being told about an on staff maid so casually was astounding. My heart tightened. She's like, I feel so poor. He's not even wearing this jacket. Oh my god. He's a Chad. And the guest house here I live is just over there. Yoshioka pointed at the one story building that was small in comparison. Although he referred to it as a guest house, it was essentially a second full house. Oh no, does he play golf? Inside was a cozy space warmed by the wooden accents. Dozo, suate. Ocha will eat a cooker, a scoshi matte dene. Please have a seat. I brew some tea. I moved to assist him, but he gently refused. You're my guest. Please allow me to take care of you. I press my lips together and reluctantly agree to sit and wait. いい、ね、That's my princess. I'll be quick. He disappeared into the kitchen. This guest house had everything he needed to live alone. Seemed less like he was living with his parents and more like he just happened to live on the same property. Thank you for waiting. This tea is one of my favorites. I hope you find it as calming as I do. Yoshioka sat in a chair nearby and handed me a mug. The porcelain cup itself seemed quite valuable. My hand shook slightly. Yapari, Ochitskanai? Are you still feeling nervous? He smiled wearily as his, as his gaze flickered to my trembling hand. I'm just like shaking. <laughs> I'm a bit nervous myself. I've never had a woman over like this. I scrambled to tidy this place up yesterday, so please don't look too closely. I'm sure I missed something. The way he poked fun of himself released some of the tension from my shoulders. I breathed in the fragrant aroma of the tea before sipping it and sighing happily. You like it? I'm so glad. I finally felt a little settled in. My eyes wandered around the room, and a small decoration of a TV caught my eye. It was a glass paperweight featuring a 3D laser engrave of the full moon. It stood out to me for a good reason. Ah, ano paperweight? That's a paperweight. Cool. Kimi ni shokai shite moratta. Ekimae no zakaya de katta mono nanda. I purchased it from the general store you told me about near the station. Yoshioka followed my gaze and explained. I was charmed to know he visited the store I introduced him to. He asked what girls like, and he went to the place I recommended. <laughs> I made a joke that he might be a girl. What if he is? What if this is finally my dream come true? There's finally a Tomi route where it's a girl. But it seized my attention for a different reason, and I told him. I bought that too. You have the same one? Indeed, the full moon design enchanted me too. I said it was a surprise that we'd both picked it out on our own. So, ka. Ureshina. Ore tachi wa zakka no konomi ga chikai to yu koto da ne. I see that's delightful. Perhaps we have similar taste in decor. You tell me, did you buy that sign behind you that is golf clubs lined up? Kondo timing ga eba, isho ni iko ka. Kimi to isho ni zakka o miru no wa tansu da. How about we go together next time? It would be fun to browse with you. Do you have questions about anything else yet? What is with that? I gave the room another once over. That's a lot of golf clubs. Golf club? Ah, this is what I'm Oh, those? 
I nodded. They were the first thing I noticed upon walking into his house because I hated it. Golf in Kyomi Aru? Kimikurai no Toshinokoro, Orewa Zenzen Kyomi Ganaktene. Amasawa, are you interested in golf? I didn't care for it in my early twenties. ただ、ビジネスの場では役に立つことも多いからと、新卒で入った会社の上司にいろいろと手ほどきしてもらったんだ。But when I graduated college, my boss told me it would be beneficial for networking, so I picked it up. ルールもよくわからないし、クラブの数や種類もご覧の通り豊富だしで、最初の頃は少し大変だったんだ。I struggle to understand the nuance at first, and as you can see, there are so many different types of clubs. ちゃんと楽しめるようになったのは、ここ2、3年くらいかな。It took me about between two and three years before I really started to enjoy it. I don't know if I would do it if it took that long to enjoy it. なんでもわかり始めると面白いよね。おかげでつい新しいクラブを買ってしまって、最近は違う意味で大変だよ。Best things take time after all. I've collected a lot of clubs over the years, but perhaps I've gone a bit overboard. <laughs> He looked troubled about wasting money. I couldn't help laughing. It was the same face I made when I fussed over overspending. Hearing all that made me ask how he usually passes his time here. How do I spend my time? So, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I enjoyed listening to classical music. That can be nice. I played violin in the past, so it became a habit of mine. I like putting on classical music when I'm writing because there's no lyrics to get distracted with. I'm not saying I don't get distracted, I'm just saying it kind of stops that from happening. Now that he mentioned it, I noticed some large audio equipment and a set of expensive looking headphones. Where? このヘッドフォンは音がすごくいいんだ。よければ聞いてみる Those headphones have incredible sound quality. Would you care to listen? Try them? I nodded enthusiastically and he got up to fetch them. 少し髪をよけてくれるかな Would you mind pulling your hair back just a little? My hair aside to expose my ears, and Yoshioki Yoka gently positioned the headphones over them. As Yoshioka's fingers brushed against my ears, a wave of warmth flushed over them. So, I'll play the music now. Tell me if it's too loud. If these are amazing headphones, it should be noise canceling because if I do this, it's sound if these are amazing headphones, it should be noise canceling because if I do this, it sounds like I'm screaming almost. Like, whoa, I sound so much louder. I take my headphones off. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, but it feels like it because these have like muted the sound in the room so much. Then the elegant strains of violin music flowed from the headphones. I was shocked by how much sound quality could be affected by using different equipment. Once the melody concluded, I removed the headphones and shared my thoughts about the experience. <laughs> 特にクラシックはオーディオの性能に結構左右されるところがあってね。Amazing, isn't it? Classical music is partially influenced by the quality of your sound equipment. わざわざ取り寄せてもらったけど、大正解だったよ。I've never regretted that purchase. Which reminds me, I need to get some new headphones.、Um, my favorite headphones were given to me, and I found out they cost a lot of money when they broke. <laughs> I was like, I need a new set. They have, they're the best headphones I ever had. They have a noise counseling, like you have to charge them to turn it on their earbuds. But when you turn it on, and you're, if you're on a plane, if you've ever been on a plane, they're loud. They're so loud. It takes all that sound away. It just sounds like you're sitting in a normal size room. And I love them to death. And then the headphones started to fall apart. It broke my heart. I listened to a lot of video game OSTs. Honestly,、um, Especially battle music, like let's say Final Fantasy battle music. Apparently, it's good if you're studying to listen to music like that because it's supposed to make you kind of feel a little bit excited so it can help keep your focus. That's what I've been told. I could be wrong. I'm not saying that as a fact. I'm just saying I read this somewhere. I added that the music itself was exceptional as well. 
<笑>そんなに気に入ってくれたんだね Yoshioka smiled and reached out to brush his hand through my hair. His touch was gentle and comforting, yet my heart still faltered. Dazed, I found myself wanting to lean into his touch. これでよしと。もう大丈夫だよ。Mine says always gonna be Silent Hill 3. Ooh, that's a good one. Silent Hill does pretty good. On- I like that. I like that. That should do it.、Um, Amasa- Amasawa, you can move now. I can move now. And as he spoke, Yoshioka drew his hand. Withdrew his hand. <gasps> Disappointed, twisted in me. <laughs> Before I knew it, I reached to stop him. Oh, what's wrong? I fixed your hair. She's like, touch my face, please. I think I got a lot of favorite video games near Final Fantasy XIV and Persona music. I'm not sure I don't play that many. I do like background music from Animal Crossing. Oh, that is a jam. Back- Animal Crossing. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I can do that one. Mine's is going to be the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask soundtrack. I've listened to it the most out of anything, mostly because I played that game over and over again. I've got a couple of favorite Atomi OSTs.、I'm、trying to think. I mean, I like the music in Verge a lot. That was pretty good.、Um, I do like Cupid Parasite's music because each of the guys have their own song.、Um, like, I like that Alan's is like metal. <laughs> I suddenly realized that Yoshi Oka wasn't pampering me. He was smoothing out my hair after the headphones disheveled it. Cold Realize, Hakuoki, and Jack Jean. So, Cold Realize, haven't played it yet, but I have all three of them. Hakuoki,、uh, my sister is getting for my birthday. So, she pre ordered that for me because it's only available online for the physical version for the Switch. Although, I do own the PS3 version, I just don't have a PS3 to play it on. Jack and Jean has a nice OST. I will give that credit too because it has really lovely music. And real singing music, which is magical. I suddenly realized that Yoshioka wasn't pampering me. Embarrassed by my misunderstanding, I immediately released his wrist and tried to play it off as nothing. I do like Winter's Wish OP. I'm trying to think about that one. My brain is not there right now. I did like Winter's Wish music. I did not like Cafe Enchante's music. Like, and we went from Winter's Wish straight to Cafe Enchante. And I felt like Cafe Enchante let me down a little bit on the music department. But I remember liking Winter's Wish. Embarrassed by the misunderstanding, I immediately released his wrist. Did you think I was playing with your hair? Of course not. Also, there's going to be a Hakuoki spin off, a lot of upcoming unlocalized Otomi games. Are we talking about the ones that were just announced, like the cute ones where there's like a jungle theme, there's a little magic school? Like, there's so many I want to play. I'm like, dude, I got to learn another language now. <sighs> I don't think we're ready for that, guys. I don't think I'm ready to start taking Japanese lessons. So, what is it? Since you pulled me, does that mean you wanted me to keep doing it? He kept asking questions faster than my brain could come up with responses. I couldn't think of an excuse or hide my rising blush, so I nodded. There's an Atomi game based off a drama CD. It's gonna have four MCs, and each girl got their own love interest. What's it? What's it? What's that? What's that? Link that one in the Discord, please. <laughs> I couldn't think of an excuse. You're so adorable. With that, Yoshioka drew me into his arms. 
Not only that, you'll be spending a lot more for shipping overseas. <laughs> That's true. That's so true. I have some friends who live in Japan, but the reason I don't ask for Atomi games is because they're not in English. So, plus they cost more. Like, it hurts. It hurts. It hurts. His actions were as graceful as one would expect from a gentleman, yet there was an underlying assertiveness to them. As long as you're okay with it, I'll stroke your head and spoil you to your heart's content. Where would you like me to touch you? Will you tell me that? Tell me? The question poured from his lips like honey, and the sweetness was dizzying. A heady mix of embarrassment, a hearty even, and happiness pleasantly swirled through my head. I told him it was okay and attempted to wriggle, wriggle away, but Yoshioka held me tight, searching my eyes. ]なでて欲しかったんだよね。俺に遠慮する必要はないから。教えて? Oh my god, I love that line. No, you wanted me to touch you, didn't you? You don't have to be shy, tell me where. No matter how much I wanted to tell him, the words wouldn't come out. Just take his hand and put it where you want it. Like, as I stared at him in flustered silence, he breathed out a sigh. <sighs> if you won't tell me, I suppose there's no other way. I thought he might release me, but I remained locked in his arms. I'll try different spots, and if you don't like it, just say no. I'll only do what feels good to you. Oh my stars. I looked up at Yoshioka in disbelief, and he met my gaze with his typical radiant smile. I want to fulfill my princess's desires. The princess is too shy to say what she wants. It's up to the prince to figure it out, right? When he says it with that irresistible smile, I can only nod intently. Let's start with your head. True to his words, Yoshioka's fingers delicately drew through my scalp. Your hair is so beautiful, I swear I could touch it forever. It's a little dry right now, if I'm being honest. Since I was nearly on his lap, every touch was magnetic and I pressed closer to his body. His physique was unexpectedly solid. <laughs> I felt like I was going to go mad with embarrassment or desire. Of being touched by him was so intoxicating, I didn't want it to stop. Next, how about your face? I don't want to ruin your makeup though, so I'll be gentle. Yoshioka's hand trailed down. His long fingers traced the contours of my face, and a tingling sensation shot through my body like electricity. His touch was so delicate, it left me yearning for more. Then he slowly tipped up my chin. <laughs> Did the thing! I noticed it earlier, but your lip gloss is different today, isn't it? <gasps> Does he care? Does that bother him? Does he hate it? Is it like that thing where this guy's like, she's perfect the way she is, and if she changes anything, I'm not going to like her anymore? Is that it? Is that it? <laughs> Okay. I clicked on the video link or the, the website link. Bright colors suit you well. You look absolutely stunning. Automate's new title, Fuyu Zono Sacrifice. Oh. -ho. 
Honey vibes. Oh, wait. Did they show the boys before? I don't think they had the boys in the video before. Hakuoki spinoff. Atomic Graffiti Fort. Okay. Seven Car Carlets. Monologue. <gasps> you don't know Kakera. Okay. Damn them. Damn them. And they keep making more beautiful boy games. Bright colors suit you well. You look absolutely stunning. May I have a closer look? He was only inches away from my lips, my breath hitched. I stammered out a thank you to his compliment, my cheeks reddened. Now, your neck. His hand descended to caress my neck, it tickled and I squirmed. You're ticklish there. <laughs> you're adorable when you're flustered. The one of the four MCs got the same artist as Cupid Parasite and Nine Rip. Wait a second. Four, four main scenes. Did I skip that one somehow? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I see it. I see it. I see it. No, I don't. Yes, I do. I do, but I don't. Is that the honey vibes? No, wait. Is he called ha Toki Jami, the protagonist lives her life. I don't want to play trailers because I don't know if I can <laughs> without getting in trouble. Um, scroll down and you'll see four girls and four guys. Maybe my thing didn't load right. I don't see a picture of four girls and four guys. Oh snap, I lied. I've spoken too soon. Four heroines in Hanakata to the Bloom. Okay, okay, okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, so that's pairing number one. So we have a blue-haired boy with a girl that looks like she belongs in Sailor Moon as Sailor Uranus. All right, and then we have her and him, and she looks adorable. And that's Sigawara good voice. They have a flower, wait, Tweety? Mimosa. This is probably my favorite pairing here. And him. Actually, I like this pairing too. Only, like, I don't... He looks... Well, he's fine. This is fine. It's going to be... Uh, I like her more. So one, two, three, four. That's my That's my order. Like, I like, I like her the most in terms of the girls. I like him the most in terms of the guys, and then I like him, I don't really like him, but I like her. Last two's your favorite, uh -huh. 24 year old, gentle, tends to priorities. Interesting. <laughs> same, same, we have the same taste. Excellent, excellent. I like my boys to have big puffy sleeves and look a little bit like they're sad. <laughs> That's how you know he's the one. He looks a little sad. Pink and purple look a different version of Alan and Cupid. That's true. Maybe that was intentional. Honestly, the pink haired girl kind of looks like what uh, Melanie looks like. The girl who doesn't actually get a face in the cutscenes. Love and Deep Space is having an event. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Things I don't need. Things I don't need. <laughs> Your 
You're adorable when you're flustered. Sorry. I'm sorry. I was looking at a tome. So, I'm going to say that 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 I'm going to An exhilarating feeling shot up my spine, and the slightest moan escaped my lips. Wait, I, me and him both, whoa. <laughs> Startled, Yoshioka quickly pulled away, and we stared at each other with wide eyes and burning cheeks. The embarrassment was so intense, I wanted to disappear. He thought he was so strong, he thought he was so resilient, and then he heard her moan a little bit, and he lost it. So, no, go me. How dare you? How dare you? Sorry. Omasawa, I may have gotten carried away. <laughs> I was about to say something thirsty about him, but I was the one who was thirsty. We can forget about that. Excuse me, you did not touch every inch of my body yet. You haven't. There's so much more to explore. I managed a small nod. Oh, just kidding. We're fine. It's my fault in the first place. I welcomed his touch and wanted more and more. Yeah, but at this point, you guys should have kissed by now. It's getting late. Thank you for spending the day with me. I'll drive you home. Things had grown a bit awkward, but we managed to regain some our composure by conversing about other things. I was about to say, I will let him touch me. He can. I will shut up. <laughs> I'm just saying, he invited himself. He's all like, well, let me see where you like to be touched. And the moment she like, that was the sound of joy. She enjoyed that feeling. You stopped. I see. You didn't actually want to find out if she enjoyed it. Are you relaxed? Are you sure? I think you're the opposite of relaxed. I'm really glad you came today, Amasawa. It was a perfect way to relax. I wondered if that was truly the case, given how much he spoiled me. It felt like he had been more of a treat for me. It was more, not he, he was. <laughs> With that in mind, I made a suggestion. Oh God, it's been nine hours. Yeah... I'm gonna stop soon, but I was waiting for us to get to the end of the chapter. <laughs> you want to pamper me? Honestly, I could, I don't know. Probably not. I was gonna say, I could, I want to take a shower. I have stuff in the morning, like I said, I'm doing tomorrow. So I'm gonna take a shower. But I was like, I could play more Cupid Parasite tonight. But then I was like, maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't come back and play Cupid Parasite. I should just wait till tomorrow. Yoshioka looks surprised as he explains. Blamed further. Since I had been the target of his care and attention all day, it seemed only right for me to reciprocate. It seems <laughs> well up to you. I probably won't just because uh, I've been talking for nine hours. <laughs> as much as I want to continue Alan's story and I'm very interested in what happens next in Alan's story, I probably should not stay up late to do that. He seemed stupefied, but he eventually smiled and agreed. Perhaps he wanted to grant me this after my little scene. Rest those vocals. You will need it. I know. I need to get something for my throat. Like like something you're supposed to like take either before or after talking for long periods of time. So, vocal exercises.
probably best to stop when you start episode three of this route. We don't know how long it's going to be. Yeah. And that way on Thursday, maybe we can finish this route. And then I'll probably start the secret route that we accidentally started already since we already started it and get through that one. And maybe I can do that. I can then I'll do the redhead or the bartender. Because I'm not entirely like the bartender actually seems pretty sweet. He seems like a sweetie pie, so I might do him after the redhead. Because the redhead is not my favorite so far. He's pretty. He's pretty. If you insist, I'll indulge. Am I going to give him a back massage? Oh. Nope, my eyeless body let him rest on my shoulder. Yoshioka moved beside me on the sofa and let his head slowly fall onto my shoulder. Oh my god, you're so right. Final Fantasy Rebirth. I thought about dressing up as Tifa. But I don't have dark hair anymore. Um, I used to I used to have dark hair, so I used to be called Tifa, and I don't have dark hair. It's cute, but imagine if she had eyes. <laughs> Just saying. I, they didn't have to do this. They could have given her eyes. If you're going to show that much of her face, give her eyes. I know I'm a bit heavy, but please bear with me. His weight pressed into me, but he was careful not to lean on me entirely. He seemed to hesitate. He seemed so hesitant. His cheeks hardly touched me, and his hair tickled my neck. <laughs> I both want to spoil you and be spoiled by you. It's odd how strongly I desire both of these things. He really is cute. Yeah, he's a very he's he's been drawn very nice. I think it's also his eyes, they're so blue. I've never felt more at peace than I am when I'm with you. I wondered if he was carrying carrying more stress from work and his family than I knew. And we were together, we were able to detach himself from all of those things. I wanted to do whatever I could to help relax, help him relax. Why don't you kiss his forehead? Come on. I patted his head gently. He stiffened for a moment then chuckled. Oh. <laughs> it's been a long time since anyone's patted my head. I think the last time was when I was a child. Perhaps I went too far. I froze, not wanting to make any unnecessary moves, but then the weight of my shoulder grew heavier. This is quite pleasant. With that faint murmur, I glanced down at Yoshio. In is a safe. I'm not ready to disappear into the black hole that is Final Fantasy VII yet, but at the same time, I can't wait. <laughs> I've been told there's multiple endings and that it's a very, like, you have to play it twice. You got to, at least twice. I couldn't tell if he was merely resting his eyes or had dozed off, but I felt so happy that he trusted me enough to do this. I wanted him to rest a bit more, so I turned my gaze to the window, watching as the sky shifted into vibrant hues of war. How long do we let him sleep? I'm excited to see my husbandos. I'm excited to see Sephiroth. He's always going to be my my angel. Vincent is also gorgeous, and I love Vincent. Um, I mean, I feel like Cloud gets overlooked because he's set, he's been the protagonist for long, but he's gorgeous too. Matt Mercer, Vincent. Honestly, I want them to bring the Dirge of Cerberus uh, to this the PlayStation Five. That'd be very interesting. A few weeks passed. Ohayo, Yoshioka, Bujo, Kara, Dengo. 
A 社の打ち合わせ資料を確認したいから、出社したら来てくれって。Good morning, Amasawa. Director Yoshioka would like to speak with you in his office about the materials he requested. He also wants to mention that everything you guys did yesterday was totally inappropriate and not work proof. <笑> B 社への連絡はこっちで巻き取るから、心配しないで。I can handle the correspondence you're working on, so don't worry about that. I thanked her and started gathering the materials Yoshioka had asked for. Recently, the employees at Tempesty had been relying on me more often. And they were also providing me with more and more support. I got the feeling that they recognized my hard work and was very proud of it. Once I finished assembling everything, I made my way to Yoshioka's desk. A 社の資料ありがとうございます。確認しますね。Thank you very much. Let's go over these together. Yoshioka always remained professional at work. The rumors about us completely died down. I felt like things were finally starting to fall into place between us, both at work and personally. Hold on with the meeting. After we wrapped up the meeting with a partner firm, Yoshioka took a seat. Given that we had back to back meetings all morning, he must have been quite tired. このくらいの件数は軽くこなせるようにならないとな。本当に会社を継いだらもっと忙しくなる Item for my desk. I ought to get better at handling all these responsibilities. Things will only get busier when I take over the company. Let's take a little break, shall we? I hurried to prepare some tea and brought back two steaming cups. Thank you. 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 来週には落ち着くからそれまで踏ん張ろうとは思っているんだけど。さすがにくたびれたよ。Even so, I'm exhausted. Take care of him. What do you mean? Seeing him so overwhelmed, I was determined to try and lift his spirits. With that in mind, I sat next to Yoshika and pulled his head between towards me. I once again, and once again, Yoshika rested his head on my shoulder just as he did at his house. <laughs> 甘やかしてくれるんだちょっと心配になってしまうな君が優しすぎるから世界中の男が君を好きになるんじゃないかって You're far too kind it would be no wonder if you were the object of every man's affection こうするのは俺だけそうなんだそっか I really want to spoil him. <laughs> I'm the only one. I see, I see. After a pause, he rolled his chair away from me. So, da, ore no tanosimi ni natte kure nai ga na. He's so cute blushing. Also, the assumption that you're like doing this with a bunch of guys, even if it's not sexual yet, like it's implied, right? Amasawa, would you indulge me with your company? 来週の週末、一緒にご飯を食べてほしい。ほら、前に俺の行きつけを紹介すると言ったよね。I'd love to have dinner next weekend. I told you about my favorite restaurant, correct? 君との約束があれば、いろいろと乗り切れる気がするんだ。I know I can get through all this if I have something with, if I have something with you to look forward to. I liked the idea of giving him something to look forward to, but I expressed concern about. How high class the restaurant might be. 
。そんなに構えなくても大丈夫だよ。着ていく服がない普段の服装で問題ないと思うけど。それなら服も買いに行くのはどうかなよければ俺に選ばせてくれると嬉しいんだけど。How about we go shopping? Perhaps I could help you pick something out. ショッピングをしてから食事なんていかにもデートって感じだよね。Shopping then dinner. That sounds like quite a fine date, doesn't it? Being asked out on a date was nerve wracking enough, but this was something else entirely. This hand movement I was talking about, this. Oh my god. I. This is when you say,、uh, bless their heart. Bless their heart. That's it, that's the most. Eating ass on a date was nerve wracking enough, but this was something else entirely. Shopping, yes! Depending on if they show up. They like to trick me on this. On this. As long as I have that to look forward to, I know I can keep working hard. Without pulled in me, would a date with me really feel like a reward to him? Oh my god, I know this is. But when I accepted his invitation, Yoshi Oka looked so happy that all of my hesitation flew out the window. I now remember this is an Animal Crossing pose. That's why I keep feeling this familiar. <laughs> My favorite Animal Crossing pose were the one where you end up on one foot and you're like, woo, and there's like stars. You sure you're not already dating? The next day I was working from a stereo. I filled Oe in on the latest development with Yoshioka. She seemed baffled. <laughs> Eating dinner with you as a reward for him sounds like he's already smitten. Are you sure nothing happened when you went to his place? Oi's eyes burned into me, but I quickly reiterated that nothing happened. Wait, no, he's smitten. You mean a guy like him invited a woman over and nothing happened? Impossible. Back me up, Ko. Please. Please don't get me involved. I really don't care. I didn't notice when they walked in, but apparently they'd been here long enough to weigh in. Well, Senpai got a night I show my daughter. They all the night to the Kisha and I just go. Maybe he isn't making a move because he doesn't see her that way. ああ、ヨシオカさんって完璧王子様だし、寄ってくる女子のレベル高そうだよな。Fuck you, <笑> Mitsuki. <笑> right, ヨシオカ is a shining prince after all. He probably interacts with models and stuff all the time. How dare you? See, I didn't say anything mean about Satobe. I did. それと比べたら、あんたは可愛がってる犬みたいなもんか。To him, Amasawa could be like a cute puppy or something. Their rude assessment made me <laughs> crystal, but I had no response. Fight him! Fight! Fight! <laughs> What if he was just mooning over me while he was still excited about reuniting? He said he was attracted to me, but he could be biased because of our childhood. He could get tired of me. And he didn't try to kiss me. And when he heard me moan, he stopped hugging me. What if he hates me? Then the day of our date arrived. Welcome, Mr. Yoshioka. We have received some new arrivals. Would you care to take a look? Thank you. But I'm actually here to pick an outfit for her today. I'm here to pick an outfit for her today. I'm here to pick an outfit for her today. We're headed to a French restaurant later today. Do you have any recommendations? 
that someone would be proud of me for not bullying Saitome. I'm so proud of you, Asia, for being the bigger person today for one second. But I wasn't, because he insulted me, and so that I insulted him back, because he sucks. Absolutely. I'll bring some options right away, so please wait here for now. Yoshioka brought me to the boutique that had a simple yet refined interior. I noticed nothing had a price tag. Here are some varied designs that suit different occasions. I will for sure be bullying his ass in my in his own route. If it's a business meeting, I would recommend a jacket style. Casual, elegant look with chiffon fabric are also quite popular right now. We're having a private outing today, so we won't need anything, any need for suits. With a single word from Yoshioka, a few of the outfits had been prepared were immediately whisked away. <laughs> I took it at the wrong, so wrongly, Asia. Did it censor it again? And that's where you're like, mm, who knows what she's actually saying right now. <laughs> the single word, they were whisked away. What remained were a few soft looking chiffon fabric dresses. <laughs> yeah. All of them were beautiful. However, they all seemed much more formal than the restaurant called for. I'm so sorry. What did you just say? She's in her prime? Am I a piece of meat right now? It's the leave it to me pose in Animal Crossing when you move a villager's house, I think. She's in her prime, so how about we go with a brighter color? In her prime. She's in her prime, guys. Oh, God, how about this one? He picked out a dress and held it out to me. It was an excellent choice, so I happily took it to try on. If she has a pose to what? Oh my god, she's in her prime. She's past her expiration date. That would be me. <laughs> what is this? If you have trouble pulling up the zipper on the back, please let us know. Take your time. The dressing room was adorned with a large mirror and soft carpet. Somehow, I could almost feel how expensive the dress was. Trying it on felt like wandering into a completely the unknown world. It was as if it transformed me into something new. Like it was some, like I was, uh, like it was the one wearing me. <laughs> it wasn't particularly long or short, and the overall design wasn't flashy. It was graceful yet even regal. I couldn't help feeling like this gorgeous dress was out of my league. Okay, come on. Ma'am, how is it? I responded by opening the door. <laughs> it suits you perfectly. Try these shoes on. She placed on unfamiliar pair of pumps on the floor for me to step into. Let me see the dress. In fact, let me see your eyes, lady. I wondered if Yoshioka picked how to match the dress. I slid into them. That's her right there. She's the mannequin right there in the blue dress. That's her shoes. I slid into them and returned to the store floor. Yoshioka was immediately at my side. <laughs> Just as I thought, you look absolutely dazzling in this color. <laughs> Did 
Just give her a wig and there we have it. He's like talking. He's like, oh, I thought I thought this was you. Like later on when she comes back out. Those shoes match well with the dress. I tried to pick ones where the heels weren't too high. Are they comfortable? After taking a few experimental steps, I told him they were excellent. Mm. There, good to hear. If you like everything, how about we just go out with this? I hesitated. I wanted to keep the outfit. The dress and shoes were both wonderful, but I have no idea what they cost. What What's wrong? If you don't like it, you're free to try on other dresses. I shook my head. I gathered my courage to ask him about the price. Ah. Don't worry about the bill. They always send me an invoice at the end of the month. I looked at the employee in disbelief to confirm, and she just smiled back as if this were the norm. There was no reason for him to buy me such an expensive looking dress, despite my insistence on paying for it. Seeing you enjoy a present will make me happy too. Would you take that gift away? <laughs> Yoshioka could be very persuasive when he wanted to be. But I told him that in exchange, I'd get him a gift next time. Wait, what? Enjoy doing things like this for you if you enjoy it as well. Isn't it, isn't it a win for both of us? But very well, if you insist I'll let you treat me next time, I'll look forward to it already. I was glad he accepted my offer. Please don't bring him back here, though. Thank you very much. We look forward to seeing you again. In the end, I never found out how much the dress cost. Yoshioka escorted me out of the shop right away. With the new outfit making me shine, it felt like I felt like a true princess. We headed to a classy restaurant. It was sophisticated, yet more laid back than I expected. That was a relief since I had pictured an, an extravagant place. We were seated next to a window offering a beautiful view of the nighttime cityscape. I always leave my order to the chef when I come here. I already told them your preference, so that's taken care of. As for drinks, shall we have the Sommelier bring out a new champagne recommendation? The sommelier pointed us to, I don't know what that word is, I'm so sorry, a few drinks as we toasted as our hors d'oeuvres arrived. Just relax and enjoy the meal. He was right. It would be a shame to let a silly thing like table manners prevent me from enjoying myself. He nodded and dug in. Ah. Well, if it, if it isn't your wonderful smile, I told you it's delicious, right? The hors d'oeuvre was a refreshing dish with fish and vegetables. I realized that there were so many things in life I could never understand without visiting a place like this. She's having a life-changing experience over this menu. Even though I've been reluctant to come, I told him I was happy he convinced me. He responded with a gentle smile. I should be the one thanking you. Today is my reward, after all, remember? Despite that, I was enjoying our meal just as much as he was. I started to brainstorm about how I could repay him for this. And then... My hand bumped against some unused silverware and a fork plummeted down and I had to be murdered. They had to drag me through the town. I leaned over to pick it up, but Yoshioka stopped me. You 
You don't have to pick it up yourself. As he said that, a waiter arrived. I was given a new fork as if the fallen one was and the fallen one was taken away. こういう時はお店の人に任せるんだ。今みたいにすぐ対応してくれるから。When accidents like that happen, you have to let them take care of it. You saw how quickly they reacted. Would it have been a breach of etiquette if I picked up the fork myself? Ever feel poor? I do. I did some research beforehand, but there was still so much I, could, I didn't know. Feeling embarrassed, I looked down. How do you like the food on Masawa? A beat passed. It took me a moment to realize he asked me a question, but I told him it was delicious. It left such an impression that I wanted to come again on a special occasion because that's the only time I could have a special occasion. I was able to get a special occasion. I was able to get a special occasion. I Enjoying the food is far more important than something trivial like table manners. I believe the restaurant sees it that way too. So, I はじめは誰でも知らないことばかりだと思わない Besides, nobody's born knowing this stuff, right? I looked up and Yoshioka was smiling reassuring at me. 知らないことは知っている人に聞けばいい。俺はたまたまこういう場所に来る機会が君より多かったから知っているだけ。If there's something you don't know, you can ask someone who does. It's I'm only knowledgeable because I had the chance to do these things. Yeah, the reverse can be true too, like when you recommend dishes at the bar and told me about the store near the station. Those might seem insignificant to you, but they weren't to me. The... We only grow by expanding our horizons and striving to learn. So, I think it's a good thing to do. And by teaching each other what we know, and by teaching each other what we know, well, I think that's how people connect. Any feeling of inferiority had faded. Had faded away. He was the opposite of pretentious, and I admired him, his way of thinking. I thanked him and asked him to let me know if I exhibited any bad table matters. Knowing Yoshiaka Oka, he was, was helping me, I was able to loosen up and enjoy the meal. Mm, you. you can count on me. I'm happy to help if you have any questions, so just enjoy the night. Now let's eat before our food gets cold. Just then. <gasps> It's his fiance, guys. I don't know. A woman approached our table. Bito san, Kono yona tokoro de oai suru toa kigu desu ne. O shigoto desu ka? Oh, she cute. <laughs> yeah, she's got eyes. <laughs> Me too. What a coincidence seeing you here at work, I presume. Yoshioka stood up and bowed towards the woman. I was thinking, what if his parents showed up? Me too was a striking, beautiful woman with long, flowing hair. And a cute necklace, and I like her earrings. Imagine if we looked like that. Wouldn't we be cute? Wouldn't we be cute if we had eyes? Ugh. She was the epitome of elegance. Yeah. No, I'm here on a private matter. What about you, Rokuro? She glanced at me, so I stood up to bow to her as well. But she quickly looked away as if uninterested, I blinked. From the way you're dressed, you don't seem to be working either. Are you babysitting a relative or something? Oh, never mind, she ain't cute. Excuse me! <laughs> nah, nah, nah. She's the fiance. That's why every each word was coated in ice, and my heart started racing. Even when I was next to Yoshioka, I couldn't possibly be seen as his girlfriend. 
I was willing to be nice, but now I want to fight her. Ch to her, we're the other woman. I'm here with someone very important to me. Important. Her expression seemed to freeze. Yes. So I'd like you to refrain from such insulting insinuations. Yeah, important. At least he didn't say a work colleague. Though he maintained a polite tone, I could sense anger simmering from Yoshioka. Thank you, sir. I will drop kick you. <laughs> insulting. Who said anything insulting? I certainly had no such intention. So I see. Then you must excuse me. By the way, Rokuro, do you remember Sato? Yeah. Yes, the chairman of the S group. Topic change made his brow furrow, but he responded smoothly. I met him the other day and he said he wanted to meet you. He was thinking of opening a salon. He was wondering if you wanted to join us when it opens. Okay, thanks, ma'am. We said bye. Thank you for the invitation, but. Oh, goodness. We shouldn't be standing here in everyone's way. She looked at me pointedly. I wasn't sure whether I should offer her my seat, so I began pushing my chair back. Yoshioka held out his hand to stop me. I'm sorry, but I'm in the middle of an important dinner. Perhaps we could have this another day. Her eyes widen ever so slightly in surprise. So, this is it. I'm gonna ruin her face. I wanna throw my shoe right in at her face. I want her to drop that she's his fiance. Or kiss him on the cheek or something. Yes, of course. I suppose we can. Forgive me for interrupting. The graceful bow she swiftly guided glided away. <sighs> Sorry you had to see all that. Yoshio. Yoshioka settled back down in his seat. I feel like she wants to be the fiance. Leah, if she did that, I will attack her. <laughs> Good luck. She's a 2D character in a video game. No, 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 no. I think she is because, again, during that one thing, they kept saying, Good thing there's no rumor that you're dating because he is, and they got cut off twice. Saying he is, and I'm gonna go with he is engaged. Not going on blind dates. That would make no sense. But if he is engaged, then he really shouldn't be dating a girl. Hmm? Hmm? Her name is Sakura Bitoy. She's the daughter of the president of a company that Tempesty does a lot of business with. Even her name was lovely. As for me, despite how nicely I was dressed, I couldn't match Bitoy's elegance or beauty. I felt like we were worlds apart. Anyways, Amasawa, on to dessert. This restaurant employs their own pastry chef, and their desserts are highly renowned. I'm certain you'll enjoy it. The desserts were ornate on their plates with the perfect level of sweetness. As he promised, they were delicious. However, having met Bitoy, I was once again forced to confront how out of place I felt there. Cold dread seeped into me and I wanted to leave as soon as possible. That lady just brings out the demon in me. <laughs> I don't even know her yet.
<sighs> Noticing my exhaustion after the meeting, Amasawa offered her shoulder to me. I rested my cheek on her and the warmth lingered on my skin long after she left. She was being rude to us. <laughs> yeah, but that's just her personality. That's fine. Like, I, I don't care. Bitchy is a personality type to me. It's not bad. If she said she ugly, then I'd be like, all right, you know what? The sh earring's coming off. Let me get my bloody knuckles ready. Like, you know, like then maybe. I kept replaying the scene in my head over and over like a lovesick puppy. <laughs> I have always tensed up subconsciously when I'm close to other people, but I'm so calm when I'm around her. She's still gonna get a drop kick from me. <laughs> Maybe it's because she accepted me unconditionally when I was a child. Perhaps deep down, that's why I immediately felt safe being vulnerable around her. I was in love with Amasa Ama Amasawa, but afraid that I was depending on her too much. She seemed to enjoy taking care of me, so perhaps our relationship wasn't too bad. I feel like I feel as though everything I do was centered around Amasawa. I was willing to do anything for her. I was helpless, utterly in love, and I was all too aware of it. Perhaps that was what it meant to want to live for someone else. She was always on my on my mind, and my devotion grew by the day. I wonder what Amasawa thinks of me. I believe she might see me in a romantic light as well. Whenever I touch her, she blushes as red as a rose. Sir, what kind of relationship we got? Maybe purpose to us, propose to us? Just saying, that's ah, true. I mean, or just kiss us, let us know. I'm just curious. Sometimes you, I don't know if you love me. The way she looked at me, the way she spoke to me with her wonderful it made me hopeful I couldn't be imagining that she may return my feelings. It was the same when I invited her to my house. She looked so content when I was touching her. Since she didn't mind it, I immediately got carried away. I thought back on the soft noise Amasawa made when my hand traced her back. That was so adorable. Afterwards, I told Amasawa that I would try to forget about it, but there was no way I could ever. It was a sound I would never hear under ordinary circumstances. I longed to hear it again. Calming myself down after that was quite the task. We were completely alone together and the sweet sound she made. It might have been easy to take our relationship to step further. Oh, so you could have kissed me. I'm I still thirsty for Yoji, but Yoshioka. Uh I like you a lot, sir. You got my attention. <laughs> but I can't be impulsive. I don't want to rush things, not with her. She's the center of my heart. Nothing is more important to me than caring for her and her desire above all else. So he has... Has he rushed things with someone else before? Ooh, no, I don't think so, because he said she's the only other person he's liked. And the other person he liked was also her. She, like, ripped the mask off, and it was still her. He's like, oh, it's still you. And they were kids then, so I don't think he rushed it. <laughs> All right, we did it! Chapter four. We're going to stop here because it's time. It's been almost ten hours, but we don't always got to be like that person.
That's true. You know what? You're right. You're right. He could be like Gil, who said they never uh, leave Baltimore uh, a virgin. All right, let's see. Oh! Spin-off? What the heck does that mean? Oh, the, the side chapter. I actually enjoy this. It was pretty nice. All right, so we have, we have half, less than half the photos. So that's not bad. 15, 15. Let's see if anybody gets screwed. 17 for Yoji. Okay, okay. 15. 15. Everyone has 15 except for Yoji who gets one more. Okay, what about you? 12. <gasps> he got screwed. I think you picked the cutest route to start. I didn't mean to, actually. I meant to pick my least favorite first, but I messed up. And I should have I should have picked not him. It wasn't even available. Should have started with him. So far, it's cute. It's a very promising start. I like it. I like that there's there's this hint of something else happening. The re the review said his route is like a K drama. I agree. His route feels like a K drama. We have mystery. We have his parents trying to get involved. We have. We have stuff bubbling under the surface, so I like it so far. It could change. We're halfway through-ish. We're at chapter four, and we still don't know what kind of ending we're gonna get. We could get the bad ending. I don't even, I don't even know what the ending's gonna be like. But hey, we got our first step on this. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. We will continue some of these kiss on Thursday. Uh, tomorrow we'll be playing Cupid Parasite so we can work on Alan's route. I just want to play this day one since it came out today. And then once we get through Alan's route, hopefully on Wednesday, we'll start Peter's route on Friday. So that's my goal. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for sticking around with me all day today. It's been a very long day and I appreciate you hanging out. Thank you so much. And if you're watching this on YouTube, you can see my more recent videos on Twitch. Thank you all of you guys for stopping by who were like first time chatters and stuff like that today. That was so much fun. Thank you as well. And again, if you're watching this on Twitch, I upload all the VODs onto YouTube. This one will be going up tomorrow, just so it's in kind of par with being brand new. And then we'll have our, our next stream on Thursday. So if you're watching this tomorrow on Twitch or on YouTube, you can see my next one the following day on, on Twitch. Thank you so much. Bye, guys. Have a lovely night. Bye, 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 bye. Bye, Jay. Bye, Asia. Bye, Ray. Thank you so much.